1994, Barb gets her own monthly comic series. Hello, everyone. Welcome. What? Why is it doing the face tracking thing? Why do you do that sometimes? Well, we'll just pretend that that's like a cool Starfield overlay, right? It looks like space a little bit. I don't know how. Hold on. It just stops doing that after a while. But like, it doesn't do it. <clears throat> it doesn't do it every time I turn on the uh, the camera either. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah. It's got a missile locked onto me. Maybe if I hit that button. All right. Hey, everybody. How's it going? We got about nine minutes until uh, Starfield is ready to be played because uh, there's embargoes and things, and I ain't going to get caught slipping. So before, let's give some stuff away. I have, uh, occasionally I'll go to like gaming events. I'm trying to do this more actually because I like, I like being a, uh, a fence for video game merch. So typically I'll try to get like free video game stuff and then give it away on stream. Or uh, there are fine quality goods in my life that have been loved and used and then uh, I don't need it anymore. So I always like to think that somebody can use it instead of just throwing it in the landfill. Uh, Snowshiner VR. Oh, catching me live from UK. Nice. Yeah, I'm a lot earlier than usual. Uh, socks. I have never given away socks, but I have given away shoes that I've worn, which people thought was uh, weird. But it was only once, all right? I only wore the shoes once. And I was like, eh. I don't think it's that weird. Anyway, um, oh yeah, I gave away the Batman slippers. That's true. <clears throat> First up is a normal thing though, and it hasn't been worn because it's still in cellophane. It is an a uh, humorous armored core six shirt that has all the little debuffs on it. Yeah, energy shortfall, overburden arms. It's a male large, black because of course it is. Gamer shirts don't come any other way, uh, and. It's uh, it's probably a U.S. large, I'm gonna guess. So a generous large, broad shoulder edition. Yes, exactly. If you want to win this, type in core. Just type core into chat. You'll be entered. I will ship this anywhere that the U.S. Postal Service will deliver to. There are occasionally some countries in this world. Uh, Zentinel, thank you very much for the sub. I remember once, like, just straight up not being able to ship to Iraq. I think. So there's a few countries that like delivery services just won't, or US delivery services won't connect through to. But uh, odds are if you're watching the stream, I can get the ship to you. So that's all you gotta do. Uh, and then ba uh, basically if you win, I'll send you a whisper with a link to a Google form that'll ask you for your address. Pretty simple stuff. Bradle, well, hold on. No, Bald Leprechaun 404. Thank you for the sub. I was not I don't know where I was going with that. Bradle Prechon. Like, for some reason, my eyes just scanned over the bald and thought it was a R. I don't know where I am. What's even happening? It's Todd's day. I'm excited. I'm excited. If, even if this game ends up being not for me, I'm excited that everyone else is excited. And really, like, um... Oh, you're too fat for this shirt? One steady funk, it can be a gold, it can be a gold shirt for you. Did you get a review copy? Sort of. I did not get, <clears throat> sorry. I'm getting over like a head cold thing, so I've got all kinds of like fluids circulating around in my cavities. Brutal Provis, thanks for the sub. Yeah, I, I'm excited for Starfield too. It's an exciting time. Uh, I, I have not had access to the game for like the past week. Um, I got a code last night as part of a, believe it or not, as part of a sponsorship, but this stream is not sponsored because I, I did not want to walk into the game without knowing what it was or what was in it. I didn't, I want to, <laughs> I didn't want to have to stifle my genuine reactions to things on a sponsored stream, which doesn't mean they'll be bad, but you know. It's just a thought. So yeah, not today. Uh, you won't be hearing talking points today. Maybe tomorrow. 
<sighs> uh, hey, let's just start it over. Oh, can you give me a hand? Barney will always give you a hand. And for real, I'm not famous. Thank you very much for the generous cheer. Yes, exactly. Todd Howard on the red carpet type opinions. All you have to do is Google his height. That's all you have to do. Red and... Oh, oh, three. 24 months. Hold on. It's not working. Oh, hold on. Hold on a minute. Something, something's effed. Yeah, we need that golden kappa. That was fun. It's still not working! Nomad MTB. <clears throat> sorry, thank you for the... Or sorry, Caveman. Thank you for gifting five subs. Appreciate that. All right, let's draw this. Who's going to win this shirt? Who's going to win it? Oh, Caveman! Oh, that is... Oh, you just gifted subs. What a scam. It's, it's random, all right? I didn't do that. I didn't do that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, y'all got scammed. Sorry, I scammed everyone. First thing. God. I couldn't even be smart enough to, like, n not do a scam the first time around. Wow. Wow. Big scam. Uh, okay, so here's... Oh, geez. Uh, my soundboard's all effed because I wanted to play a goofy meme sound then. Um, and I'm gonna want to play goofy meme sounds. So, congrats. Uh, I have more giveaways to do in the future, but I have three minutes to reboot my PC before it's Starfield time. I'll be right back! All right. All right, I rebooted. It's time. It's time. Oh, also, there we go. That's, that's what we rebooted for. Click. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Todd saved the world? Oop! Hold on a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna keep a I'm gonna keep a count of uh, of how many planets I go to, which means I might have to write them down because I don't want duplicates in there. Maybe the pl maybe the game keeps track of it for you, if you've been to a planet or not. That'd be nice. All right, which button do I press? This is the first decision of many. Uh, part of me thinks this might be an allegory for Starfield's RPG layer. But I have 108 buttons, all of them different and unique. Surely they won't all go to the same destination, right? Alt F4. Ah! <laughs> oh, no, that, not that one. Uh, damn it. You got me. All right, no, no tomfoolery this time. No. No getting me, no jokes, no memes. E. Stop it. All right. That's two buttons. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Uh, okay, all right. And we've we've enough joking. Alpha Reich, thank you for the sub. See, it's like mysterious but aspirational. It's vaulted. Also, it's like it's totally down the line of Themes now aren't full themes. They're they're audio brands. It has to be like five or six notes max. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Anyway, I was thinking about that. I was watching some commercials from the '70s, and like every product has like a a, a one like a hyper song. It's like got a verse and a chorus and a bridge, all telling you how great this product is. Ooh, people don't have jingles anymore. Yeah, kind of like original Destiny. Yeah. You know what? You know what's weird? I've never seen the Paul McCartney Destiny video. Oh, it starts borderless. All right. There's. Oh, oh okay. I don't want any upscaling. That's weird that it does FSR and I'm on an NVIDIA card. You can turn motion blur off. I want to see what it looks like. I'm... We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe Bethesda will blow my socks off with the quality of their motion blur. There really is no DLSS. No. There's not. 
I thought that it was because uh, Bethesda, or I thought it was because Bethesda sold the rights. I thought they like had, uh, I thought they were being sponsored by uh, AMD, but then there was that, like AMD just said, no, <laughs> we're not, no, there's nothing, we're not doing anything. They like released a statement or something. Like we're not holding them back. Anyway, quality motion blur. I'll trust their audio mix to begin with. Eh, it's probably fine. I like that. Breaking out all the... Huh. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Alright, well. Oh, I like it. Hold and drag to rotate items and menus. That's good. That's good. We love the ability to spin around a 3D object in a menu. I guess that's a Bethesda staple, right? Skyrim had that. Start a new game. Is it, do you think it's gonna go Like it's gonna be a big echoey thing? Like you've just stamped your, your, your fate into time? Nope, just... Fuck! <laughs> Sorry. It was a click and then a thud. There was one. I might have I might have like yelled over it. I think that's the first time I've heard bass from Starfield like ever. Instead of being on a cart going this way, we're on an elevator going that way. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's Just my looking one at the motion simple blur. rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Not that bad. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Star Dock, except uh, with more cave ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. You know what I never noticed? Hey, People have fine. slightly bigger Fast eyes. Was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Like, they're mostly realistic in proportion, but their eyes are bigger, yeah. expressive, -er, more expressive, expressive -er, meters. cartoonier. <laughs> Not untrue. Shame we won't find any down What's going on there? But the metal deposit. There's like bright pixel flicker on the floor. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one. It reminds me of uh, resolution scaling. Hey, more minerals, um, more money. Glitches, and but. So the cycle repeats itself. Just scaling's not on. That's space floor. <laughs> space sparkles. There are worse lives. You know. Okay, so uh, pauses. Okay. Hold on a second. This has got to be a planet, right? We're on a planet right now. So verified. First planet. Ding! <laughs> These don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. We're at group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave. Wait, you're on a moon, I think. Uh-oh. Moons count, right? Why, Nick? What the hell, man? Why are you posting spoilers? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? I gotta time you out for that. Don't do that. What the hell? Let's see what we've got. How are we on time? Maybe I gotta... Here. Do I have to put this in the title? Maybe I do. A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Yeah, I might have to change it to Celestial Bodies. It doesn't... This game doesn't get black. It's like it's like a dark gray. It's also weirdly, like, stuttery. It's, it's like dropping frames. <clears throat> Let's see. 
It doesn't look like a smooth, uninterrupted 120 FPS. Well, maybe, maybe it is motion blur. It looks like, uh, it looks like what, um, games used to look like when they ran borderless full screen and you had like five other things running at the same time. Maybe I can just make it, maybe if it runs full screen with VSync. Um, it doesn't have exclusive full screen, does it? It just has borderless and windowed. Let's just test something. Go away. VRN. Very. Oh, maybe that's it. Variable rate shading. What even the hell is that? I don't know what variable rate shading is. Variable rate shading during rendering. Does it reduce the bit rate of the video to make it faster? Is that also why it looked really washed out? Uh, it's still not great. VRS is FPS boosting. Huh. If you disable borderless full screen isn't available. Um, it is borderless full screen and that's it. It doesn't have exclusive full screen. It's space technology, don't question it. Yeah, sorry about that. Let me, let me see what this does. Ugh. Yowza. Wow. Hmm. My mouse is wired right now. Otherwise, I'd like suspect that maybe my mouse is sending skippy inputs. That might just be what it looks like. Damn. Maybe, maybe if I turn on freaking no. Maybe I have to play this game at like locked 60 hertz. Maybe if I change my... Uh, hold on. Can, can I save or am I going to have to sit through... If I wanted to quit the game now, I'd have to sit through the elevator again. Todd! <laughs> Wait a minute. Activate Starfield. Got him Starfield not found for object... Oh! <clears throat> Oh shit. What is this? What do we got here? Mm-mm-mm. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, it scrolled off the screen. I wonder if there's like a, a way to paginate this. Enable rumble. Great. Play sync animation. Star Trek player now. <laughs> Force closed files. Use at your own risk. I mean, there's not, not going to be much useful in here. This is just really fascinating. This is my going into space. To me, the real universe is like the guts of the game, how it works. <laughs> Take off to space. What? Buffer size is too large to display. Hmm. See output log for rest of display. Oh wait, no. Oh, never mind. That's what it was saying at the end of the last one. Maybe it's like slash. No? Hmm. There might be a run command or something. If certain console commands will disable achievements. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh no! Which ones? 
Mm. Oh, I need to... Maybe if I turn sensitivity down, that might actually help. Fuck. It's a different... Did, did it reset? No? Maybe there's a different mouse sensitivity? Mouse look sensitivity. All right, all right. Yowza, man, that does not look, that does not feel good. <clears throat> the mouse aim, I mean. Uh, it's just really jittery. I remember other, uh, other Bethesda games running like this though. Like New Vegas ran like this. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? You think we'll be done here soon? No, I hear this is the last dig. Be glad when we're off this rock. You take care of yourself out there. Uh, busy. Talk to you later. The engine that makes it stutter what your FPS at. I don't know that it has a. You think it has an FPS overlay? I mean, drivers probably do, but I I never turn that shit on. Yeah, it's like it's like a mouse turning thing. Cause if you're just using the keyboard, it's smooth. There's some, there's something that games used to do where they would not like interpret inputs from the mouse right, and turns would be really juddery and jerky. <clears throat> it hasn't been a thing in games for like ten years though. Oh, Last of Us PC port had this issue? Oh, man. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay, it feels like these should be just a, like API level fixes. It should have been a shared yes, industry-wide thing that just doesn't happen anymore. Playing on controller may be better. It'll probably look better. <clears throat> yeah. First person game. <sighs> anyway, Starfield. Motion blur can be turned off. I was just seeing how it looked. Ah, oh, shut up about motion blur! Holy shit! <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Everybody's losing their minds. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cabin. I'll shout God did it again. He sure did. Oh, oh, well, it was fine for a second there. Uh, can you change FOV? That's a good question. I don't think you can, but let me check. Nope. Yeah, it's, it's butter on a controller. Except the acceleration's kind of weird. Ugh. Is there a console you can access? Yes. What is this supposed to be? It doesn't do anything. Unless there's a different way to do it. No equal sign? Oh. Oh, now it didn't have that script. It did find FOV, it just didn't do anything. Plays better on controller? It, uh, the mouse look is really choppy. 
So it like it jerks and judders a little bit when you're looking around. It's a little better now actually, but it's still not great. Um, I don't know how visible that is on Twitch. So here, I'll do I'll do a slow spin with my mouse, and then I'll do a slow spin with my controller, and hopefully the difference will be visible, just in terms of the the clarity and smoothness of the motion. Okay, that was the mouse. All right. Oops, that was a jump. All right, now here's the controller. Actually, that's kind of jittery too. Yeah, McFeelin, I've, I've had that issue uh, with some other games, but again, it was a long time ago. This is an issue that used to be way more, way more common like 10 years ago. Maybe it's just this level? We'll see. Oh wait, you probably want me to follow you. Oh, Ghostwire Tokyo? Ah, it's maddening, isn't it? Well, that's cool. I'm a big fan of, like, looking at things in the world and then hitting E to pick them up. E. What are you waiting for? E. Dig. Press mouse. What am I know? Time to mine. Yeah? Well, that's kind of... I guess it's fun that the first tutorial is, like, gathering resources instead of combat. All right. We're doing it. Shooting rocks with lasers. Up Love the vacuuming that Atomic Heart did. Yeah, Atomic Heart, uh, Thief. Thief 2014 was one of the best, like, rooting through drawers and picking shit up games. Because that's what Thief is all about. It's about picking up little glittery things. And they made that part of the game so good. I gotta play through that game, man. Square Annex Montreal. Or Eidos Montreal. Whatever. That studio is phenomenal. People don't put respect on their name. The Guardians of the Galaxy game was awesome. They make they make like some of the most top tier first person games. Let Hella do his job. Yeah, it's weird that like there's no black. The 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 darkest the game gets is like this washed out gray. That might just be the color grading on this planet or in this mine. Let's go. Yeah, they did Deus Ex. Hella, get the readings. I'm a little concerned that I guess now that studio is owned by Embracer. Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't. What we're after, it'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. The lighting is good. It's just another job. And the way that lighting plays off these these materials in this cave is good. I don't have a shadow though. That's kind of a bummer. <laughs> I, uh, I don't exist. Oh, no legs either. I remember somebody was asking about that. We're getting close. Ghost I, man. I think it's just, Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. I do kind of like the lighting of the faces inside the helmets. It's a little bit spooky, but both of you do your job. You can clearly see the face face animations, which I think was the point. No third person yet. Um, no. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Am I gonna get my star power right away? Also, it was just down this cave, and no one came over here. Whatever. Mind the space cube. Take the question marks, player. Embrace your destiny, become starborn. Is there gonna be a late title card? And then you touch the space rock and you see the universe for a split second. Hey, come on, come on. You get it? It's like the it circle easy. around the Starfield logo. That could have been the late title card. It was right there. Physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? There we go. Cool, 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 cool. 
Good, 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 good. All right. Damn, I just realized I really wish I had made this windowed before this, because now I can't go to the options at all. That's okay. Um, okay, so here's the deal. We're going to make the coolest guy who's ever been in space. Uh, ever. And you should know who that is already. Oh! Because it's Riddick. Uh, Honshu. Thank you for the sub. Won't be watching out of early access protest, but I'm glad my time to play has almost come. I kind of get it. Early access is a little, like, I'm, I, it's business, right? But also, I kind of get it. Space, space, dick, diddick. But also, here's the thing. I want to try to figure out if there's one way to make Riddick cooler, what is that? What is it? And you already know. I don't have to tell you. Uh, it's to, as soon as I remember, oh, there we go. It's to, uh, splice his DNA with this magnificent gentleman. So I'm going to try to make, uh, some kind of weird DNA hybrid between the two. And it's really going to be down to how the character creator lets me work the magic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've already got a, I've already got a name in mind and it's Rod Tiddick. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see what. Let's see what goes. I have to hold on. Let me move my. Uh, let me move my. Let me move my references over here. So what I'm hoping is is that essentially I can make Vin Diesel's face, but I want that glorious Todd Howard hair, but I want it to start like here. I want it to be Vin Diesel bald and then just like, like my my hair is a bird. Your argument's invalid from there on. So, let's scroll through some, some presets and see what land. Vin Diesel's face is weird. He's got weird, weird contouring all over the place. It's actually very difficult to make him in any character creator, because he's got, his jowls are oddly shaped. Anyway, Spanish, the Spanish O2, thanks for the sub. He's got a pointy head, yeah. Yeah, 31 looked close. Well, that one's not bad. That one's actually not bad either. <laughs> Using DNA as like a menu slider is pretty cool. I do like the look of that. That's... I also kind of like the, the sounds of hard drive clicking in the background. Kind of bringing in that... I guess it's trying to be like 70s sci-fi. Like everything else right now, but way like way less than Destiny, but that still means it's kind of this Ridley Scott, clunky VCR space. They call it NASA punk, I guess. I guess they mean that to reference when everyone was infatuated with NASA. Yeah, I don't know exactly what that means, and I don't know where the punk is in that, at all. Like cyberpunk is called cyberpunk because it's about being anti-establishment. <laughs> it's about fuck the system. Like there's actually punk there. Starfield is the least punk thing I think I've ever seen. But that's okay. That's all right. Hmm. Hmm. The cheekbones are a little much. What about steampunk? Is that anti-establishment? Not really, no. I guess that was the first time when somebody just put the word punk on an aesthetic to make it sound cooler than it was. Sorry, steampunk fans. I guess it was all downstream from the term cyberpunk. Oh, Jado. Jado, thanks for the sub. E. E. Is it just because he's bald? But I'm kind of seeing it here. It's the neck, too. Because Vin does have a little bit of a pooch under. Yeah, let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. Um, body. <laughs> so here's the thing. Todd, Todd seems like he's in shape, but maybe not the beefiest guy. Yeah. 
Yeah, we know. We know. That E, Mako, is that the Rahul or the EA Sports guy? E, Rahul? Looks too thin? Hmm. Oh. Huh. Oh, huh. <laughs> I mean, it looks like that hurts, like a lot. That's interesting that you can't, I guess I assumed that you could sculpt like individual parts of the parts of the head. Yeah, no music. Okay, now's, now's gonna be the real challenge. Can we find the perfect intersection of Riddick's extremely functional buzz cut <clears throat> and Todd Howard's glorious flowing locks. Mm. Mm. Maybe? No penis options yet, but we haven't clicked through everything. Also, I feel like the I feel like the face got further away from Vin. His chin is too pointy now. Ooh. Hard living. All right. You can't click and drag in the menus. You can't like you have to use the arrows or just click. But since there's no graduation, you don't know what you're clicking on. Yeah, this like already the interface really screams that it wasn't designed for PC. That's that's fine. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. My bad. So you pick a shape and then you can Oh wait, what's refine? E Oh, okay, just kick just puts you over there. Find me guilty hairline? I mean, there was a find me guiltier hair in there. The theory behind this is that... Okay, here we... Oh, okay, that's where all the good stuff is. Jesus Christ. All right. All right, so let's just focus on head shape then. I think it was on like two or one, right? You know, Todd has, like, flowing golden hair. Go with that. Don't need any facial hair. Eyes don't matter. Oh, no, wait, they do. Oh, this is shape. Never mind. Because Riddick has eye shine. Got to look that up on the Rick... Rick... Rick <laughs> Riddick wiki. Riddicky. Okay, that's what they look like. Surely we'll be able... Oh, nope, again. Wrong wrong slider there. Surely we'll be able to find an exact match to Riddick's eye shine right here. There! Yes! Todd Howard, you've done it again. Yeah, I need goggles. Don't worry, that'll be the first thing. Because uh, we all know that Riddick's eyes get very uh, sensitive because of the eye shine. It just works. So wait a minute. Huh?
Oh. So you can... Okay, so this adds another shape into the one that you have picked here. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay. God, all these eyebrows are so aggressive. <laughs> Why are they all... They're all so mean. <laughs> Ah, whatever, good enough. All these different foreheads you can pick. We're going to be looking at this forehead a lot, so it's very important. I want the one with, like, deep, deep brow creases. Because you know Riddick's been furrowing a lot. I guess that's as good as it gets there. from a hyper-intelligent alien race. That's already kind of a diesel nose. A little bit. Ears gotta come way out. You can, did you consider doing music video era Jason Statham? Where he's all greased up? That's just an extremely fit bald man. That's totally different than what I'm doing. Wait, are they even moving? Like very little. Leopard print speedo. See, that's the thing, though. That's that's down to like. That's down to what the game has in terms of outfitting. So really, I could, I could do uh, music video J Jason Statham. Whenever I want. Is jowls like a different thing? Maybe it's mouth. I'm so impressed by people that are able to like recreate photos of people and character creators. I'm not very good at it. I think I've learned. <laughs> That's a good old man mouth. Definitely got to change the chin. I feel like a lot of the expressiveness is in the chin. If I can get this wider. Scale it down left, right. <laughs> you can just move it. Just a little. Mm. A perma, a perma perch. Okay. His lips are darker, or at least he's wearing he's wearing different lipstick in the reference photo that I see. I like the blending. That's a really cool way of doing it. It does kind of mean that you just have to experiment a ton, but I think that's what people who really like character creators like to do. And in a way, it almost it almost makes this part, it gamifies this part even further. Ugh. How long have you been in this character creator? Ah, uh, maybe 20 minutes? Ugh. Ah. All right, so here's, here's a weird situation. Let me see Riddick's teeth. Ugh. <laughs> Bad idea. Riddick's smiling. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, there's our guy. There's our guy. <laughs> Gross. Okay. 
Now we're good. Um, oops, what the hell? Get out of here, Final Fantasy. It's not time for you. Get out. Get out. All right. I don't know how I did that. Just a little bit of dinge. Okay, jaw. This is We're going to have to do a lot of work here. Yeah, the nose is pretty accurate, right? I, I would like to widen out the nostrils a little bit if they let me. <laughs> That's a little more accurate. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely have to get rid of the cleft. Uh, the jawline isn't quite there. And also, we don't have those cool goggles. <laughs> We're going to need those cool goggles. What the heck? Oh, chin. Okay. Yeah, jaw. Okay, let me do chin first. Yeah, the refine option just just clicks your controls over here. It's like it's for controller basically. Like it's, it's all this area. There's never like, I can never pull this out in like any character creator, like right there between the jaw and the chin, uh, the whatever that it's called. <laughs> jaw always is like the point at the back. It's never like the actual width of the whole thing. Okay, that helps. Jaw needs to be a perfect square. Vin does not have a square jaw. Unfortunately. He's actually got a pretty round face. I'm making Rod Tiddick, which is really just Riddick, but with a little bit of hair <laughs> for Todd Howard. See, the chin is, it's like even rounder and he's got like kind of a, a he kind of has a weak chin. No, no offense, like all respect on, on Vin Diesel's name for everything he's done for the world and all the joy he's given all of us. Whoa, there it is. Add some stubble. Yeah, good idea. We definitely have to give him the angriest neck. I think it's supposed to be like an old... Yeah, it's supposed to be like an old person neck. He's got to be vascular. That I agree with. Okay, good. Waddle. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Finally, waddle options. Wait, what was the old person neck? Well, there's there's the Adam's apple firing out. Oop. Yeah, that just looks creepy. Like there's some stuff buried under his skin. All necked up. Wait, was there a nose option? Nose. Okay. Here we go.
He needs more like he needs the smile lines too. I don't know that if I I don't know if I can add those. They kind of pop out when he was showing me the teeth. A little bit. <laughs> God. Uh, are you proud of me, father? Yeah, mouth too far down. Yeah. Ears need to be higher up, I think. Volition's closing? Is that... Aw, oh, for real? I gotta look this up. Hold on. Mmm. Man. Continue without disabling. Continue without disabling. Volition is apparently shut down. Yeah, well, fuck. That might be related to um, Embracer losing all their money, too. Man, Volition was a pretty great studio. People largely only know them for Saints Row, I think, but they made... They made uh, Free Space a million years ago. Ah, uh, Rip. Rip Rooney, we lost a good one. Really taking the joy out of recreating sweet venison. Ah, uh, alas. Yeah, when when Embracer lost their funding, they like I guess were banking on like a two billion dollar investment from some some group that just fell through. So I was like, shit. They just bought a ton of. Th I'm. Uh, I was excited for a little bit because I was like, man, they got a lot of money. They're going to be okay funding a ton of like double A games. This will be great. And then they don't have a lot of money, so now they get to close everyone. I don't know if it's explicitly related to that, but it's frustrating regardless. Yeah, Red Faction, Punisher PS2 game. Drum. Wait. Dermesthetic? Like, just the. Oh, interesting. Oh, I need to add stubble. That's kind of neat way to do that uh. <laughs> it's like the most airbrushed on fake hair <laughs> Okay, that's a little that's a little better. Yeah. It's like somebody got ink in a sponge and they're like, I'm gonna look I'm gonna look tough. There we go. Okay. Bye Skyrim. Uh he looks like he's gonna cry. It's because he's waiting he's waiting on Riddick 4 to get produced. Facial forms. Complexion color temperature. I guess that's just if you have something picked. Oh, intensity's all the way down. Oh wow. Oh well, that's kinda cool though. Neat. You can just put like color overlays on your character. Yeah, because it's the mixing of all that'll make things really unique. And a less square jawline? Maybe. Now let me go back to the jawline. Yeah, I think when I lowered the jowls, it squared out the jawline a lot.
I wish he would stop moving around. Needs more forehead veins. I agree. <laughs> I love that they're kind of looking in the same direction. Yeah, this is not Vin Diesel anymore. This is Tiddick. Totally different. What's weird is, I guess it's a testament to Riddick's ferocity as a fighter that he is not scarred visibly there's a facial form oh okay maybe I can oh here we go here are the veins oh that's real veiny but it's like just relief it looks like he's got worms whatever we're cooking with gas now now we got it Yep. Okay. Oh, great. You get more than one. Are they are they the same forms? They are. Why can I not see why can't I see the other one now? Oh, does it Wait, what? Where did it go? Uh Huh? What's going on here? Okay. Okay. So wait, if, if you have another one at max intensity, it overrides the other one? Wait, what? No, there it goes. Okay. I must have just accidentally dragged the wrong thing down. What if you have multiple of the same at max intensity? Did they get veinier? Yes, they do. It's getting double veiny. <laughs> Is that too veiny? No, it's not. It does look like he's infected, though. What does Refine do for the forms? Refine just activates this menu. It's just for controller. If I if I could not bring my mouse over here, that's all. It doesn't like bring up anything new. Cheeks! One and two, okay. <clears throat> oh, okay, it's makeup. Here we go. Now we're talking. Yes. Is it just lower load? Like I like the I like the blend on that. Why can't I have one like that for both lips? It's all like, why is it only upper or lower? And then it's like outline. There we go. Has more of a burgundy pink hue to his lips. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell now. In that one. <laughs> a little more purple there. The... Yeah, it's a little darker there. Hold on a minute. How far, how far off are we? Yeah, I just need to find goggles in game for sure. All right, what do we got? Well, that's not that bad. Pretty close, almost there. I think that's good enough. Lipstick accents, oh, that's how you do it, okay. 
Damn it. All right. So it's basically lipstick one and two. Whatever. I want him to have a real smoky eye. He's got to. International. Intergalactic man of mystery. Riddick. But it's got to be subtle. Riddick is stealthy. And there's not a lot of... I don't want eyeshadow options, huh? It looks like makeup. Which, yeah, it's makeup, but still. I was kind of hoping for... Oh, I, maybe eyeliner is what I want. Let's back this off. I mean, typically, like, you don't want your makeup to look like makeup. Dirt. Riddick's pretty dirty. He's always in, he's always hanging out in prisons and deserted planets. There's no cool looking dirt though. Battle damage. Well, you said it. <laughs> you like this? Just a little, a little texture. There we go. Designer dirt. Okay, I think I think that's that's good. Background. Uh, let's see here. Riddick is a Ronin, that's for sure. Oh, a space scoundrel? No, that's more like Han Solo. He's a, he's a barbarian. That's really what Riddick is. But that's not an option here. Cyber runner, cyberneticist, diplomat, gangster? I mean, yeah, knives. He's a knife guy. Sk stealth scavenging? That's it. That's our guy. That's him. Bang. Traits. If I sub, does it stop ads? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You can visit them at their home, but they automatically... You will automatically send them 2% of your credits every week? That's cute. Hmm. Your buddy has become acclimated to space. Wanted. Absolutely. Occasionally armed mercenaries will show up and try to kill you, but being cornered gives you an edge. When your health is low, you do extra damage. That's our guy. Do you have to pick through? Oh, they're optional. Okay. Increased health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. Riddick does have alien DNA. He is a Furion. Could you still buy the $100 version today and still play early? Yes, but that starts at 5 p.m. That starts in seven hours. Uh, early access starts in seven hours. So you either have to purchase the game and have an active subscription or, sorry, Buy the game, or 
have an act- active subscription to Game Pass to like get the base game. And then if you're buying it on Steam, you need the digital deluxe option. If you're buying it through Xbox or you have Game Pass, you have to buy the upgrade, which is like thirty thirty five dollars. Let's see. Oh, oh. Okay, so here's the thing. Riddick did have uh, an annoying fan. It was the the girl that he saved in Pitch Black that then, we all, we all know this, so sorry if I'm just saying the obvious, then showed up again in Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, we all remember her name. Jack, of course. I knew that. I didn't have to look that up. Although she wasn't really an annoying fan, was she? She just wanted to murder her. As, as good as Riddick did. Weird, weird plot line there. Do you think Jack's going to show up in uh, Riddick 4? Probably. The prison scene was pretty cool. I was thinking about that the other day. There was like a whole scene where Riddick like did this, this like ribbon dancing thing on chains to break his, his, uh, his handcuffs. Hold on. Uh, I don't know how to, how to describe this. Is this the one? Yeah, it is. All right. Who assassinated some Ryujin executive. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? What is that thing? It's our payday, that's what. Sooner we get it off our hands, the sooner it isn't our problem anymore. I don't, okay. Everything's a blank after I went into that tunnel. Yeah, Riddick would play it real, or sorry, Tiddick would play it real, real cool. <laughs> this lady's been staring at me for an hour. Oh, Alana, thanks for the raid. You guys missed it. We just watched a really cool clip of, of Chronicles of Riddick. All this trouble for that stupid thing? I just made my character. Sure look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Hold on. Everyone follow Alana right now. You have to. Speak of the... Can I save yet? Yes. Okay. Whoa. Ah, God. He looks like a ghoul. <laughs> Our constellation contact is on approach. It's it's everyone's favorite character. They're exactly the same. I wanted veins, but I think I got infection instead. Okay. I'm still on the same planet. Good. Explorers group? <laughs> which is which again? That's the thing, you can't tell. Well, you don't look good. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really yeah, right. exist. Hell are putting that first aid like in the work on you, huh? But it's still there. Same with Lynn sure seems to like you. Yeah, but come Guess on. she would know. Exploring Can the you pick things up? Who does that anymore? Ain't this great people? Oh. We got lore. Hmm. CO2 build up in your respirator. Oh, sure. Just take my stuff. Hey. All yours. She reacted to it. Nice. I will take your stuff. Can you pick stuff up and like move it around? can spin it though. That's important. I tried holding E. Doesn't do anything. Hold on, let me look at the options. Hold, wait, hold scanner. No. Nope. Data menu, POV, zoom in, zoom in, sprint, snack, hold the run, hold the run, hold the run, open quick keys.
Hmm. Can you not wait? No, they showed you stacking sandwiches. You got to be able to do it, unless it's just like pick up and drop, or there's a button you hold that I don't know yet. Yeah, you can open the console. I just haven't been able to find any commands that work, but I haven't really poked around at it much. Maybe it is F. It is not F. Damn, man. Can you not pick stuff up anymore? And move it around? Probably Z. Yeah, it was Z, wasn't it? It is not Z. It's not X. It's not C. Hello, Shadow Skill. Whoop. 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 Yeah, if you drop from the inventory, but it's not as fun. Drop. Yeah, it just plops out in front of you. Metal mouse click. Nope, that's that's uh second third third person. Yeah, but there's the there's the command. You see me trying to uh, change the FOV because there's no option for that. Hold E, maybe tried it. First thing I tried. They showed it though? Did they? Think about what you saw, Zumbini. You saw a sandwich falling into a pile of other sandwiches. You did not see them pick it up and move it, but it may still be in the game. I'm just saying. Man, I, I was ranting about how edited that video was and no one cared. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it might be space magic. Oh, Lou, I could see that. I hear this is the last. You get like levitation power. That makes a lot of sense. I'm busy. You got a few more dicks to go before I feel like talking to you. I thought he said dicks. <laughs> Brother, you got a stack of dicks to suck before you can talk to me. A good run. You lucked out being picked up for this. Better get to work. Guys, I'm so happy. Todd Howard's back. Todd Howard's back. How do you try mage hand? <laughs> Prismatic spray. What? How do you holster a gun? Hold on. Bindings. Uh, reload sheath. Okay. Schwink. That was a fast load, but it was a load. So, I'm, wait. That shouldn't be here. When can us plebs play? Uh, in seven hours? There's like a countdown on the Xbox app. Hold on. Starfield. Five hours. I was... Five days? Never... Okay. Six hours, 50 minutes. So yeah, seven hours. I was basically right. How they suck are you to join? Hey, you all right? Maybe don't do any heavy lifting for a while? Let's get to this meeting. I'm blocking. Oh, oh. He deked me. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Wait, starfieldsandwich.com. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> What the? Oh, what is this? Collapse eminent. I don't understand. It looks like it's just a hanger full of sandwiches. Nice. Can you get out of your spaceship while in space in this game? What? Uh, I'll find out. Think I don't here. think you can. Let's go. Or after that rock, that's for sure. Once we sell that rock, we can start packing up. Yeah, are you all right? Maybe don't do any heavy lifting for a while? Lynn sure seems to like you. Guess she would know, being the boss and all. Glad when we're off this rock. I was trying to get through my ship. Hmm. Gotta put the helmet on? Oh, okay. 
I wasn't paying attention. Oh yeah, look, it's just trying to tell me right here. Select the helmets category. Equip helmet. There we go. Yeah, abolition closed. Oh. You're in space now. Now take it off real quick. I will. Come on. Is it off? Okay. I must wear a spacesuit helmet and pack in this environment. You can't tell me what to do. I like the little pod racy whine to that engine. Hey, you did a good job, all right? Argos needs people like you. Now let's go. What? Oh, I'm working. Not interested. Whatever. Farewell, sweet rod. You fitting in okay? Alright. That was unceremonious. Oh, it's one click. There it is, okay. Ugh, shifts seem to be getting longer. That's Argos for you. Squeeze every credit they can. Just taking a kneel at my storage cabinet. Yep, everything's still in there. Uh, gotta go check the other storage cabinet. Oh wait, is that lore? Oh! Oh, it's voiced! Yes, it plays when you're not not in it. That's great. As far as anyone knows, this is just another ore run. Vectera's got enough mid-level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. I told Hella everything he needs to know. You got which somewhere is pretty much to everything be. I know. And this is another one of Barrett's special orders. Free bread. This time, I'm not so sure. This place is giving me the willies. I think we're going to find Magic. something. I just have no idea what it could be. Or why Barrett might want it. But those sweet constellation You're lucky. credits mean we dig our I've holes been with and some outfits keep our that didn't even shut. bother packing medical. And I'm okay with that. Hopefully, between Barrett's mysterious thing and the ore itself, we'll be done with this rock in five days when the transport is supposed to come back for abstraction. Uh, hey, that was my sandwich! Nice. Man. Man. Still your sandwich, idiot. 10 out of 10. Sandwich AI tech. It's interesting that it tells you the value of everything. Free lemon? <laughs> I'm just gonna sit at my desk, sip coffee from my Squid Genius cup. What does that say? Liquid, hold on. Oh, liquid happiness, okay. And <laughs> take a chomp out of my lemon. I like that. That pencil case looks great. I want that. Hey, no shame in getting knocked out. Everyone takes a trip into the dark at some point around here. But like the the aesthetic of this weird is a bit odd because you have computers that are chunky and like big and have like vacuum tubes. You have tablets which are sleek and have a battery and a display and a stylus. And then you also have stacks of like physical books. Uh 
It's cassette futurism? Sort of. Cassette futurism doesn't have tablets, though. Sort of. And if they are, they're, like, big and chunky, and you have to, like... Gas-powered? Gas NASA punk? I don't know. It's unfocused, is what I think. <laughs> Why does it also have Wild West towns, then? And space magic. It's everything. It's just everything. Can I eat with my helmet on? Oh man, look at that high def sandwich though. I'm gonna absolutely inspect. Let's see. Oh, high def bread chomp. There's like a, they modeled a little crevice in the chomp. I guess they have like actual ingredients in the space future. It's not all just like nutrient paste. Nice. Yeah, teef tech. Ooh. Oh! Oh, I dropped it. I, oh, I dropped my lemon. Oh, no. My lucky lemon. Hold on. I wanted to inspect that lemon. Z. Oh, did I? No. Oh, it's sort. Okay, that's what I hit. Wow. 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 You know, if you zoomed in enough, it's like we're on a lemon. Would we even know if we were living on a lemon? We wouldn't, though. No. We wouldn't know. Okay. Uh, yes, you can eat with your helmet on. The answer is yes. I like the design of this. So it's like, it's like plastic molding, right? They have like, they have synthetic manufacturing processes, but also everything is like bars and iron and metal and like molded stuff. It, it's not super consistent with, with its aesthetic. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, everyone decided they liked the look. I think that's that's probably where it ends, and that's enough. Free gun? All right. You can take the case. Yeah, they weren't lying about about everything being pick upable. Argos usually ain't so good at picking sights. Get used to hell or sense of humor yet? <laughs> like a take care of yourself. Lazy, out there. But he's solid. I wonder how many people you could get talking all at the same time. Ooh, there's some woodwinds in there. I always miss the like use of like flutes and mysterious oboes to represent space. It happened a bit in like Star Wars, but or A New Hope rather, and faded away pretty quick. Yeah, Empire Strikes Back. Yes, uh, that was. I mean, I think that was more of a side effect of the fact that woodwinds were still being used in cinematic scores at the time, um, and just like quickly became very dated. It's like, uh, what, Bolero. Always reminds me of, like, Tatooine music. Man. And if they're going for 70s sci-fi, and they very clearly are, because everyone that grew up loving 70s sci-fi is now a game director, um, it fits. Hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. How's the lore? Uh, I don't know any of it yet. That looks pretty good. Bethesda landscapes finally look good. Like, that, that makes me want to go explore. I do want to... Can you just run away? Let's find out. Is it time? Is it time to run 10 minutes in a direction? All right. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Well, trip, huh? <laughs> uh, Gaming. 
I didn't expect the jump scare that soon. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. What did you say, sorry? How would you know about that? Well, you could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. How would you know about that? Well, you could well. say that the infinite... It's fine, nothing to talk about. All right, a little disappointing, not gonna lie, but reveling in the weird of space isn't everyone's idea of a good time. I get it. Just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to... All right, bye. All right, we're just going to go this way. Uh-oh. Uh Gravity's not that high, right? Oh! <laughs> Maybe... Went on a trip, huh? Why is it all echoey? Well... I guess I was, like, fading back into reality. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's take the let's take the principled way down over here. Well, I don't have a I don't have a compass, so it, it might be a little tricky. Can the all right? Well, the map is the map is north justified, so all right. I will go. Oh, that's cool. This is what makes the this is what makes the tile shit sting though. When they show you the globe and you're ping on it, like not that anyone in their right mind would, but how sick would it be to actually like fucking walk all the way around? If they didn't show you that map, it wouldn't hurt so bad. Anyway. All right. Yeah, No Man's Sky. I mean, No Man's Sky does it. I've Elite Dangerous, like I've I've played all the games that do it. It's not like a specific thing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right, let's go north. Let's go north until I can't go north no more. I think this way's north. You can't walk all the way around. We're about to see. I don't think you can though, unless unless the clips were lying, which they might have been. What? what? What's going on? Oh, I bet there's stamina, but I don't have the meter for it yet. Yeah. I can't remember. Was it Numlock? Auto run? Okay, there we go. Bad case of the space butt. This game of space vats. I'm. There might be a skill that is similar to space vats. What if you run faster with your weapon holster? It doesn't seem like it. This is going to take a long time. I think the, the clip was 10 minutes, but I think I think the person doing it had more movement abilities than I do. They had like a... They had a jetpack and stuff. Yeah. Some running boosts. That's fine. This is nice. Why wouldn't you go climb a mountain? Yeah, max graphics. Max graphics playing on PC. Oh, Alana went 14 minutes in her video. Okay, so she already did it. Did she do it in on this planet? Is there a map you can pull up? Sure is. Not that one. There's, you can see like a, a map of the whole globe, which is cool, and then also this. What's that? Unknown! Guys. Are we about to have an adventure already? That local map sucks. It does. I'm sure that like... I'm sure that once you get more abilities, like, you can scan the topography with your ship, and then when you land, there's no way the local map is actually just a 
vague blue grid, right? That, no, come on. This music does feel very Skyrim though, right now. All these like lilting strings. Volpri, this is an advanced copy. Um, the embargo is up on streaming the game. So people with review access, which is like, I guess what you just call pre-release access now, um, can, can stream it. I didn't actually get a review code, um, but as part of a sponsorship, I got a code like last night. So, but I haven't played the game at all. I just ran it to see if it would run. So, the thing is though, early access starts tonight. Early access starts in a little under seven hours if you have the digital deluxe version of the game. Which you can either buy outright on Steam, or if you have Game Pass, you can buy the digital deluxe upgrade on, um, on the Xbox Store. I wonder if I like... Okay, it just, it just... Okay, so all I have to do is hit shift every now and then. Uh, is this randomly generated? So the terrain, the terrain is procedurally generated on most of the planets, I think. Um, the way that the game works, as the way Beth Bethesda described, is that when, when you go to a planet and you pick a landing spot, it's going to generate the terrain, and then the game will insert, um, specific bits, like crafted chunks. So, a loot cave or an enemy base. Uh, it'll it'll generate those around your landing position. So you land, you scan, it pops up all those things. Are you able to place a point on the map to measure distance? That's a good question. It is kind of cool to see to just walk over a mountain and see like a valley and be like, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk across this. Is this space scale like Elite Dangerous big? Uh, no, it is not trying to be Elite Dangerous. It is trying to be a space themed action RPG. Um, and it has some of the vestiges of... Oh, I missed it. Can you see it? I missed everything you said because I had to watch five ads. Well, thank you for watching those five ads. Uh, and I apologize. Bezos got to get paid. Uh... Twitch is brutal on the ads. It is... It's three minutes of ads per hour. Which is the second to least amount of ads I can possibly run. I could run two minutes of ads an hour. I think that's as low as it goes. Is this game better than Star Citizen? They're not even the same game. Um, they're not even trying to be the same game. Can you preload the normal copy or the Game Pass version? Either, yes. Uh, I think. Accelerate. Thank you for the sub. I see we're almost done visiting all the planets. Yep. <laughs> 999 to go. Is it better than Stargate? Mmm. The movie or the show? So if I hit M, it brings up the global map, which is kind of annoying. Hold to exit. Okay. So you have to hold tab. Okay. Alright. That's not too long. Is this game better than trying to forgive my damn cheating bitch of a wife? Uh, yes. It will probably be easier than that. The whole movie was better than the show. Damn, Bill! Finally, a take I agree with. I tried to watch the show, because I really liked the movie. But the show was just, like, a totally different vibe. And they even, like, the characters were different. They had to, like, mush them around to make them workable for a TV show, I guess. So it's just like, nah, pass. That's, uh, that's not for me. Alright. Is there a way to go right to the local map? Let me see if there's a bind for that. I think there is. They, Luckily, unlike, you know, like Skyrim, I think, because you had to go through the tab, you had to go through the controller uh, menus to get anywhere in that game, which sucks. Same with Fallout 3. Um, you know, you know, mods always fix everything, but... Um, quick inventory, mission map is M, ship powers. No? No. No. Hmm. No. You have to go to the planet map and then hit local map every time? Hmm. 
I think once you have scanning, it won't matter. Because I think they'll just put all the pins directly on your screen. I'm gonna find this. Whatever it is. I probably won't even be- Oh! Probably won't even be able to interact with it. Never mind. Crystal Crater. All right, crystals. I did like that the little mechan- there's like a little mechanical knock to that thing. It sounds like an engine turning. Okay. Well, I guess I need a different mining tool. Try scanning them. I can't scan yet. I don't have the ability to scan. I just ran off. That's okay though. We found it. We found it. It's marked forever. Now I'm going to keep running north. Survey 80%. A little bit this way, and we're off. Can you walk around the planet? Probably not, but uh, we're about to find out. That was part of all the all the leaked clips showing that if you just if you ran too far in one direction, you just get an unceremonious pop up window that's like, "Sorry, bud, you're done. You got to turn around." Lana did a video on it. So did I. Inside Games did a video on it. Is the pop-up real or just this planet? I don't know. I haven't even seen it on this planet yet. For their own gameplay. Well, I don't care. You have pretty hair like Alana. Actually, you do. Yeah. Unfortunately, I am not... <clears throat> I'm not blessed with silver hair. I don't look like the coolest Pokemon trainer ever. No, I don't. I could be up there, but definitely not like the gym leader that people cosplay. Hope you get a rover to drive around and explore. Ooh, dying panda. I got bad news for you. No vehicles. Do we get a cool hover bike or Mako type car? Ooh, ooh, no, you don't. You get your legs and that's it. What's this? No vehicles at all. No vehicles. You get a jetpack. Oh. Harvest the vent. Got some benzene. What's that sound, you think? Hold on. What's, what's that sound? What you beeping? Yeah, I'm losing health. Is it going to come back, you think? Let's see if there's health regen. I hope not. Benzene is real bad for you? I'm wearing a helmet. Nothing can touch me when I'm wearing a helmet. Sometimes I think about that when I'm like putting on my motorcycle gear. Mantling! Sometimes I think about that when I'm putting on my motorcycle gear. Like, man, if I got in a fight... I could do whatever I wanted. <laughs> I'm wearing armor right now. You know what's weird is like, uh, there is a third person mode. You have a model, but it doesn't, you don't have a shadow or any like physical rendering when you're in first person mode. That's true. Uh, <laughs> that's true, H, H, J Hulbo? I hope I'm saying that remotely correctly. You're right. Uh, motorcycle, motorcycle equipment can't stop a gun. Oh boy, I turned. Okay, having to, so you have to hit M to bring up the map. 
G to go to local map, and then hold tab to get out of the map. You have to cross the entire keyboard just to see that one screen and go back. Like, I'm... I know that PC doesn't matter, but damn. Do you have a jetpack yet? No, I don't. This is the tutorial. I just took off. Which is cool that they let me do that, by the way. It's cool. You can rebind the M. I think you, you can rebind that button. Can this game run Crisis? Let's find out. Run Crisis. Ooh, no. No, it cannot. Why does it get fuzzy sometimes? Because I'm running out of stamina. I'm trying to sprint. And then it's... There's a stamina meter I can't see yet because I don't have my, my Starfield implants. Got to keep making sure that I'm going... Mm, I could... I could move a little. Turn a little this way. There we go. Okay, now as long as I don't touch my mouse... <laughs> is there an auto run button? Yes. And there's even like a there's a toggle sprint button. So. <laughs> Are there romanceable NPCs? Yes. So does it suck? Uh Not yet. Oh, that's interesting. I guess the orange is like penalty health. Does it reduce my max? Because now there's a gap between my white health and the orange health. That's that's interesting. That's a cool way of, of trying to get around the, the combat issue of just like... To me, it's Skyrim combat is just freezing time and eating 18 cheese wheels. And it's, it's like funny, but it's also kind of lame. <laughs> So yeah, if they if they have like penalty health, that'd be kind of cool. I'm not sure what the orange health does. I'm going to guess it lowers your max health for a while. If you're around uh, hazards and take certain kinds of damage. Can you remove your helmet while exploring? Yes. Because it killed me earlier when I did that. Oh, there's a big rock. Look at that big rock. What's going on with that? That's a big rock. I'm going to go look at that big rock. Are you going to run to another planet? I guess we'll see. The pop-in is a little visible, huh, though? When you, like, crest a mountain and you first see a new valley, it's almost like, yeah, see, like, right there. It's almost like it's generating the terrain as you see it versus generating it around you. Which means that they really had to... Uh, oh, it changed again. Your health is low. No, it's not. The rock became less huge. Hoping this game has a skooma equivalent. It's got to, right? It's the future. There has to be, like, cooler space drugs. This rock is not as cool as it looked. But it's still a cool rock. Yeah, that red drug from Robocop 2. Was it called Nuke? Any story that involves a new designer drug that's making, like, psycho gangs go crazy is a good story. There's no way to tell a bad story with that framework. It simply is impossible. <laughs> when I was in college, I was, like, I was workshopping. I wanted to do this, like, comic about a hard-boiled future detective. I can't remember the name, but... The, uh, the backdrop would be that there's this new drug on the streets called Cube. And it, like, d dealers would sell it as this, like, block. And you'd put it on your skin and the cube would, like, deflate. And all the drugs would go into your blood. Uh, and then the people who were addicted to it would be called blockheads. They just, they'd be all whacked out on Cube. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, that's the best idea I've ever had. 
I think the inspiration was that I got a digital camera and then I had like, I had a jacket and some dumb glasses and I was like, I'm gonna be a hard boiled cyberpunk detective. I did some like storyboards for the first episode and I was like, okay, or for the first issue. Cause I was like, we can take photos and then I'll put them through Photoshop and make them look all cool. And then I did it for one photo and I was like, this looks terrible. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I should have been brave enough to just put it on the internet anyway. I did that with some other things, but luckily that was like the aughts internet when thing. Whoa, that's kind of cool looking. When uh, everything wasn't uh, meticulously archived. Yeah, hey man, you got some cube? I gotta ride the edge. Map, G. Okay, still going north. Oh, there's like a fade out. So like, yeah, you actually see the boundary of the topography. Yeah, third person exists and you can zoom out. Does it come out for pre-release today at 12 or tomorrow at 12? Uh, early access starts in like seven hours from now. The Xbox app has a countdown to launch, and if you just subtract five days from that, you get the actual launch time. So actually, let me hide it up here. Yeah, so six hours. Six hours, 17 minutes. Gotta butt chug the cube. Gotta go 3D. What's your current goal? I'm just gonna, I'm walking to the edge of the map. I wanna see the turn around loser screen myself. How am I collecting this gas? I'm, how does it show up in my inventory, I wonder? You can't, damn it. You cannot, you can't jump to other menus from this screen. So if I hit I, nothing happens. I have to go back and then hit I. Oh, it's in, a, it's in a little, it's in a little labeled container. God bless. Oh, I forgot to put my argon on today. Yeah, a little space container. What's that? There's a weird thing up there. I'm gonna walk towards it. I wanna see if it changes. Yeah, it looks conspicuous, right? If this were Zelda, that'd be a Korok seed for sure. But it's Starfield, which means it might just be rock. Have you gotten the space magic yet? No, I have done nothing. I've done nothing but dick around, complain, and walk in a straight line. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, okay. The LOD really does change the shape of things. <sighs> that air looks great though. I Like the way that it's kind of like falling through this valley, it's, it's like reverse ambient occlusion. Um, it's not like 100% light accurate, but it looks really good. I have to admit, that looks really good. That part of it. The Deathy, thanks for the sub. Unspectacular discoveries of Rod Tiddick. Is mantling up mountains gonna be the new, like, trying to wheel your Skyrim horse? Oh, look at that! Why did it take me so long to look up? Too busy huffing Argon. I wanna look at that cool rock. Okay. Uh, uh. Like right over here, right? Oh. I lost it. It's gone. Let me make sure I'm still going north. M. G. Hold tab. All right. Looks like we're almost at the boundary. Uh, 
Whoa. Who? Calm down there, Rod. So you can't be holding forward and turn on auto run. It turns off when you let go. You have to not be heading, hitting anything and hit auto run. What's the point in these big spaces with nothing in them? So when you land on planets, my understanding is that they will generate points of interest for you to go find. Ah, there is our guy. Fast travel to ship. I don't have a ship. You cannot go that way. What if I keep going that way, though? Nope. Yep. Invisible wall. Starfield. It's not really even that far away. I mean, it was some walking, but it wasn't... It wasn't that much. Alright, if I hit fast... I don't have a ship. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't have a ship. <laughs> so it's not sending me anywhere. <laughs> Alright, so now I run all the way back. Or I reload the save, yeah. But I have Argon! I picked up some Argon! No. It's not worth it. 20 minutes running back or whatever. <sighs> well, that was a fun adventure. I saw some rocks. I'm not doing it. No, wait. Yeah, I lost all that cardio. Vin needs that cardio. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? You could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. <laughs> Not a push into the mysteries of space, you say. Uh, all the mist are gone. I'll have to come back later to get those crystals. So I'm curious, did it, is the scan still 80? It is, okay, so. That, oh. That point of interest didn't show up until I went north a little bit. Kind of interesting. On the frontier, we're reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Barrett? Barrett! I like that they put that up there so you see it when the ship's landing. Okay. That's what that ship was. It's it's your first goons. I had goons. Okay. Can't kill me. Akatosh. Opening fire. Are you okay? Are you okay? Trying to loot. <laughs> Stop it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Ooh, a cheesesteak. Pick up their guns. All right. Well, that was that was not true. The internet lied about that one. I wonder if ammo has weight. Probably not. Oh yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Goofy legs. Almost took off there. I don't like the percussion in the audio. What, what is mailing? It is. <laughs> What's a maelstrom? Is it a gun? 
Yeah, it must be the weapons they have. That's cool. So you can either look at it in the world or loot it off the off the corpse. Yeah. Radioactive. Randomly deals radioactive damage and demoralizes the target. Gun makes the target hear uninspiring things from their father. Oh yeah, bullets have no mass. Also, they call it mass instead of weight because this is space game. So wait, does that mean you can't get over encumbered in space? That would actually be pretty cool, really. Like if they sent you on missions where it was like a zero gravity ship and you were just like putting gold bars in your suit and then they hit you with gra- like the enemy turns on gravity and suddenly you're over encumbered and a fight starts, that would be awesome. And you have to like go in your inventory and toss everything out on the ground. Oh, there's no animation for using a med a thingy? Aw. I was hoping that like there'd be a cyberpunk first person huff sequence or something. Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Every planet is exactly 1G? Really? Really? They don't have, like, variable gravity? It feels like this planet is less than one, just based on the floatiness of the jumps. How bad are the loading screens? I haven't seen a lot of them yet, but... There there have been loads for transitioning areas that didn't seem big enough to warrant loads. Well, we'll see. Let's see. I didn't ask for any of this. Hey, um... I wasn't gonna bring it up, but... We don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh no, Barrett. No. You is there a camera just cut? To take off after the mess you caused? Oh right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me. <coughs> Fine. Could the camera it's not like just pan over? Get out of here, Dusty. Eh, whatever. You're on to bigger. The things. patches I think represent your skills, right? So you're not my job. Don't you get it? You don't have a job here anymore. You're with those explorers now. Like it or not. Just go, all right? Figure out what happened to you when you touched that rock. Well. None of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. It's only $200. Okay, so I get my pit boy. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Space pip. Press tab to exit dialogue. So, here's the thing. Riddick is not a man of many words. Todd is, though, so how do we find the balance there? You're giving me your ship. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider oh. it alone. All right. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception. Free ship. You can tell Constellation about that vision you had. See, that's the... While everyone else... Ah, okay, Tab just skips the line. I was kind of hoping you could just walk away while they were talking. Don't let him break my ship! <laughs> Few words, but they're all lies. Okay, so now I have a... Oh, that's... That's how they... That's kind of interesting, I guess. That's how they do stamina in this game, is that CO2 builds up in your respirator. Alright. That's fun. Loading screen. The loads are fast on PC. I imagine they're also fast on Xbox. Class A Starship, as Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. You know the drill, Vasco. 
protocol in the no means no mediation, dalliances, in short, no fun. He left all of his shit on board, too. Defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm technically. How's it running? Um. The frame rate rise, it's okay, but mouse look is kind of juddery and jerky. And actually, camera. Er, there's just some frame drops. There's some weird frame drops. But it's fine. Yeah, he left most of a sandwich out. He just took one chomp and then was like, okay, we landed. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. There wasn't like a, there should have been an intense first person sequence, like knob, flip, switch hitting, everything. So wait, is the robot piloting this whole ship? Is that how I know how to fly this already? I mean, Riddick knows how to do everything, but. Yeah. Gaming. Uh, oh boy, that is weird. Okay, so what happens if I just fly towards the planet? Ugh. It doesn't auto-center. Am I going to get a window that says you have to turn around? Is it going to get bigger? I think what's probably going to happen is I'll just fly infinitely. Hold left alt and use waz to switch. Okay. You can skip the tutorial. Alright. That's cool. I like that. What's GRV? Gravity? Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. Hmm. Draw your right attention here. to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try but yeah, even looking at this, like look at this, the way this reticle moves around. It's really jerky. It's, it's updating at a lower frame rate than the game. The mouse is not updating like every 120 frames. So, I think that's why mouse look looks shitty. It's just not pulling right. Or, or, I don't know. It's, maybe, maybe this isn't a pure indicator of how the engine is accepting mouse inputs and putting them into the game, but it's definitely not like, Let's turn it's not buttery smooth. Does it have mouse smoothing on? No, mouse smoothing would look and feel different. This is just like, the game, uh, game, like I, like I was kind of saying, the, my, oh, uh-oh, ambient occlusion got ticked down for some reason. Um, games used to do this a lot. They, like, a lot of PC ports would have issues with mouse, and it just wouldn't feel very good. Uh, it, it has become less of a problem, especially since, uh, PC games have sold more and been more important. Yeah. Uh, Prime Glass, no worries. Thanks for saying hi. Do you think this game is made for a locked 60? I just think, I just think the engine is not clean enough to run well. <laughs> Um, I don't even know if it's made for a lock 60. I do think that if I if I set my display to 60 and turn V-Sync on, that would probably make it feel a lot better. And I thought, uh, here, let me actually do that. It's going to hurt, and I hate it, but I'll do it. <sighs> Did you spend one hour in the character customizer? I think so. Something like that. <laughs> That's a butt, but it's probably fine. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to turn my desktop off while I play desktop roulette a little bit. Okay, that's fine. This is okay. Final Fantasy VII understands me. So you're working out and getting buff so you are strong to do what? Getting women as if they are objects to do what? Fuck them and forget about it? Some life. Getting women improves your social status amongst those who high-five people for being 
play is. Who gives a damn about being more social amongst those vapid wastes of food and employment? Video games are a great way to have fun and enjoy things that are n available, wait, available to you in life. Not only this, but the making of a game is an art form. By playing through, say, an RPG, you are treated to a grand story that is just overwhelmingly more fulfilling than going out, fucking some chick, high-fiving yourself and calling it a night. You get the benefit of enjoying an experience that billions of people haven't already done to death. You get the benefit of enjoying an art form. Notice here that I am not approaching games as some hardcore L33T wow, leet, jerk. I am going about it in ways much like a movie buff would appreciate film. For tangible benefits in competitive games, you are constantly pushed to not only complete a task, but to learn to do it better and better. You must learn to be quick on your feet, smart and precise. Oh, and popular television gives you a point of conversation with the lowest common denominator of people. And we all know that mediocrity, I don't know. <laughs> My task bar is covering the last part of it. Anyway, Final Fantasy VII understands me. Um, okay, here we go. Bum, 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 bam, bam, bam. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Todd, what are you making me do? <sighs> the only other game I did this for was uh, Tears of the Kingdom on emulator because that made it run so good. Okay. Yeah, that might help. <laughs> My mouse is so, so jittery on the desktop now. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Yeah, I saw Jado. Sad day. <laughs> Mashing buttons. Hey, Bull Kitten. Okay. Yeah, the mouse looks like it's moving a little more smoothly around the main screen. That was an exit save. All right. That's fine. Do you end up finishing Zoldon? What's Zoldon? Adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat ah! Because that's a crimson fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. Like the U, I think the UI and the interface is locked at 30, no matter what the rest of the game engine's running at. That's what it feels like. Because like the weight, the brackets around the ship and the, the health bar and stuff, it's moving around the screen at what looks like 30 hertz. This was not made for for PC. I don't. Yeah, it's it looks weird. Congratulations on surviving the worst. I mean, the game looks good at locked sixty. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. Could it be intentional in a retro futuristic way? No, <laughs> no. If it is, it just looks bad. <laughs> God, I appreciate the the uh, I appreciate the the spirit, but, um, I don't know. I've, I've been, I've been kind of amazed at <laughs> some people are just like, no, I want it that way. I, it's actually good that it's like that. I'm like, all right, okay. All right. <laughs> Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. The warping effect looks cool. Look at him buzzing away. Yeah, the UI's like it's like flickering on the on the screen. Ugh. It's like it's jittering back and forth between frames. It really doesn't look good. Uh that that ugh. That could probably be patched. Wanting to do mouse wheel for uh, for velocity or for changing my velocity.
jetpacks look nice. Yeah. I do hope there's more to combat than this, though. I guess I'll get missiles eventually. Yeah, this is... Like, even though I'm in space, space is not black. It's purple. Like, it... There's no pitch black in this game, which is kind of odd for a space game. And odd for uh, a universe containing one Rod Tiddick. Stylistic, I guess. Jeez, missiles? I, have, I do have missiles. I thought they had to lock on. Huh. Oh, I wasn't, I didn't target it. It wasn't targeted this whole time. That was me. That was me. Boom. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, it's still not locking. I like the um, lens effect around the explosions. It's kind of nice. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. I am In talking short, like a robot. Frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete. Why is this robot telling me to kill the pirates? For pirates. Why do I care? Nah, I guess it's a thing to do. Dun, 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 dun. All right. I think I might juice it back up to 120 hertz. Vertical on space warfare. Cool effects, kind of boring. Really simple, but that's kind of what I was expecting. Um, there's ways to make it like if you fight these, like capital cruisers and stuff. If you can join like a wing of pilots and there's like lasers going off and space popcorn and missiles, like it could be very cool. Will it be? Well, that's interesting. They actually put a, a thing there. There's no way you can just fly there. I want to see if, what happens if you just fly towards this planet. Because I'm pretty sure you're just in an infinite skybox. Well, I guess in Starfield, nothing. Maybe nothing is infinite, but. I am curious what's going to happen if I just fly towards the planet for a while. Your assumption is correct. Which one? I was making many. Uh, oh, Derple Nurples. Thanks for the sub. I think I missed that. Oh, oh! Unending skybox. Oh, okay. So you just fly and the, the ship never gets close or the planet never gets closer. But you surely you, you get further away from um other ships and things. There's like wrecks. It's moving? Or am I moving? Can you exit? the ship while in space and float around. Let's find out. I'm gonna guess no. How do I walk around? Oh, there we go. It looks like it's moving. Maybe you're you're in an infinite skybox and then all the planets are sort of rendered around you, but you cannot go interact with them. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I mean, I can't interact with anything. Never mind. Yes, I can. Gaming. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Should have taken my helmet off first. It's gonna get real humid in there. 
Your legs will go numb. Yeah. Once you like get really into a Reddit thread or something, and then you get up and you got the pins and needles. <clears throat> he didn't take his pants off either. I'm wondering why it takes that long to wait. There's, there's simply no chance. It's like simulating events across the galaxy in, in such ridiculous detail that it takes like 10 seconds to make an hour pass. But maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. All right, this is cool. Oh! <clears throat> I don't have any of this stuff. I like this. I'm always a big fan of like, things that you can just dump pick upables into. Yeah, they render the environment around you. Mm -hmm. That's that's cool, but again, it's like it's a wallpaper. It's not a it's not a gameplay feature, but it's a cool wallpaper. Where'd the planet go? Do you have animations each time you do something? I, I think it depends on what you do, but yeah, well, that's cool. <gasps> we get to see sunrise. Prepare for Starfield. Probably shouldn't look directly at this. I thought Q and E rolled. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's paused. Yeah, the logo. This is the late title screen. Everybody was waiting for. Cut the engines and roll. I, I mean, if you do that, it, you just stop. It doesn't really have, like, sp space physics. Oh, is I guess the sun's right there. All right. Well, that was pretty. All right. Um, I got to go to that, though. Map. System, click, set landing target, set course, oh, hold the exit, oh, X was right there, oh, I thought you would do it from this screen, you do it from the map? Mm. All right, and, oh man, is it gone? It's gone! All right, okay, so it's, it's just fast travel, yes, travel. X. What was... Huh? Oh, it's because it's in the same system. I didn't have to warp there. Crimson Fleet Captain is on the surface. We're there! One twenty-four hour shit later. So you click on the map to go to the planet, then you have to open the map again. Okay. Oh, okay, you can scan here. Doo. That's kind of cool. Land. Okay, at least you can just go right out. You don't have to like walk through your ship to go to the door and see another loading screen. So that's one load you get to skip. It was it's fast. It is a fast load. The abandoned research facility is in this direction. So yeah, this planet has a different color grading, but still, it just does not like the colors are all very washed out. Maybe it's trying to look like 70s film. Oh yeah, these little dudes. Oh, this was the... Wasn't this the demo? 
Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. How you doing? How you doing, little mans? Can I ride them? No. It's catchy. Environmental audio isn't bad. Press F to scan. Scan! Scan, damn you! Oh, this is the second planet I've been on. Alright, we're on our way. There we go. Let's see your scan, scan, scan. Each unique scanned progress is your survey data. The planet completed survey data can be sold for credits. I like that. I like that. Many creatures are often unpredictable. One IQ tasks. You can just fill up meters and get money. I wonder what. I guess money is probably going to be really. Um, scan. Oh, that. That's it. It's temperament wary. Five. Okay, so you have to scan multiple instances of a thing. Huh. Okay. Putting the little outline around the scannables is a pretty subtle way to draw attention to them. Ooh, that was kind of cool. I don't know what that means, but why is it popping up all those panels? Oh, show resources. That's why, because I'm hitting the button. Okay. We know Riddick's going to be using this axe. Hey, there we go. All right, all right. Hey. Riddick's faced this before. That's level five. I mean, like... Oh, and, and I also have a robot buddy with me. Does it feel like Fallout in space so far? Yeah. It's got some things that Fallout doesn't, though. And we'll see. I mean, I have, I have barely scratched the surface of what this game theoretically has going on. So, still far too early to pass judgment. Some disappointments already, but some things that were... Either not not at all a problem, or uh, maybe a little better than I thought. The mouse look doesn't bother me as much anymore. Maybe my eyes just got used to it. I think it's happening less, to be honest, too. <clears throat> it may have been an issue of just like the game was doing a lot of unpacking and pre-rendering at the beginning. Or it's just not as bad on this planet? I don't know. It could be any number of things. How close do you have to be to scan? 10 meters, all right. Mmm, lead. Is there sneak? Yes. Here, I'm gonna do some sneaking in this base here. See? Hidden. I have I should have a character perk because I'm Riddick. It allows me to be sneaky. Don't load. Well, whatever. It's a fast load. It's a fade out. It's so quick. It may as well be walking through the door. But it's not. Free Star Collective Space. 
It then stands to reason that this was once a secret use. You know what it is? It's because the engine is different. They have way more lighting effects inside, and I guess they could not get it to blur. Ah! That's cool. Heat leech. Why can't I scan it? Oh, because the robot's in the way. Stop it, dude! Move! Basco, I need you to... Maybe not? No, I, I can't scan him. I guess he's not indigenous to this planet. Whatever. Sneak attack. Oh geez, we got books. I want to read all the lore, but I'm going to be like Bethesda lore drops were rarely that interesting. Lusty Argonian Maid was okay. There's no time knife in... Alright, fine, I'll read it. An excerpt from Lubov Song's novel Red Rover Come Over, an alternate history where autonomous robotic rovers gain sentience replicated and colonized Mars before humans could form colonies. Larissa just smiled. The machine continued to blink its lights and emit faint whines as its servos whirled, unsure of how to proceed. But machine communication was Larissa's specialty. She flicked the buttons on her universal comm unit. Its LEDs blinked rapidly in response to her movements. It's okay, she signaled through her device. I won't hurt you. But if we've any hope of getting out of this cave, we'll need to work together. Larissa hadn't expected her day to go like this, trapped in a disused mining tunnel under the surface of Mars, with a frightened and potentially hostile maintenance robot, but her espionage training had prepared her for similar situations. The machine clicked and beeped in response. I trust you. It wasn't a direct translation. As precise as machine binary language was, there was still a lot of room for misinterpretation when translated to her native tongue. It was close enough. The robot seemed to relax. Its glowing aperture expanded to let let more light in as it gazed at her, taking in any information it could gleam. I think it means glean. Glean from her. Gleam is a shine. Glean is, is skimming information. Anyway, and then it extended one of its many clamps in her direction. She took hold and with a firm yet gentle tug, pulled the small robot out from under the rubble. There we go. That's better, isn't it? She asked, clicking out her message on her comm unit. Now, if you can lead me out of this tunnel and back to my dropship, I can call for backup that could help you or help your fellow machines fight back against your oppressors. The robot seemed to nod in understanding and began to wheel its way down the rocky corridor, stopping every so often to let Larissa catch up. Okay, that was pretty fun. <laughs> Enemy mine situation. Which was based on a World War II story that I'm not super familiar with. Like, there's a movie about an American and I think a Japanese prisoner that crashed on an island together. Empty chunks. I want a full chunks packaging. Yeah, cyberpunk lore drops were amazing. Ugh. And honestly, I thought they did a lot of the, like, storytelling and world building that people were expecting in the lore drops. <clears throat> like, um, every single side quest had a lore drop that really explained why it was happening and, and what the context of what was going on in the world. And specifically referenced a bunch of other events. But you really had to read everything and keep track of all the, the names and stuff to connect that. But I don't, you know, I can't really expect... <clears throat> people to uh to pay that much attention to text also the diaries of the watson whore were amazing i wanted to know i wanted to watch that show maybe they'll have full episodes of watson whore in um in phantom liberty we can hope like the billboard ad for watson whore was him just barfing <laughs> Damn it. Make it a show. 
Can you scan the corpses of the scientists? Aha! You can look at them, but I, I can't scan them. What's that, though? A pen! Aha! Oh, that's awesome! Sir kills a lot. Yeah, uh... PNG tube is a real, real fun, real easy... Uh, utility to use. There's another book. Oh, there is a book. How did I miss? Oh, it's just notebook. It's not a book book. Oh boy, the history of xenobiology though. First several chapters of Lars Nilsson's work seem to focus primarily on the digestive systems of alien herbivores. Okay, the dissection of Doctor Lur Lords. Yeah. Dr. Lord's latest find revealed a creature that was, just as she suspected, based on its outward appearance and evolution of the microscopic hydrothermal worm. But her research also suggested a species that evolved in distinct stages, possibly growing significantly as it did. So the question now remains, which version of the creature did Dr. Lord dissect and what maximum size could it possibly achieve? How big can the worm become? Questions only modern science has the answer to. Imagine a worm. Now imagine it bigger. No, bigger? Bigger still. Hold on, that's too big. All right, you've got it. That's the kind of worm we're talking about. His name is Jules. Thanks for the sub. Kind of a Nelson head myself. Loved his book on xenobiology. Oh. Well, this is all old news to you then. What are your opinions on large worms? Nilsson is a bit of a, a black sheep in the giant worm community due to his radical views. Chicken marsala plus stellar kebabs. Now, do you think they're stellar because they're really good? Or because we're in space? Heart plus. What the heck is that? Probably like unlimited stamina for 30 seconds or something. These kebabs are stellar. You should name them that. I want that, but it won't let me pick it up because it's inside the toaster oven. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Oh, oh, you can pick stuff up. Okay, I guess you just couldn't do that in the, yeah, wait, what? Okay. Okay, you can pick up objects that are not lootable. What the heck is that? What button was it? It's E. You just hold E. But you can't do it for anything that actually goes into your inventory. So like this cup, I can't pick up. But that I can. And you can rotate it. Fuck yes. Imagine a toaster oven in your mind and rotate it. <laughs> okay, good. This means hopefully I can stick toaster ovens on the heads of NPCs and they won't see me. Oh god. Please tell me this will work. Okay. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, almost got seen. Oh, oh, oh! I like how they don't see the giant robot. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Maybe it only gets that full? Because I'm... Oh! Ah, uh, fuck you. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, huh? 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 Oh, come on. How are you supposed to stack sandwiches if you can't pick up and stack items? Or if you can't pick up items? You have to pick them all up and then drop them. That's how you can move uh, pick up items. Because you can drop out of your inventory and then they just like fall in front of you. But yeah, you can't like... You can't... Uh, 
Yeah, for some reason you can't like hold inventory items in front of you. Oh, it's the other dude. Oh, there's a guy looking at him. Oh, okay. Can you throw items? <laughs> uh. Well, since they're staring directly at each other, I don't think I can sneak up on them. Now's the time. No, oh, oh. You did not. You did not just kill that man. Okay. No! <sighs> Fucking robots. Out in the stream. They call it minor. Alright. Let me. Ooh. The Pickwick Papers. The Posthumous Papers of the Pickwick Club, Chapter 1, The Pickwickians. <laughs> the first ray of light which illuminates the gloom and converts into a dazzling brilliancy that obscurity in which the earlier history of the public career of the immortal Pickwick would appear to be involved is derived from the perusal of the following entry in the Transactions of Pickwick Club, which the editor of these papers feels the highest pleasure in laying before his readers as a proof of the careful attention indefatigable defag, in ah i looked up how to say that word a while ago hold on this is all one sentence by the way indefatigable 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 all right uh persisting tirelessly indefat okay indefatigable assuidity Acid, assiduity and nice discrimination with which his search among the multifarious documents confided to him has been conducted. Charles Dickens' first book about a man who establishes a society whose goal is to travel and research human life become a phenomenon that established the author as one of the best of his day. The Pickwicks. Mmm, little toilet milk. Love slurping my milk while I'm on the toilet. Oh, they already have a... Hmm. Oh, you got tissues next to your recliner, my man. Ooh. They're having fun over there. I do like to tuck a little smoked salmon under my bed. So if I wake up at 3 a.m. and I'm a little hungry, I got myself a snack. Oh, okay. Oh, we got we got lock picking. Oops. Did you pick? Stole this dude's cheese. Filling all open slots and every layer to open the lock. It's like the key rotates so it lines up with the gaps. Slot the key in to fill the gaps. Each key can only be used once. Slot key. Oh. Oh, you look at the next ones. I see. And see how it lines up. Interesting. That's kind of a neat way to do it. Oh, okay. I think I screwed myself already. Yeah. Yep. You can choose the keys. Uh, you can How? There's nothing on... 
Oh, you have to click? Boy, that's weird. Okay. I guess on controller it's like... It's gotta be like bumpers or something. Ooh, that's a fun little gun. Take... Why is it filling up with green? Does that mean a friendly can see me? Well, I'll admit, they're they're really good with like, well, at least in this area, really, really good with lootables and explorables, like tons of tons of cabinets to look into, seemingly meaningful things to pick up. That's a lot of emails. Oh my god. All of this for like one tutorial thing. Ugh. What is that? View desktop? What is that? What is that icon even? Middle click? It's middle. Okay. No, it's not. Huh. Let's see here. Can't believe it. I got the posting. United Colonies Xeno Warfare Division is now official. I'm just going to skim these. Hers extra chicken. Giant spider. Full protective gear. <laughs> so, yeah. They're just emails about whatever Xenomorph thing that the goons talked about. I keep using that word. That means something else these days. Oh. After the Michelson debate. Ashta can't be controlled. We can't control the giant spider. Space lobsters. Ooh, very promising space lobsters. I do like the font. Like the UI, the UIs in the game look very pleasant. Ooh, a magic window. Nothing in here. Ooh, finally. Cocoa chugs. Full. Alien bug paperweight. I'm I'm picking up a lot of stuff because I kinda just want to stare at it when I'm in my ship. It's a nice looking espresso machine. Ah hell. Executive ball clicker. Can you like Make it go? No? Maybe I just take uh, all the ball clickers. That's what I do. I'll have a, a cargo hold full of ball clickers. Turn to do dishes, dumbass. Chunks egg. An egg flavored chunks food cube. Excellent. Yes. We needed food cubes. Absolutely. Hold on. I gotta see that egg. It's even got the logo stamped into it. Incredible. I like how the models are slightly different, despite, I mean, the name changes, but that's it. Like, the package is actually a little bit different of a size. 
Che oh. 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 Jeez. I am all about this. I love this, uh... This, like, hyper-commodified, all, like, bubble pouch, zipper pack, zipper pack clamshell design. Again, like, Cyberpunk was heavy into that, too. Getting those coins at that meter is going to do anything. Also, I wonder if turning on your flashlight affects stealth. It doesn't seem to. Seems like it's just movement. Oh. Alright, now. I'm going to go back and... Oh, here's a box. Alright. Alright, here we go. Time for the ultimate... Oh! <laughs> Time for the ultimate stealth play. And mantle again! Oh. Mantle once and. Nope, okay. <laughs> Whoa! Sick! Uh. Uh. Alright, I'm getting over head cold, so I have to go hawk up some stuff at the breast room. I'll be right back. Oh no! Bob I am. Alright, sinus is empty. Oh! Sinus is empty. No. Um. Someone's asking about Starfield availability. Uh, I have a pre-release code. Early access starts in about six hours. But you have to have the digital deluxe edition or buy the digital deluxe upgrade if you have Game Pass. Wow, really? Really? For a level up? Oh, that was long. Maybe that's just the first one. Oh, you can shoot his helmet. That's cool. Is he gonna like suffocate me? How oh, customizable is the UI? Oh, that was cool. Let me check in a second. It makes the sound of glass shattering, but there's not even a decal? Alright. Oh, let's see. Um, I don't think there's a lot, to be honest. You cannot turn off the um, experience bar. Wait, hold on. You can just make the HUD gone. Oh, you can turn off markers. That's kind of cool. Immersion. Damn it. I was hoping that was a bowl I could pick up and not in the video game way. Like in the in the real world video game way. It's gonna be weird to figure out the items that you can pick up. 
Is every weapon viable despite builds? I'm sure. I'm sure. I I will put the odds at 0% that it was anyone's uh, intention with Starfield to make a game that would challenge your build. I'll take nutrient off that scientist. This is this 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 game is not meant to like slap you, slap you on the wrist in any way for any reason. The Equinox. That looks cool. So yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be like. I like the way the guns look so far. They're all pretty unique and cool looking. There's a variety of uh, aesthetic influences in the guns too. That one had like a, a natural wood grip. The rest are very kind of mechanical and blocky. <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm curious if there's even chunks cola. Wait, what? Chunks cola. Do you think there's a way in this game to like try to find a boss you can't kill? Or try to find an enemy that will kick your ass. I don't know if it's even possible, but we can... I want to find something. Oh, it is just a chunk of cola. Okay. <laughs> Still got the brand in it. Uh, yeah, maybe certain zones. Maybe, maybe like, you can just fly to a random planet, and it'll be like, yo, you should not land here. And I'm going to be like, I'm going to land there. Why does that have a diamond on it? Component in crafting? But that has component in crafting. I wonder if you can tag... Uh, oh, maybe it's like... Rarity? Hmm. Okay. Infections, con contusions, lacerations, puncture wounds, burns, frostbite, dislocated limb, fractured limb, fractured skull, sprain, torn muscle... Brain injury, concussion, heat stroke, hernia, hypothermia, lung damage, poisoning, radiation poisoning. That's a lot of uh, debuffs you can get. I like that. Is there a planet where everything is on a cob? Guns on a cob? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I feel confident saying yes to that one. I'm ready to lock it in. Well, that's fun. He had a med pack on his body, but there was another med pack in his hand, so I got two. That's what we call environmental storytelling. You got a hernia? You need that stuff? I had a hernia. Hernia crew. I can't wait till I can get... I want to get, like, throwing knives or something. I need to get two space daggers so I can hold them over my chest like this. That bullet readout is cool. But it's also, like, again, a blurred aesthetic. LEDs? I guess that's 70s, but not really? Maybe I should not think that the entire universe should all look the same. Okay, these guys are have done damage to me. Oh, and it's heal over time while you're in combat. That's good. No, I need it. Sir. Yeah, hernias don't heal themselves. They they can't. Um, at least that's my understanding. I am a doctor. Thanks for the help, Vasco. Nah, I had to. I had to have one uh, operation where they tried to staple it back together. I had an umbilical hernia, so right in right in my tummy. My guts were falling out. Um, they tried to staple the fascia back together. I think that tore. So then I got a mesh. So now I'm cyborg. I'm part cyborg. I'm basically RoboCop, except gamer. Bum 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 bum. I watched that clip of RoboCop shooting all the dudes' dicks off last night again. I don't even. I don't even remember why. Ah, Todd, you liar. I could take the toast without ripping it from the knife. Anyway, that was a good scene. Okay, 
Yeah, that's a pretty tasteful item outline. Pretty tasteful way to do a, to do a scan mode. You still have that shirt? I do. Oh, that's not a not a readable. All right. Wait, that looked cool. Does that does that explode into frosties? It does. Oh no! Vasco, you're all froze up. Ah, oh, he's fine. <clears throat> Fuck. Rough night, Vasco. Hey, Vasco. Chill. All right, every wait. Do I still have that on? No. How did I take that off? What's wrong with me? For real? Sizzler. No. Boy, I really messed up. I really messed up. I gotta hold on. I'm gonna need this. This is gonna be important. Did I? I fully took it off. What the hell's wrong with me? Hmm. Where did I put those sounds? Uh-oh. I made a folder for them somewhere, and I was like, I might forget where this is. Wait. Is it? Oh, here we go. Phew, that was close. Okay. All right, everyone. Chill. There, okay. All right. Delayed. Not on, not on time. Don't worry, though. It's there now. Don't worry. I was close. I could have just looked where any of the other... <laughs> any of the other files were. I would have found it immediately. Yeah, just pretend that that hit, like, at the right time and it was really funny. Appreciate that. The Ice Age. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of yeah. whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. Yeah, snarky. Everyone's dead. That's what credits look like? Oh, that's cool. Little cred chips. Neat. Did, did you, did you pick? Yeah, lock picking is okay. So hold on a minute. Turn it off. Wait. Okay. If you're in scan mode and you click, it's going to bring out the mining laser no matter what. Instead of bringing out the weapon that you have selected. Or the weapon you had up last. That was really throwing me for a loop. And then when you leave scan mode, it just lowers the laser automatically. That's a little bit odd. I kind of get it. They're just shortcutting what you would probably do anyway. But I wasn't expecting it to do that, so... Oh, carry deep mining pack. What the heck is that? It's a legendary item is what it is. Basic boost pack. All right. Tunnel mining pack. Ah, huh. So those are the stats in your backpack. Physical defense and I guess energy defense, electromagnetic. He ran out of O2. Is it 
it reset your O2 when you swap packs, I guess? Okay. Ah, that's how you see what you have equipped. Ah, okay, okay. I guess instead of like gargling cheese wheels, now you're swallowing cheese sticks to get your health back. Five health. <laughs> That's not much. Is there not like a just eat food button? <clears throat> it's a very wet, gargly, chompy sound. Hold on a minute. Power. Do menu. I'm gonna move quick keys. Huh. Okay. I wonder if you bind a food item to a quick thing, if it then becomes the slot for all food. That's what a lot of RPGs have done lately, which I think is really smart. Especially when, like, generic food items are just interchangeable small heals. <clears throat> I remember Witcher was one of the first ones to do that. Yeah. That's a, that's a good point, Unsteady Funk. A stick is much easier to insert directly into your mouth. It's shaped like your esophagus already. That's just good design. So let's see, if I were to take a lemon, say, and bind it to the wheel. This is med pack. All right. So it, it's food. It looks, it's a food icon. That's a good sign. I don't understand what that... Woo! <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, Vasco. Sorry, pal. I'm trying to figure something out here. I found what grenade was. Here's the thing. I don't know what... Uh... <laughs> I don't know what, uh... Damn it. Bindings. There was that quick... What is this icon? Mm. It's not... Because I saw that before. Well, whatever. I've rebounded now. This! Is it click middle mouse? Oh, that's a Q? Oh my gosh. Okay. I thought it was a... Okay. Oh my gosh. It looked like a mouse. I could not read that. Alright, thank you for telling me that that was Q. Ugh. <sighs> All right, lemon. And it's gone. Shit! All right. So we are back to Skyrim style. If you if you need health, you, it's time to dive into your menu and swallow 15 egg cubes. <laughs> but, it, oh, your health is right there, okay. Hmm, spiced worms. More worms than ever before. Nom, nom, nom. Increase fortitude and pain tolerance. I love how it just looks like good, shitty, like mass produced disposable plastic because it's all thick. Gummy bugs? Wait, research projects require few re fewer resources for 10 minutes? But like you just start them and then they go, right? So you just use that right before you start any project? Oh, that's awesome. All the little pouches and a little, a little blurb of water. Spinach, pork jerky, pineapple fruitcake. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> they recorded Todd eating. Todd, could you eat wetter, please? Eat sloppier. Just be a little piggy, Todd. Just, just, just be a little, a little piggy boy. Be a fat little piggy boy. You can oink if you want to. Weird day in the recording booth. Slop it up, Todd. We need a really sloppy one this time. Yeah. Pretend like you have no dignity for a second and just go to town. Explore the space. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Hmm. 
Hmm. <clears throat> uh if it's truly Riddick, he would just he would just waste these fools. He's got no places. He's got no problems. But also, I kind of wanna I wanna test the writing by like being antagonistic to it. So also is there's no stat check, you just get to do it, right? Oh no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. Yeah. We're after that ship. Riddick does like to shit talk, Every that's true. Crimson fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation. What would Todd do? In the cargo bays. I may have picked the right option. Planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. You, you just get hmm. If he were here, Barrett would say he was proud of you for asking that. The answer is I don't no. care what Barrett says. I don't have time to make the settled systems a safer place. Open fire! Captain Protocol Indigo dictates the Gaming. Incredible. tell you how much ammo you have in this menu it doesn't look like it oh it does S sort of it did in that menu oh there it is there's the there's the riddick weapon for sure that's the one all right rounds oh there it is yeah thank you Wait. Oh, yeah. Weird. I didn't expect it to get listed like that. Okay. <clears throat> God damn. Sorry. Yeah, there it is. Digi shank. All right, Riddick. We got to kill all these dudes with just this shank. You up for it? First of all, the main course. This is embarrassing. Okay. Riddick? Oh my god, dude. Alright, all right, fine. I'll go around the other way. Here comes Riddick. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Fuck. They have like tribal markings on their helmets. Intense combat. Riddick! You can't sprint and melee at the same time. And if you're sprinting and you click, it doesn't make. <laughs> yeah, I tried that too. Uh, it doesn't make you uh, attack, it just makes you stop sprinting. How's the game so far? It's a little awkward. There's like, okay, so it's like, if you're sprinting, you click to stop and you can't immediately attack either. You stop and then there's like a full second where you just can't do anything and then you can attack. <clears throat> I 
I'm playing on PC. There's some some interface bits and some control bits that are pretty clearly not meant for PC. I mean the the can't scan that. Maybe I already did. Um, the mouse aim w was a little juddery and weird at the beginning, but it's actually settled in quite a bit. It doesn't feel that bad anymore. Who's do? Hey, where? Oh man, there's somebody up there. Oh look at him. I can make that jump. Probably not, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> I almost got it. You think I can make it though? This is a little higher. It's a little further away. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe, mmm. Riddick! Nope. It it's gotta be an air dash. Yeah, there's like, there's a jet pack. There's all kinds of stuff. You can mantle now. You can in fact mantle, it's very exciting. Yeah, maybe that's closer. All right, all right, all right. Please avoid getting- Mert! Oh, no, it's like downhill, so I'm like, I'm skipping as I, ch as I sprint. Any classic Bethesda jankiness? Ah, mo very moderate, very mild. Um, had a had a dialogue jump scare. Uh, NPCs sort of like robotically snapping their head around to look at you. Um, AI that's just like the AI is not great. Um, but that whatever. Why can't I scan anymore? Maybe I already scanned this guy to completion. I don't know. Yeah, good time for a gamer stretch. Berserk, berserker. I agree. I'm gonna do some space squats over here. Yeah, some ragdolls have been really nice. Um, there's a lot of lootables. The game's stable, but it doesn't run exceptionally well. If that makes sense. Anyway, squat time. Let me let me find a good good vista. Yeah, let me climb up here. This is where Riddick would do squats. He'd do squats up here. Yeah, no real bugs. Um, very very minor UI glitches. I had like a an inventory window just kind of go blank for a couple couple of beats. Slightly better than the average Bethesda launch. Yeah, I'd say stability wise for sure. Um, yes, absolutely. It hasn't crashed at all. Yeah, not at all. Then again, I think a lot of the things that would crash a typical Bethesda game have been replaced by pretty uh, unceremonious uh, gates. There's like. There's, there's walls and gates and load screens everywhere. So they kind of really toned down on the uh, like openness. And I think that's part of the key to making it more stable. Okay. This is a good, a good place to, to bust out some squats. I encourage you to get up and do a stretch or two. Um, I'm just gonna try to get down. And, I'm gonna open up my hips, open up my groin. like to keep that groin closed you're missing out I've been working on my squats a lot so I can uh, I'm almost I'm not gonna say I'm like slav depth but I you know I'm almost to the point where I can comfortably squat on my haunches which is something I've never been able to do in my life can your ass touch the grass uh, I don't think I can make my butt actually touch the floor but I can I can almost get to where I can like completely relax on my legs, on my haunches, and, and still be balanced. Exciting. All right. Yeah, I wasn't really doing uh, squats for the like strength of it, so I only did like two. Oh, I could have fast traveled here. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, you can go right to the cockpit. That's that's cool. I like that. Captain, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Backpack clipped into the seat. Unplayable garbage. Not crazy about the cold bluish hue of the game. So that's this planet. Um, this planet has a different color color grade than the first planet I was on, which was more of an orangey kind of deserty, rocky planet. I'm gonna guess that every every planet has its own color grading. The thing that I'm not crazy wild about is that all like a lot, a lot of the colors are washed out. That's that is kind of the universal aesthetic of the game, which I think they're trying to emulate 70s film. Um, but there's no like true black in this game. There's just gray and like and like kind of faded purple. Even like the star field is not space black. It's it's stylish. Um, it's just interesting to me too that like. This is not, I don't, like, how's this game gonna look in HDR? Because it's definitely not like a, a bright whites and a dark black kind of game. All right, well, let's take off. Na 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 na. I'll have to come back later to scan everything. Seventy sci-fi was colorful. Yeah, I, I'm more just kind of... This is just in my pure imagination. I'm more thinking about just the... The color quality. It tend to... In my in my mind's eye, it tended to be a little more washed out. Um, less vibrant. I think that was just due to film stock and lighting and stuff. ba 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 So I guess in space, it's really just going to be mostly like... Things kind of popping up in front of you. Because this is... Like, this is space. It's just this. It's just uh, floating. Back to system. Star station. Oh yeah, I leveled. How about that? I'm gonna go to a different planet. Sensor contact. Wait a minute. Does it mark the ones you've been to? Yeah, see here. I guess if you've scanned it at all. Is this the Survey 36? Oh, that's just out in space. Hmm. If I want to keep an academic listing of all the planets I've visited, I might need to start writing them down. I like the tones here. Oh, that's cool. They showed like the topographical map of space-time getting warped by gravity. That's neat. Oh, and it even shows it around the planets and stuff. Okay. That's fun. That's a cool effect. It took me a second to see that. Uh, hold on, let me start a planet list. <laughs> I'm gonna do it in, in Google Sheets. That seems fitting. I wish I'd play audio in the background. Let's see here. Vectera. And what am I on now? Is Narian what I'm on now? Crete. This way I can review every planet. Surely there's a log or an index tab. Yeah, maybe? I was kind of hoping there'd just be like a pip on this screen to indicate whether or not you've landed there. Fast travel is currently unavailable to this location. Go wherever you want. But not there. <laughs> Don't, not like that. Uh. Alright. Toggle which quests can be tracked in your HUD. Take the artifact to his colleagues at Constellation, have a ship, and a robot Vasco for the journey. 
Grab jump to Jemison. Oh, that's why. Okay. Now I get to grab jump. D not there. <laughs> Don't go there. Oh. Sumati. Oh, not there either. You can't scan it either. Okay, fine. I guess I'm locked in tutorial. Ooh. Yeah. You don't want to go there. Listen, you can go wherever you want, but you also have to trust us to tell you where you want to go. Set course. Jump. All right, now I get a cool warping sequence, I hope. Oh, thank you, Bob Tart. Check that out. I like the way they, they show the solar system when you warp in. That's a cool way of showing that. All the moons and stuff. Uh-oh. Oh, they tell you if you have contraband or not? Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. I'm just a humble space outlaw. Luckily, their contraband scanning didn't detect my eye shine. Alright, so... What buttons do I have to hit to land? Tab? No. Map. Fast travel directly from the missions menu. Press tab. Select missions in the bottom section. Press R to automatically plot, plot a course. Oh man, you don't even have to think? God bless. Todd, you magnificent bastard. Go to the mission you wanna... Man. This is like next level glowing indicator at the top of your compass telling you where to go in Skyrim. Go to the quest, hold a button, warp directly there with the camera pointed directly at what you need to shoot and then click to shoot. Quest complete. It just works. This looks really cool though. This looks clean. Yeah, Bear, Bear Zoo streamer benefit. I got an early access code because I'm actually going to be sponsored by Starfield. But that sponsored stream will probably be tomorrow. And here's your new cap. I wanted to have an idea of what I was looking at. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk before telling everybody to spend money on it. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. I have to get a lay of the land before I can properly shill it. But yeah, as part of that, I got, um, I guess what qualifies as review access, but I haven't been playing this game for weeks and weeks. I, uh, I just got the code last night, so. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Okay, you can't murder children. And see, that's why this stream is not sponsored. So wait, can I can I take out? Hold on. Move, move. Oh shit. So wait, what happens if I just hold on? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit this one out. Why is it getting brighter? Is the sun coming up in my toilet? Oh no, I think the lights actually turned on because the sun went down. All right. All right, I'm sure it's blown over by now. I'm kind of surprised you can bring weapons out in a major city. All right, everybody. Have we all calmed down? Hmm? No. Oh, somebody's charging on up, though. Dude. 
Dude, this guy's hard. He's just gonna throw fist with a- Oh! He's gonna throw fist with a robot? Uh, is the robot invincible? I haven't even spent my level up. Go steal that other shit. What other shit? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, they might got me. I don't have, I don't have heals. I should use, I should use some of my space drugs. That Riddick box office razzle dazzle. So yeah, I'm killing the like security of the main city with a knife. I do have a robot pal. I would not be able to do this without robot pal. So I can't. Now there's no problem. Talk to Representative Chisholm. Didn't I stab him to death? Hold on. Set mission objective. I'm pretty sure I killed him. I think he's dead. Oh, no, there he is. He's running. Oh, okay, he's not dead yet. Hold on, let's make sure. Is this gonna be like the, the Threads of Fate have been severed situation? Uh, you're playing in hard mode? There's not there's no difficulty setting. Down he goes. Mission updated. Go to the lodge. Oh. It just goes to the next thing. Okay. Hello. Hi. I'm curious how this is going to play out. Back to work. Ah, Hello, cute bot. Mm. Show me your masterpiece. Sure. I can probably take my helmet off here. I don't have goggles yet. But you probably don't need... You probably don't need to hear that to understand who I am. It doesn't look like... It doesn't look like him at all. How is how is Vin Diesel so impossible to make in any character creator? Anyway, it's supposed to be a mix of of Richard B. Riddick and Todd Howard. That's what the hair is from. Oh, is there a there is difficulty? Let's see here. Gameplay. Oh, there it is. Yeah, look at that. The chance to encounter legendary enemies. Interesting. 
But you can make him an Elden Ring? I tried. I tried to do that. Dun, 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 dun. It was actually not. It was closer in Elden Ring, I think. Not worth it. Oh shit! Ah! Oh, yes, the trains. The single feature that proves Starfield is better than Cyberpunk. They all dematerialize when they hit the train. Yeah, that's right. Riddick coming to town. Come on. Oh, good hop. It's kind of cool seeing all the NPCs react and run around and stuff. Just a little edge there. Right back. Just run through. We need to kill everyone. Last witness killed? Oh, that's cool. It removes your bounty if nobody sees it happen. Where did my quest objective go? Set course. Oh, okay. Show me. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Why the shiv? Because I am space's most notorious intergalactic outlaw, Richard B. Riddick. You've answered this repeatedly, just told me to shut up. But I had an appointment after character creation. Are there any hints that could elevate this above, or that could elevate Starfield above the Bethesda standard experience? No, not yet. But it is, it is on the, it is on the better end of Bethesda experiences so far. Okay, so now I have to kill everybody. I'm curious if they'll let me just walk in there and do all the conversation like I didn't just murder everyone outside. I'm sure they will. Actually, I probably won't be able to take out a weapon. Well, the, the red, the red bits are disappearing from the map. Hey, maybe they're not. Um, I'm curious, I'm just curious how it'll react to that. I, I can't see. Yeah, there's a difficulty setting, I was, I was incorrect. It didn't ask for difficulty when I started, so I presume there wasn't one, but yeah. You can put it on a different difficulty in the menu. I will probably crank it up to very hard, just because it said that it'll make more legendary enemies appear. And, uh, I would like to see legendary enemies, that sounds cool. Do, 
Compare this to the Combat and Prey 2017? Eh, uh, there's not really a comparison. Completely different systems with completely different intentions. We appear to have a visitor. Yeah, they're cool. Welcome to Constellation. Would you care to Hold on a second. Excuse me. Vasco. Currently. I want to see if I can pull out a knife. I'll come back and do this conversation properly. Thank you. It might take a second though. What happened? Interesting. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. There. Are you hearing Okay. This? Do you want to believe they just make know? certain NPCs unattackable. Whether it happened or not was All right. Okay. Okay. So, so they definitely put all the most important story beats in like cinematic immune zones from your your goof. And I'm going to imagine that all of that is completely immune to your reputation or bounty or anything else in the rest of the universe. That's fine. I don't... That's cool. Um, which save was it? Is it this? Yeah, no severed threads of fate. Not that I can tell. Oops! Well... Well, that's one. Doink. I was a fool for trying to load a game. Any bugs yet? That's the first in three and a half hours of play. And I've been a little stinker. Uh, I've been... I've been... Uh, I've been trying to... I, I, yeah, I've been knocking around quite a bit. Oh, it's the third planet. You're right. But I'm reloading a save. I think. I hope it's this one. I was level two. Uh oh. Okay, that. <laughs> Crap, did I not save before I started murdering everyone? Uh oh. Maybe it was quick save. I don't think I quick saved again. <clears throat> My parents aren't dead. Okay. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Think we're getting oh. any closer? Uh, well. Yeah, Barney, we got there. That's it's cool. Possible. <laughs> uh, we'll just. Uh, we'll just. <clears throat> yeah, close one. All right, hold on. Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM one three two seven. It's time to Starfield. You know it is. I am. Let's see here. Main story NPCs being unattackable and in close spots hitches my in my brain. I'm also spoiled by Larian and Obsidian. Who let you kill literally any NPC you can physically reach? Any authority? Yeah. Um. The moment health for. So when like when they were talking about oh Starfield's going to be the most stable game ever, I was like yeah because you took away all the options to break it, which is smart. Don't get me wrong. That's how you make games unbreakable. But the writing was on the wall. Like, when zealots breached the station's perimeter, and you failed to initiate it's fine, though. It's proper fine. evacuation protocol. I think people just thought it was a different game. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. doesn't have the old Bethesda jank. It's been very minimal so far. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of there alive. I'll just glad I still remember my flight basics. It had been a while. So, so there's a thing about about animations where like if if people stand robotically still, they look really weird. So you just feed a lot of like random static into like animation so people are always like moving and, and just kind of bobbing. It's a little heavy here though. People are like wobbly. But I don't smell anything here. Um no, yes, no, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis... Hold on a second, sorry, I gotta up, up my planet counter? Thank you. Wait till Tuesday or play it today. Um, that's down to how much disposable income you have. Or a 
state of the art. Ugh, a city? Oh, don't even get me started on this. My faith, don't you think? Okay, cool. If there was just the sound of a ship flying over it and not an actual ship, that was going to be bummer. That was going to be a bummer. There was a ship. Good job, Todd. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. Not now. What? No, just ugh, go away. May Does I that... help you? She can't do this to me. Hello. What? Not now. I've never been in a battle before. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other people yelling about serpents and stuff. Galaxy's a tough place, kid. Is that really an appropriate thing to say to a child? Anyway, I'm fine now. I hope my parents don't take too long getting here. Hope you don't get infatuated with Sergeant me and try to murder people like I do someday. Help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Does that woman have any idea who I am? Huh. Guess you caught some of that, huh? The galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet, everyone trying to grab their peace. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just float through the stars and dream. <coughs> That's humans for you. We can ruin a glass of water. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? You said it, buddy. <laughs> Still, I hold on hope. There are more good people than bad in this galaxy. It's just that the bad are huh, louder. Another time, then. Man. Come on. So that's... If you tap... If you tap back in, it opens the menu. Hmm. I guess that... I guess doing that when you lose focus is not the worst. It would be cool if there were options to not halt the game when you tab out. Again. Maybe... Maybe dim mods. You know what I... Oh! You know what I'm excited? Okay, so I installed this game off of the Xbox App Store. This is the Play Anywhere version of the game. Uh, let me actually maybe not search my PC on that one. <laughs> let me see if I can find the folder structure. Because um, I'm curious if it's packaged like a UAP app or if it's got like open files and you can actually... Uh, you can actually like install mods and stuff. <laughs> Mmm. Okay. Mmm. I don't know if... Well, hold on. I don't know if that's the one. That might be it. it there was a contents folder. <sighs> Windows search sucks. If you just click through, then it's like... It's its own search path instead of the actual folder path. Uh, there's a way to have it actually open the file path, though. Is it open a new tab? No. Open folder location. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's It's got like, it's got packaged files, but I think those are update packages. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This should be moddable then. Maybe? Wait, how big is that folder? That may not, that may just be an install folder. That might not be the game folder. <clears throat> oh, 117? Mm -hmm. That might be it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Impression so far, it's, it's a really good surface level space themed action RPG. So far. It's a Bethesda game. It's a good Bethesda game. And as long as you're not expecting, like, actual role-playing depth, uh, 
and you just want to look at cool stuff and see meters go up. Now, to be fair, I have no idea what the full complexity of this game is. Also, this looks great. I'm a little co This zone is kind of small, though. I guess, maybe... Yeah, because it's just this and the train. Unless there's more to it. Blurp. Oh. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Entertaining shallow as a puddle. That's the... the games have always been that. Speaking of shallow puddles. But yeah, it's... It's not a... Oh, this is the one. I think this is the thing where... They supposedly showed that you can't swim. I noticed that in the preview footage. I was like, there's no water anywhere. So I'm hoping that if you find a planet with water, you can land next to it and then kind of busy right now. explore it. You can swim? Okay. You can swim in that pool with the lilies? Sorry, can't talk. How? Just go third person. Oh, I okay. All right. I meant more like underwater. But yeah, I guess that is swimming. So, museum. Sure. Oh, uh, hello. I'm busy at the moment. My hands were still out. This place always surprises me. Nothing good comes from the well. Oh. Yeah, the color overlay changed. That's fun. It's pretty strong. If it belongs on your ship. It's like I'm watching a movie in the aughts. Hi there. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Nice place you got here. Thanks. It's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much of the work behind the scenes. If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. You want a good RPG like Morrowind? Hmm. Not a whole lot out there like Morrowind. You might want to look at, like, Gothic? Or, uh, what was the other one? Started with an A, I think? Those are a bit old at this point. Two Worlds 2 is what you want. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Kind of wish you could just you zoom the camera. For artwork. I'm sure I can find something to suit your needs. I mean, Phantom Liberty's coming up. That might be a little more Morrowindy. Would you want to live anywhere else? Oh, definitely not over there. I need to know her skincare. That looks cool, though. I like the the ribbed sleeves. In her room somewhere with a really old woman. Yeah, she didn't like what she saw in there. <laughs> hey, I like these jumpsuits. My skin hates. Salut. I don't. The fashion is pretty cool. I like the clothes. These, like, bright orange chairs. Well, as bright orange as anything can be in Starfield. Can you romance any person? <laughs> He's like, what the fuck is this? Why is he wearing a helmet? Chair looks uncomfy. So you don't sit there all day. Oh, I thought I had something else. Can I take it off? I've become invisible. Oh, okay. I'm just wearing like a plug suit. Sure hope your day's going as well as mine is. Although I have attempted an analysis several times, I simply cannot quantify humans' addiction to caffeine. It rules, you dumb robot. It's like overclocking your processor. There, bing, bang, boom. I solved it for you. Beep boop. My car, what is a latte? From Earth. It's like your battery's on 115%. Hey, uh. Hey, uh. I want to be an old guy who does that all the time. Ah, yeah. 
I, I'm not saying that that dude was doing that. It just made me think of my desires to be an old dude that does that. Just shout random things. I want to be the hi ya guy. hi -ya! <laughs> When it's like too hot. hi -ya! It is too hot, by the way. It's not as hot as it was yesterday, thank God. Oh! Yeah, there we go. Two points. Gal bank. Cool. Oh, you can steal from it? I don't have an ATM card. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. So wait, can you go into this structure? The Mast District. Or do you just go into the plazas around it? Yeah, it's just districts. Maybe you can go in there eventually. Once you solve the riddle of the moon rocks. You guys, Schlubby, how dare you? How dare you? That is International Outlaw Rod Tiddick. How dare you? Have you even seen his box office returns? Astronomical. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. How's the game's performance so far? Advanced hydroelectrics it's, of its, power. it's oh it's decent. <coughs> but there's nothing really that would make it be less than decent. I also have kind of a, a beefy PC, so uh just the performance I see is probably not a good indicator of how optimized the game is. I will say that like there's some there's some frame drops and some weird micro stutters and stuff when you're looking around with the mouse, which well, I guess in general, it was really bad when I first started, but it's gotten better. We may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. Wait a minute. What planet am I on? I gotta write this down so I don't lose it later. Jemison. I must keep my entirely 100% academically book accurate. Oh, I leveled up! I still haven't spent that. Um, planet count. Nothing bad for performance here aside from the engine it's running on. Yeah, yeah. The, the, honestly, like some of the more aggravating parts of performance have been pretty minor but confusing. Um, in space combat, the nameplates over enemies like stutter around real bad. The The ship will be cruising smoothly and it's like the, the UI element on top of it will be juddering around. So that's not the best. Um, and then yeah, there's just some random frame, frame drops while looking around with a mouse. Uh, here we go. You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and spend a skill point to rank up the skill. I like that. I like having like meters to fill up that translate into more abilities. Top row represents basic skills. Rows are locked until you spend a min minimum number of skill points in that category. Okay. Ah. Ah. Wow. I feel like the way that this is going to work is everything just becomes OP if you do if you use it enough. Let's see here. Theft. Riddick is a thief, right? And so is Todd. We're gonna go with theft. I can't believe this is, it's this stable for a Bethesda game. So it is, it is very, it's only crashed once. Um, I haven't like, I haven't like glitched through anything. Objects haven't clattered around, but the possibility space is like kind of lower in this game. It's less of a, it's less of a chaotic simulation in terms of what you can do and what can like bounce around and what can potentially break the game. Um, they're very bizarre distinctions sometimes. 
for me, the weirdest is that you can't you can't physically pick up in the world, like hold E to pick up any object. You can only pick up non-inventory items, and only some of those, if they're not stapled to the ground. So, like, I could pick up a toaster oven, but that's only because it wasn't a lootable object. I couldn't press E to pop it in my inventory. Anything that you can do that for, you can't pick up and move around. So it's like, there's less physical objects that you can interact with. Could you whip out your gun and start blasting like if it was Fallout? I mean, you can in New Vegas. I think three... So like, I hold E, I can't pick that up. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. Actually, I'm curious. Can I pick up the chair? No. Like, not every object can be picked up either. <coughs> it's been Z in past games, yeah. But it is, uh, it is E in this. I can't lockpick. Yeah. Space mysteries must be in there. Yeah, you can pick it up and then you can drop it back on the ground. I'm sure you can move it somehow. That's how you move it, as far as I can tell. Unless there's truly some some nuance to it I don't get. But uh yeah, so like hold on. Misc. So I can hit drop. Boink. But like hold E, hold Z. It only worked with the toaster oven so far. Yeah, I like picking up items too. It's fun. Now, I shouldn't come... Like, there's... You can't... One thing I... I'm, I'm tripping over myself here. I do like the fact that you can 3D spin any object in the inventory. Let's twirl that bowl. Oh, yeah. Does the lighting change based on where you are? Because that lighting looks chunky. Wow, you can like, it's not even blending. You can see the polygons. You can see the polygons. Okay, no, that, that just had some pretty hefty lighting. Oops. Oh, I sorted again. Why does that have an exclamation point? I guess it's new. I like that. I like that also the, the indicator doesn't go away the first time you look at it in case you accidentally mouse over it. Look at this geode I got. Oh, I could put this in my ship. That means it's going to be really tricky, though, to specifically place things like this. Like, if I want to put this geode next to my uh, pilot's yoke, I have to, like, drop it multiple times until it lands right where I want it. Oh, yeah. No, it's been a feature in Bethesda games before. I'm just saying. It's here, too, and I like it. That's all. Uh, in Dookie, thank you for the sub. You appear to have a visitor. No Preston Garvey yet, but I think Welcome I'm about to, to meet him. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Peep, peep. Doesn't matter, I have your artifact. Excuse me? I think you might have us confused with some cutthroat bounty hunter's guild. Vasco, verify Barrett's location and status. Currently, assisting the miners on Vectera following a Crimson Fleet attack. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? I'm curious how Riddick I can be in this conversation. I'm not talking about this. That thing almost killed me. So something did happen. Barrett mentioned a loss of consciousness last time he found an artifact. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Kyle expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. 
Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. Good job! To imagine, we thought there were only two... You really are first. the space hero of legend. Oh my god, that's it. There oh my god. There. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well... If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Oh, that was terrifying! <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus Christ. You want me in Constellation? What does that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to- Do you think there's an AI Vin Diesel space. voice? Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving in- Hold on a minute. Riddick text to speech. Yes! 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 There's no way. Uh. It's Diesel time. <laughs> this is a trick, right? There's no way. It's just going to sit here forever while they try to serve me ads. But look at all these. Einstein. Ah! Elefino Tenny. Oh boy, that's me. Oh. It's been a long time since I smelled beautiful. Fantastic. Fantastic. Living my life a quarter of the at time. <laughs> it's, I gotta be careful. I can't just click on any of these. Okay. I like my cheeks tender like my chicken. <laughs> if not, better watch out. I hear each feet gruesome like steak. Nice. My 99 celebrating with resorts. Damn. Oh, the cam went? Damn, dude. <sighs> Shit. Shit. I'm gonna have to make a I'm gonna have to make a, a diesel a diesel PNG tuber. Oh man. Oh man, I can't. <sighs> it's too good. This is it, Barney. One last ride. One last ride, Barney. Okay, here we go. Here's the problem. I'm going to have to tab out every time. Beyond that. And wait. <laughs> you expected to use your own judgment. Wait like 10 seconds. Like the rest of us. It is PNG time. Hold on a minute. Uh, as the ambient temperature goes up, my camera goes down. Womp womp. All right. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, okay. One last space walk. Let's see here. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Generate it. <laughs> Is it really hot in LA or the camera breaking? I mean, I mean both. Both are true. It is hot in LA, but also. Hey babe, was just checking on you. But also, my camera overheats pretty easily. Hey Dungris, are you exited for one point five? Uh. Oh no! Everybody's joining the queue now. Forget of it and the ride. This is all a little much. I need some time to clear my head. Fair enough. But you need a place to stay in the city, right? 
Why don't you settle in here? We owe you that much. Come find me when you're ready. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Lara, would you want an astronaut suit or would you want a Riddick fit for the tuber? Uh, both, if possible. Like, okay, if, if I can order... Oh! Uh, if I can if I can put in an order, it would be like a bubble space helmet, but then my glasses replaced by Riddick goggles. But everything else exactly the same. I guess that that would maybe like the Riddick goggles, but you can still see my, my eyes through them, so you can get the blink. Or maybe like maybe the goggles blink. I thought about making this myself, but I didn't. I. I didn't really have time to be honest, and also I just wanted to start playing Starfield. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Let's see here. Oh. Alright. Gotta throw it in the queue. If only uh, I could preload all of the possible script lines onto the Richard B. Riddick voice by Vin Diesel, the Chronicles of Riddick, TTS Computer AI voice. Rick, dick, dick, dick. Yes, it is me. Let's get into... Why did it cut off Starfield? <laughs> I've been called worse. Yeah, you have. Damn it. it keeps... Ah. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. No, it's actually good people are in the queue. It's you, a good thing. Especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and off times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. Okay. I wonder if I could possibly, like, get this on my PC so it just runs faster. Hmm. Something to investigate. Maybe just load it into the game? My 99 celebrating what are sorts. Hello, Rosie Gomez, how are you? My daughter already told me about you, and it seems you're having difficulty in believing her. <laughs> oh, it's ready. I hope the drinks are at least free. Look at the smile. Mm. Mm. Yes, well, a stock bar is a treat I think Constellation can afford. For now. But if you clean us out, you're on your own. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, <laughs> so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Bootstraps. Uh, all right, hold on. Oh. Goodbye. All good here. Oh, this nerd, this dweeb. This is all exciting, but there's really a lot of pressure on us, isn't there? We have to get this right. Are you doing okay? I guess I took I'm took a knee sure to talk to this really kid. Asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. Hmm. That's a good spread of windows there. I hope the drinks are at least free. Rick did did it. Yes, it is me. Let's get him to still. Take care of yourself. <laughs> oh, bad. Ooh, free compass. Rick Dick Diddick. It is me. 
I've occasionally had my doubts about Constellation as an investment. Yes? Now, well, it's clearly money well spent. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Ah, <sighs> okay. I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Let's see here. Oh, I have to... I can only do the most Riddicky lines. Riddick often says like ominous things that belie that he has a wealth of knowledge and experience about hard living, you know? So when I see a line like that, like the legwork line, you got to put it. Yep. Chaim, you understand. Yep. 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 All the fuzzy little like, let's just move this quest along lines. We don't need those. But but the Riddick moments got to go through the filter. It's worth the pause. Forget everything and ride. Also, get to click around the... Shut up, Buster. Get to cl click around the board a little more. Are you ready for one? Oh. Legwork never pays off quite the way you expect. He's right. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. We watch each other's backs. We'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself. And for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact. Riddick quotes for points award? Strike. We don't need points. Honestly, y'all can just add Riddick quotes and I'll randomly click click on them. As long as they're, you know, not cancel worthy. Riddick would never say anything cancel worthy though, so. I trust y'all to not impugn the good nature of Richard B. Riddick that way. Let's see here. Here we go. That's that's a pretty good one. Oh, I didn't mean to search. Uh oh. Oh, sorry. Generate it. Oh, I'm scared now. Now it's like loading weird banner stuff. Uh-oh. It, it knows it got me. Oh, that was close. What did you do? It's Jack of your mind. Which would be Riddick of Oz by Vin Diesel and the Chronicles of Riddick's computer voice. How are they playing it already? Um, early access code. Sometimes Christmas, sometimes birthdays, sometimes mayhem, suffering and death. Sometimes you just need to feel something good. I love Christmas. Richard B. Riddick loves Christmas. It's been a long time since I smelled beautiful. Uh, yeah, so streamer advantage, I guess. Influencer advantage. There's some early access codes. The, but early access actually starts in, what, four or five hours now? I'm dicking around a lot because I figure people probably don't want tons of the game spoiled. Yeah, three, three hours, 45 minutes. That was yours? That was a good one. That was a really good one. Man. God bless you, BJ Blaskowitz. It's diesel time. It's diesel time. What, 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 just beginning, what, what, here right by you, this. <laughs> Seen Bigfoot stealing cantaloupe. Seen Bigfoot stealing cantaloupe. My family, my brother. My 
brother. Our race is just beginning. I'm in Diesel. Let's cruise. I love you, Sasha. Hi, Sasha. I just wanted to let you know that I love you too and you are my little wife. Your friends told me how much you love me. I appreciate it. I love you too. Oh, Sasha loves uh, Riddick, huh? Somebody did a nice, made a nice gift for Sasha. Made her a nice little message. Why isn't it? Uh, it's like stuck. <laughs> the line's not processing. Maybe, maybe I gave it too much. Let's get to work. Uh. Brothers, how I like the sound of that. But let me tell you something, brother. If you're not first, you last. Yeah. Well, I don't need a pack. I've got family. A cat. <laughs> Name's Riddick. Yeah, it is. Name's Riddick. Mike Jones. <laughs> All right. All right, I've waited long enough. Wendell Rodon for. Woo. Are you guys ready for this? What did you do? All right, fine. Fine. What do I get out of this anyway? Constellation have a salary? Oh, wait. Wait, that's why. That's why. Every morning I wake up and open Palm Slam and listen to the slot. It's Chronicles of Riddick. Every morning I wake up and open Palm Slam and listen to the slot. It's Chronicles of Riddick and Riddick and Endeavor start doing the moves alongside with the main character. Riddick, I do every move and I do every move hard. I'm making the whistling sounds when I slam in some Negro bastards or even when I mess up technique. To not many can say they escaped the galaxy's most dangerous prison. I can, I say it and I say it until every day to people in my college class and all they do is prove people in college class can still be a mature <laughs> oh, oh, that's why it took so long because it was a long line excellent excellent totally worth it god bless thank you very much Whew. all right what a, well that means mine's got to be next right mine's in the queue <laughs> uh is this what rap is like dude Oh, wait. I, oh, I don't have my 808 hooked up. Damn, I could play a beat on that. Mm. I love my Pepsi so much. <laughs> wait, why did it stop? I love my Pepsi so much. There's more to it than that. Aw. I love my Pepsi so much. <laughs> oh, you can download the MP3s of them individually? Oh, I need to watch an ad to get 20 download credits. Nah, I'm good. Rick did did it. Yes, it is me. Let's get him to steal. I love my Pepsi so much. <laughs> there's a little, there's a little like voice quaver there. Oh, here we go. Hold on. I love my Pepsi. So <laughs> Hold on a minute. I love my Pepsi so much. No one can ever take it from me. And I swear to God, if you do, I will punch you. In your thieving little fingies dot mp3. Does it, is the full thing in the download? I love my Pepsi so much. Dang, it cuts off at the comma. Aw. <laughs> I did everything right and they entitled me. God damn. Name one person who's gone through more injustice and pain than Richard B. Riddick. I did everything right and they entitled me. They got him. They got him. You want the Riddick copy pasta? Yeah. Oh, hold here. Uh. Yeah, you can download the. But why drive when you can't get driven? Is what I say in bed sometimes. Zing. You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. Okay, wait, hold on. There's a, a list view, board view. Dang, I was kind of hoping there'd be a way to like download this as a local thing. I was probably asking for too much. Is it Pepsi or is it Togo? We'll never know. They pay me. I can't cope with not knowing for I am Riddick. Riddick needs to know everything. He does. 
All right, fine. Let's get that artifact. We need to head to yeah, we need another wheelman. With the Vanguard for sure. Office, where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? What do you mean? You don't care if I steal as long as I don't get caught? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective God. society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Good. No one can tie Riddick down. Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? I trust you're trip. still satisfied with your choice to join Constellation, Noel. Yes, ma'am, of course. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry. Benina has watch over it ends, waiting for the time when the fire goes. I guess a lot more. I cut some of them off, unfortunately. About it. I'm Luckily, it didn't cut off the Riddick copy really pasta. Nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Oh, a scrollable list. One time I played some Dungeon and Dragons. <laughs> it keeps cutting them off. Stay safe, okay? Where'd she go? Oh, she's gone. I guess she walked off. Oh. oh, Bruce found the adoring fan. Nice. I have that perk because Riddick has an adoring fan. Okay, so you can see underwater, but you can't go underwater. One minute. Rod to Dick. That's our guy. Rod to Dick. Space crabs. Um, I mean, I did, I did see space lobsters referenced in an email. And I guess the reflections are cube maps. You can, oh, it's the. Can you jump on the lily pads. You can jump out of water. Boing. and to uphold the values of the vanguard honor loyalty self-reliance in all your actions as members of the united colonies navy i, I do. do then i'm proud to welcome you to the vanguard now you all have your assignments get out there and show them what the uc's make huh. supra et ultra we need to talk to john tuala in mast Bye. It's you and me from here out. Bye for now. Welcome to Mast. Only those on official United Colonies business can access the building. Stay safe. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run Game good? Um, hmm. Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with a band? It is what it is. Help the it's a well-made version of the thing it's trying to be. You even get your UC citizenship? Let's see here. 
No thanks. I'd rather chart the stars than fight wars. Whoa. Where have I heard that line before? No, I say the same thing every time John tries to get me to re-enlist. <laughs> I'd surrender. Can't blame me for trying, right? All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Help There's a lot of hearty chuckles in this game. <laughs> Soul, Mars, Neptune. You know. <laughs> the Soul System. Which admiral did he upset to get that? Yeah, it's a Bethesda RPG. He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. If you're expecting more than that, oof. Got some fancy metal don't do that. He's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Who's this Moara? Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. <clears throat> NPCs look uh, better than other Bethesda games, yeah. They are improved from other Bethesda games. What's wrong with the Sol system? You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. I'll get my ass to Mars. If he's on patrol, he could be putting our item at risk. What? <laughs> no. What? Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be fine. That means it's not going to be fine. I'm sure you two can handle it. Soul system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera Is there any way for an NPC to talk with the camera not on them? You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. This is like kind of... It's kind of not good cinematography to just have locked off camera shots pointing directly at the person who's talking whenever they talk. But that's okay. Hmm. <laughs> Anything you can tell me about Cydonia? Yeah, bring a color. You can look around. You can do the like. Red, you can nudge the camera, but it'll like slip back to center. Bar and a spaceport sounds like home. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see, is a good friend to have. Hold on. The incredible hand sharks. They're alive and kids bring them to life. Kid control a punching action. I bow to no man. No, he, d he doesn't. Vin doesn't bow. I mean, Tiddick. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. I guess. Oh, I have to take the elevator. Okay. Mm. Is this really Starfield? It is. The impossible dream is real. Starfield. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. I'm so excited to see Tony after work. The soda is about to some women with strangers. You got my number, call me in here. <laughs> well, that was, yeah, you could almost understand that one. Anything you recommend doing in New Atlantis? Well, that depends. Are you a foodie or a shopper? Definitely a. Foodie. Oh, no, I prefer more illicit activities. Hmm, I guess I won't ask. Sex. But there is a place called The Well that might be more your style. I don't go down there myself. It can be pretty dangerous. Where? Where? See you around. She just said down. Hmm. We have a light silver lar. Light. What? Do you mean like my little PNG man? 
I gotta grab some water real quick. Actually. Most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft. Why are you yet, facing that direction? Still get sick on the nat. Hold on, let me let me get some altitude here, so that I leave it on a cool screen while I get water. Oh, I thought I could make it. You see that scientist out in front of mast, staring at trees? Sounds upset. There. It can't be that bad, right? By Victera, by Victera, by There's Victera. our guy. I can't believe it. Make it let me smash. Come on, Becky. The day will come. Whoop. The day will come when you need them to respect you, even fear you a little. We're about to learn about that. Lesson learned. No such word as it can be a blessing or a curse. Whoa. Is it you? Is it really, really? Really? Captain of the frontier. This is our Jack of, of the, the peace. peace. All right, water time. I'll be right back. Shining star of stars. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Sorry about that. Let's see here. You don't have to say anything. No, I've got the line. I got the line for this. It's right here. Rick did did it. Yes, it is me. Let's get him to stereo. <laughs> stereo. It's me. Then the day is truly blessed. Because for a moment, I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. But I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was meant to be. Hmm. Why do they call it oven when you have in the cold food? I've had to eat the food. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Thank you, caveman. Wow. Uh, what is this? Why? Why can I see his perks? Weightlifting? It's definitely not. Are you saying I looked you up, tracked you down, and followed you all the way here? <laughs> Who'd be crazy enough to do that? I'd have to know what you looked like first. And now I do. Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do. Lead the way. Mm. Won't you need a costume? Good point. I'll start working on it right away, as soon as I learn how to sew. Until then. Maybe I can be a sidekick in training. Do you have an academy where fans can practice groveling at your feet? If I'm not, really I leaning can into start this, huh? One. Can't leave him, but Riddick would. Riddick would, but Todd wouldn't. Richard B. Riddick. Oh. There's this dream, something important. It's gone when I wake up. No time for dreams, I guess. The monster never dies no matter how many times you kill it. It just sheds its skin and challenges form. I can't feel the weight of the world pushing me down. I tried to carry it nonetheless. One last time, then I can rest. You're about two and a half seconds away from eating a knuckle sandwich. Step off. Step off. All right, welcome aboard. You won't be disappointed. 
Cool. Oh, okay. He just, he just follows you around then? Okay. Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? I wonder what the artist Can you throw him in the airlock? Thing. This is not, if this is not possible, I'd be very sad. Um, I don't think you can interact with airlocks. You can't, you cannot like it's vent your ship or it's go it's out. You can't spacewalk. Uh, there might be like quests where you do, but you can't leave your ship or depressurize it once it's in space. Wait, where? Where do they want me to go? Find Vanguard Moara. Controlling the soul system. Okay. He has an artifact, I guess. You should move on. <clears throat> Is there fights in space? I mean, there's there's space battles. Yeah, you can fly around and shoot other ships. All right, I got my shiv. It was kind of a small city, actually. Um, I didn't. I guess I didn't explore absolutely everything. Yeah, maybe. You know, I probably could have explored more. Anyway. I like that they talk when you're taking off. That's cool. People say I need. Well, was he still on the pad when I took off? So yeah, like you can't open anything. You can't really interact with much. Yes, infallible one. I don't mind. Why would I? That would be a tragedy. You're not romantically interested in me, are you? Oh, don't worry. My love for you is completely platonic. Unbreakable? Yes. Unyielding? Absolutely. Romantic? Oh, God, no. I'm what? What? Hmm. Surprise! It's not Riddick! Wait, don't go! I wanted to ask you about your car's extended warranty. Uh, Sonic's too fast for me. Dang it. Oh, sorry. All right, I gotta stop. I gotta stop tabbing out. I gotta stop it. Wonderful. Did you need anything else? Let me know if you want to talk some more. Does he have an actual name? You mean Ogilvy P. Hedgehog? You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare. Oh, I'm already there. Oh. I thought there was gonna be like a warp. Scan complete. Something. You are cleared to land at Sedonia. Okay. Ogilvy Maurice Hedgehog. Oh, okay, sorry. O M H. Man, his last name should have been like. Gedge, Gedge hug. Map again. That's kind of cool. I like the breaking out of uh, of areas like that. Does it tell you if a given item is contraband? M maybe. I haven't seen anything marked as contraband yet. Ooh. <clears throat> Can you land on the sun? Let me see. 
I wonder if you can, like, pick an arbitrary spot in space to fly to. It has to be a destination. Actually, yeah, let's get out of here. Like, can I just click somewhere in space and fly there, and then see all the planets around? That is another planet. Good call. Thank you. Mars. Um, system. All right. Okay, yeah, I can't just click anywhere. Well, set course? No? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It has to. It has to have like a pop up. Hostile action. Pluto's a planet now. Pluto's back, baby. Oh, that's a, that's weird. You can zoom into a planet, but you have to hit a button to get out of that. Yeah, I need to change this also. <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot of text, huh? That's that's odd. Check that out. When you tab into the game, if the map's up, it does not pop you to the menu. It's only if you're like in first person gameplay mode that it pops the menu up. I guess it considers this as menu pre popped. Still. I wish it wouldn't do that. What do you have against my other tabs? This is a totally normal PC that I have. You cannot fly the long way anywhere. In Sidonia. Ah, I cherish these visits to the forgotten corners of the oh, Jesus. colonies. Look at her power walk in there. Hup, 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 hup. Yeah, right? Lemongrass? Crowd me. Where's my fan? Uh oh. Boop. No, it's F. That would yeah, 0. 0.38 gravity. Yeah. So, what's this going to run? If there are no other surprises. Mid five figures. Five figures? Five? Fine. Do it. I'll be at the bar. Find me when it's done. We're on it, sir. That was immersive. It'll cost money. Rah. Building Sidonia completely underground. <laughs> can you take your helmet off? You can, and it will slowly kill you. It might kill me faster in this planet. You look hurt. Might want to head on over to Reliant. Dr. Flynn will get you patched up. In a little bit. Sorry. But you mean there's no work? Yeah, do you have is any... Still the tutorial? Ah, uh, not really. How much money? It is the story quest, though. To this dusty red rock. We were told there were jobs. Look, 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 I get it. But we just filled our last openings. I think we have a couple contracts ending at the end of next month. It's possible they may not extend them. This is bullshit. I got a wife and kids at home. We can't wait almost two months for a job that may not even exist then. Hey, hey, I get it. There's nothing I can do. It's out of my hands. You can take it up with corporate. Sorry, but I have to get back to work. Take Come on, forget it. Ship. Let's get out of here. Maybe it's not too late to catch a ride back home. Yeah, you're right. Screw this. I know you were counting on huh? That's really not that bad for uh, NPC pathing. I hope. 
just can't make ends meet. Great. Best uh, Bethesda NPC walking ever. Pardon? It's laughing. Hey, careful around the equipment. Don't want to lose an arm or something. Oh, I got a log jam though. Oh. Oh. There we go. Good job, folks. I haven't found any skooma yet. Okay. Hello? Got cold bears and good atmosphere. Yeah. Well, good cold bear. Not everyone needs to come to me with their problems. I ain't a psychiatrist. I'd like a drink. What's your poison? Burr. Ooh. Oh, that's fun. What? A beer teeny. Why does it say Jack on it? Mixture of beer and vodka. Hmm. Actually, having like higher ABV beer is an interesting taste. Hmm. Beer. Man, I love this packaging. Mmm, a whiskey juice box? Awesome. Oh, I love the... Is this a keg? No, it's just a can. That's awesome. It has a little, like, plasticky container around it. It seems like... It seems really expensive for beer. Mmm, Kentucky. It gives you more carry capacity. That's fun. It's good to drink around here. Everything. I make it a point not to sell crap. We got beer, wine, and spirits. We don't do too many fancy mixed drinks, at least not when you get a neon or a new Atlantis. It's my belief that the only booze worth drinking doesn't need to be mixed with something else to taste good. Any local rumors? Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. My bar. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. I like this guy. <laughs> I can respect that. Oh! Riddick tubers complete. Excellent. You don't guess. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We got a little upgrade coming in. Oh my god, that's excellent. <laughs> You've outdone yourself again. <laughs> so I guess the other set has like darker hair and darker goggles. Oh, transparency on the bubble, I see. Gotcha, okay. I do like the transparency quite a bit. All right, here we go. I really need I really need some goggles. There we go. <laughs> uh, I'm in space. And I'm Riddick. Space outlaw. I can probably scale that up a little bit. Let's see. Uh, 
There we go. Okay. Hopefully I don't bop off the screen too much. Excellent. This makes no sense to anybody, but it's perfect. Thank you very much, Jipu. Appreciate that. You know that. And you better know it if you want to keep drinking in my bar. Absolutely beautiful artistry, yet again. I'm looking for a vagueguard named Moara. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Space isn't kind to the lost. He's in trouble or worse. Sounds about right. Yeah. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But. <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's. Yeah, I got the eye shine too. <laughs> I'll let it slide for a long time because it's too great. But if I'm out all that money. Got problems. What do you say? Hmm. Sixteen times the detail. I can make. I can make. Oh, that's cool. So just having other people in your party gives you dialogue options. Hmm. I need a way to make cash. Then got any work? I got a board here in the bar where people post all kinds of spacefaring jobs. Way to make quick money. Hmm. Mm hmm. At least I've got more than Where's the board? Oh. I can go home. Riddick is down for an adventure. Hmm. Electroplated wafers to Polvo. Survey Tolman too and Toleman. I think Riddick's a killer. Kill the ecliptic contractor on Anakon Anonk. 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 <clears throat> Seven Riddick to get paid. I do like that there's basically like explore uh delivery. Space combat, planetary combat, really does let you pick what you want to do. All right. All right, so you do this, set course. Oh, okay. This is a level 10 place. What the heck? Wow. It takes you all the way back to your ship and warps you there. Okay. So I guess I have to clear this fight before I can land? What, um... Like, I keep wanting to use the mouse wheel for velocity. And not really. This bow? Missile, laser, bow. Shields grav. I'm good at being in space because I am Riddick. Yeah, but you, I don't know if it's possible to see how the UI is kind of juddering. Definitely not. Definitely not like moving naturally with the rest of the scene. The like labels on stuff.
So from here, I hit M, scan. Uh, I'm gonna kill somebody here? Okay. Abandoned mind. So, okay. Is there. Does that mean this is water? I didn't. I, sorry. That's the wrong thing. Because I'd like to land near water. Also, yeah, like you can land in a random spot, but apparently it just won't. There won't be a uh, city around you. That's a smart idea, having your crew say stuff during these loading scenes. At least it adds something. God, it's not just dead air. That would be the worst if it really is just like a loading screen. Oh, new planet. Anank. Hold on. I got so, I have so many BS windows open right now. Okay. I really do wish Rise I could tab out of the game without it halt or freezing everything. A bit of a flat tire there. Extreme ambient cold. Is that bad? Am I dying? It's not as cold as my heart. I've heard asteroid mining is some of the most dangerous work in the settled systems. Yep, yep, yep. Mine? <laughs> nope. Damn it, his shields keep coming back. <laughs> you have to like, oh. What? You get stunned sometimes, I noticed. Well, <laughs> Quality ragdoll, love that. Hold on. You're about two and a half seconds away from eating a knuckle sandwich, step off. <laughs> Sorry about that, all right. Step off. Knives should puncture suits and do dot from air leaks. That'd be cool. I do think if you shoot someone in the head, you like crack their helmet. At least it seemed like it. With any luck, maybe we can find a vein of platinum or neodymium. Anything to make this trip worthwhile. Take my space drugs. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I guess maybe I should maybe I should bind one of those. Uh oh, somebody heard me. Really nothing up here. Red pack. Red harvest lentils. Hmm. Hey, that's not fair. You picked the wrong fight. Oh. Right. 
base is a weird place. That's more weapons. Um, weapons that have bullets. have to load. Excellent. The crystal egg! There was until a year ago. Very little and very grimy looking. A little. Yeah. A little and very grimy looking shop near Seven Dials, over which, in weather worn yellow lettering, the name of C. Cave, naturalist and dealer in antiquities, was inscribed. The contents of its window were curiously very. very. variegated? Huh. They comprised some elephant tusks and an imperfect set of chessmen, beads, and weapons. A box of eyes, two skulls of tiger and one human, several moth-eaten and stuffed monkeys, one holding a lamp, an old-fashioned cabinet, a fly-blown ostrich egg or so, some fishing tackle, an extraordinarily dirty, empty glass fish tank. There was also, at the moment that the story begins, a mass of crystal worked into the shape of an egg and brilliantly polished. 1899 saw the publication of this collection of H.G. Wells's works. So, that's the second, like, classic book that's been in the game. Did they just get, like, open source stuff? And Moby Dick? Call me Ishmael? For real? Ship repair fundamentals. Now we're doing it. The real trick to spaceship repair is to focus on the immediate and pragmatic. To ask yourself, what can, or what can, and should I be addressing right now to make my ship flight worthy. Space travel is exceptionally dangerous, we all know this, but focusing on that danger, obsessing over it, helps no one. In fact, thinking about it too much, especially when faced with a malfunctioning ship, can be paralyzing. Just keep it simple and do whatever needs to be done, even if it means using scrap or salvage to keep yourself afloat. So begin Horace Shion's Ship Repair Fundamentals, the go-to book for spaceship repair throughout the settled system. Free water. Oh, look at these sushi rolls. That's awesome. I'm going to end you. Some some top tier feature packaging so far. weapon sway. I kind of like that. I'm gonna guess it's the sort of thing where as your skill goes up, your, your aim like stabilizes. Probably weapon drop off or damage drop off too. Well, I mean, let's see if this kills me. It's point. Wait, what is the? Oops. Scan mode. What's the gravity here? Oh, 1.2. Never mind. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Oh, he's got jumpy legs. Smoke bombed. Why did you do that? Did he go inside? There's like a dude right here. Oh, 
Alright, I'm going back inside. No? No? Okay. Maybe jumped onto the roof? Oh yeah, like above the thing? Maybe. <clears throat> oh, like up there? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh. International renowned killer Richard B. Riddick. <laughs> Clawing at the eaves of a watchtower. Alright, well. Doing a great job. having a good time. We're having a great time. Wait, no. Set aside and I'm just leaving. No, put that away. All right, there we go. Yeah, the ragdolls are fun. No arguments there. I kind of don't mind that the AI, the AI is just fun to mess with. So that's, that's fine. I would rather the AI be fun to dick around with than to like be brutally difficult for no reason. That's not very fun to play against. It almost, sometimes I'm reminded of like Dead Rising. Oh, can I get a free helmet? And how like uh, the zombies in that game were just kind of fun to dick around with on purpose. Like it, there was comedy to it and the designers knew that. Yeah, putting serve, serve bot heads on zombies and bopping them. It's kind of the same with Exo Primal. The, the, the dinosaurs just look dumb, and it's really fun to see them all flopping over each other and shooting bunches of them and having them all spray out. Bolstering Navigator Pack. Basic boost pack? Oh, I have a boost pack. I haven't been using that at all. <sighs> hey, Mr. Cruz Jr. Is it Fallout in Space or more? It's it's Fallout in Space. So far. So far. I think the the scale of it is gonna really appeal to people. And I don't necessarily mean in what you can do, because your action like your possibility space is kinda it's it's limited. This isn't a do anything you want game, um, but there, there's definitely a, a lot, like you can pick up the controller, find some stuff to do, see some planets, kill some people, level up a bit, and then put it down and go on with your unbothered life. Wow. Clink! <laughs> Is the game breaking a new ground though? Not yet. Not really, but... It doesn't need to, and I don't think... I think Bethesda Game Studios are kind of... They don't this really do that. Me of a book I read as a child. It was Again, I guess the ground... The, the new ground it breaks might be in scope. One of my in favorites. certain aspects. There's a lot of items so far. A, a baffling amount of items that are all fully modeled and like... Um, have... Have like 3D models you can completely... Look, I, it's been in Bethesda games before. But it's definitely more... Standard. Remove combat inhibitors. Confirm. Activate units. Unleash the robots. I am opening fire. Not me! Oh, 
Forgot friend or foe settings? No, I turned them off. So they would attack everybody. Maybe that wasn't the point. Alright, let me see if I can... Yeah, I have a lot of med packs. It's interesting that there's nothing on your... Um, screen that tells you how many med packs you have. Unless, maybe it's here. Hold on. No, it doesn't say. I guess if you, yeah, if you mouse over it. Okay. It's interesting that they don't put just like a little pop-up number there. I think they wanted the UI to be very minimal. Mmm, beans. Only three health. Get some, I wonder how you level up stealth. I guess I have pickpocket. I need to look around for stealth specific perks. Next time I level. Okay, it's a segmented life bar. I finally understand. The white bar is his actual HP, the red bar are like full white bar segments, so that's why it fills up every time it drains out. And then he loses a red chunk of his bar. God, I get, uh. Am I, I'm over encumbered finally. I don't know what I picked up though. Oh. Whoa. Ecliptic spacesuit. That looks slick. It's heavier though. Um sort by wait. Is there an all? There we go. Should have sold this stuff when I had the chance. Although now that I think about it, I feel Are like you it's crazy. Whoa! Dropping inventory items, not min-maxing my credits. I know. I know. It's hard to believe, but I'm gonna do it. Luckless Zanzo, thank you for the cheer. Appreciate the compliments on the avatar. It's entirely Jipu who put this together. So big thanks to Jipu for being an incredible artist. Bad people, bad jokes, three. A chunk... God damn it. A chunk's chunk walks into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve food here. Chunk sit down and says, then I guess I'm in the right place. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? Broken sword. Broken sword who? Oh, never mind. It's pointless. <coughs> How many atheists does it take to screw in a light bulb? None. They're already enlightened. What's the last thing to go through a Freestar Militia's member's mind when they meet a United Colonies Marine? A laser beam. <coughs> Why don't terramorphs eat clowns? They taste funny. <laughs> Unlike the first two volumes he published, Louis Lupper's Bad People, Bad Jokes Volume 3 never really gained much of an audience. Popular theory suggests that by the time of its release, people were already tired of Lupper's terrible jokes. Damn. Rough Nuggets, uh, Lupper. 
Until next time, huh? You'll get him. You'll get him. Yeah. You're played out, leper. We're tired of your, uh... Tired of your garbage. Ugh, it's not F anymore. I wonder if that helmet's better. <sighs> Tab. <laughs> hmm. It's kind of interesting. <clears throat> what is DR? Oh, armor. Damage reduction. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me look at um, perks real quick. That's a stealth meter, 20% reduction. Perform 10 sneak attacks. Okay. All right. So I do need to use weapons then. Yeah. Um, I need to rank up stealth. I need to use weapons so I can rank up stealth so that I can actually try to melee anybody. It's not F. It's not F. Make sure can you slow walk with mouse and keyboard? Yes. From that thing. You can Turn off sprint. No problem. I'm here to help and explore space. Yeah, I'm a VTuber. It's hot today again. It's not as bad as it was yesterday, but it is uh, still too hot for. Oh, shit! Damn it! Oh, man. Still too hot for my camera. I'm thinking about getting like a little clip-on fan that I can attach to the camera to just like have a fan blowing on it to help cool it off. Which means I'm getting ever closer to my cyberpunk dream of just living in a dark, corner with lit screens and fans all around me. I already aggroed down there. Okay. High tech, low life. Exactly. It's too high tech to have a camera that doesn't overheat. Yes, exactly. Serial Experiments Lane. Mm -hmm. uh, Hikikomori Tech... Tech Den, Neo's apartment. Oh, there's stairs. Damn, I didn't even see those. It's gonna play that the whole game, isn't it? Ba 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 ba. It's gonna be in everything. Man, they want it to be like the new Marvel, don't they? What? The what? Oh, okay, weird. 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 I think that was me. I, I don't know why. I think I control clicked. What is a side star? Oh. That's a pistol. That looks cool! The guns look cool as hell. Like the the design on the consumable packaging and oh, a star roamer suit. There are some some high artistic points to this game. Um, the clothing looked really cool. The the consumable packaging all looks really cool. Um, yeah, the guns look really really good. The cities looked really good. Just the architecture and the buildings and stuff. That's nice that I'm hit. Uh, I was able to reset aggro by just being out of out of line of sight for a while. I don't know what 
either of those things are. Rare manufacturer. Okay, well, I gotta keep that. I don't need the pack, though. Am I still overweight? Not. Or just barely not. How do you use the, the pack? I said I had a basic boost pack. Can you only do it outside, maybe? Is third-person combat possible? Yes, it is. We'll do some third-person combat. And does it look silly? You can decide. Nothing. Nothing. that you can scan in third-person mode. Oh, wait, I was here before. I guess I just did a, a circle. I thought I saw stairs going down. I guess I just didn't take them. Yeah, there's stairs down. What? Did I not go over there? No, I'm gonna try to get a sneak attack. Because I want to level up stealth. God damn it. Perfect stealth. Yeah. expecting to die today. Alright, let me see if I can just crouch here. Something just fell. I heard something fall on the ground in this house. Sometimes when it gets really hot. Oh, that's really cool. I love that you can see the meter like draining out like that. That's great. Some like Metal Gear Solid feedback. Now I wonder what or how you get a stealth attack. Is this oh if it's as long as it's not in danger, does that count? Oh, I am. Massively. Okay. Okay. Drink all the alcohol? A good idea. to reset AI awareness. Are there space drugs? I haven't found any yet. Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to Star UI or whatever. Sky UI was such a vital part of Skyrim. So I guess you can't have... I wonder how you get a stealth attack. Maybe it'll tell me if I click on it. Let's see here. You are... Pressed weapons. Deal 5% sneak damage. It says perform 10 sneak attacks. I've done one. I guess they can't... They can't... They probably can't be uh, 
aggroed to anything already. It's not just me. This is badly for you. Which might help it if I were solo, like Riddick was meant to be. They always pickled. How you doing? Yeah, I got a real star motif. Star song. I'm having a good time. This is not a profound experience yet. It could still be, maybe, but uh, it's it's uh, it's enjoyable. And games have been a lot worse than that. It's certainly not very complicated. Not not yet. Maybe once I get to bases and have crews and loads of skills. But I don't know. Bethesda games have always kind of been brain off ex exploration games. And the magic is there if you're still looking for that. I feel like people, um. People are, in general, losing taste for, for brain off games. Maybe. I don't know. Diablo 4 seemed to do pretty good. And that's not as brain off as Diablo 3 was. Whoa! Where? What the? Alright. Yeah, he's zooping. We got zoomies and zoopies. Oh! We got a bloop, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. Alright. So it, 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 it like rolls stats on guns and they might be, they might be purple. I need to remember to sell this stuff. Space P90. I like the little cradle that the the magazine goes in. A counter on top is sick too. The guns are legit. Um, in design. Maybe not necessarily in like function, because they're all just like pistol, shotgun, you know, whatever. I can give that a pass, but the design of the guns and the way that they fired and reload all look real cool so far. Dr. Beef Chunk, thanks for the sub. It's turning out to be good so far. It looks pretty for sure. Uh, eh. It is the prettiest Bethesda game. Yeah, oh yeah, the body was down there. The... It feels... Yeah. It's, it's... It's Fallout 4 with like way more variety and better window dressing. Leather streetwear. Oh, yeah. Power pack. It says power boost pack. It says boost pack. Oh, 20% oxygen. Actually, I kind of want that because I'm sprinting around a lot. Does it feel bullet spongy? This fight did, but they were also like, ooh. Very, uh, like higher level than me. Then again, I killed like a level 15 dude while I was level 5. Or level 4, really. So, you, hmm, even if you have skill points, you have to do the challenges before you can rank them up again. 
Yeah, we, I might just take uh, oxygen and carry capacity. Hey, Marizard. Thanks for the sub. Oh, wait. Hmm. 10% increased chance of success when persuading somebody. So it is a random chance, and it is kind of a skill check. Hmm. Interesting. 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 Oh, optional zoom to the hand scanner. Great. You can wait. Can you can you max out the tech tree, or do you hit the weapon cap or the level cap before that? Oh, there's boost pack. Okay. I need like ship thrusters. That beers guy. Thanks for the sub. Been watching the stream in the background while at work. Is this the game God Howard or Todd? Is this game God Howard or Todd Coward? Ugh, somewhere in the middle. Um, they definitely oversold it. Even even just the ads, the vibe of the ads is just a. It's not. It's a pretty like shallow embracing of what this game does. But whatever. It. This game is a a fun action RPG that is wrapped in the the like aesthetic of the beauty of exploring space but the game's not about that like you don't do that in the game outer wilds was kind of that you know or even elite dangerous but that's not starfield starfield is like a space themed game where you're loading into action zones or exploration zones yeah no man's sky mm -hmm. the action's fun um so far like it, it's the kind of fun thing that a person, I can see anyone playing like an hour of this every other night for a long, long time and being really happy with it. But if you want like, if you want a uh, profound new development features and un un unexperienced levels of interactivity and simulation, if you want to feel like you're in a different world, that's not this. Then again, people felt that way about Skyrim. Uh, that didn't. That was kind of my vibe with Skyrim. Everybody's like, "Oh, I feel like I'm in a different world. I'm a. It's like walking in a dream." And I'm just like, "What are you talking? What? Space trucker. Space trucker." Yeah, it's just basic. Oh yeah, I got boost now. Whoa. Nice. Mm. Riddick. Boosting around just like Riddick. <laughs> it's so tiny. Wait, this wasn't the one I was using. Did I just swap it? Oh, right, because this has more O2. Yeah, never mind. It was the sound design that carried that game? Oh, for Skyrim? Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. They, it had good, like, environmental audio. Good music stings. I mean, my, my hot take is that Skyrim just was the game that a lot of people played first. It's, it's the Halo Combat Evolved of RPGs. Halo was the game that a lot of people played first, but that doesn't mean that it, like, was the best even when it came out, or that it necessarily even did anything radically new. That's, uh, honestly, I think that's kind of the problem that Halo has to live down now. People expect them to be new and inventive when they never really were, and they also expect them to be fast and modern when they never really were. So it's like, if you want to be true to Halo, it has to be a floaty, weird, uh, like, aim assist out the ass, kind of limited, slow shooter. But that's just not what anyone wants anymore. Ooh. Well, I don't know about anyone. That's not fair to say. People do want it. But I think that, like, people miscategorized what Halo always was in their heads. And same with Skyrim and uh, Fallout 4. 3, honestly, was like Bethesda trying really hard to be more like classic Fallout, but they meandered away from that. I think, well, I think they justifiably decided that, that 
mass markets wanted another kind of experience. Can I just fast travel? I can just fast travel out, can't I? Let's see here. Back to system. I wonder if I can... Wait, check out, check out your ship's inventory. Hold on, what? I killed the guy. Okay, so it's done. I've done that quest. Okay. Now I have to deliver the electroplated wafers to Polvo. From here I can just hit R, hold X. Let me know when and I'm there. Completion. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. All right, that's it. Welcome to Hopetown. It, uh, I like that it's fast. It seriously is kind of a, kind of a whimper to not like pop out of warp and see this planet like zoom up on your screen. You just, you just like screen fades up and you're there. Just be All right, well, whatever. We got to deliver, deliver electroplated wafers to Hope Town. There's water here. Oh, you can't? Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm landing on like a water-surrounded island. Also, this will be a new planet. Wow! CD, thank you for the sub. Oh, I turned off numpad, or numlock, that's why. I don't see water anywhere. Hold on. Oh, wait. Ah! Fish. Gotta write down the name of the planet so I don't double up. Hold on. How's the story? A pretty non existent so far. I was a humble miner. I cracked a space rock. The rock spoke to me. Oh, there's a thing over there. The rock spoke to me. Um, and then I had to go join a mysterious order of uh, somebodies who want to do something with the rock. I guess I don't need a helmet here. I don't see water anywhere. Does this game render water? This is something I was a bit worried about, because none of the preview footage showed water at all. It didn't show rivers. Man, could they not handle bodies of water? Maybe it has to be like a... I'll go... I'll, I'll climb to the top of that mountain. You're underwater right now. <laughs> Tezada, thank you for the sub. What is that? What's that, I wonder? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, a hunting bone mane is what that is. How close do you have to be to scan? What's going on? Hand scanner to place out of speak. What? No, I want to scan the bone main. Have I already? I there we go. Something useful out here. Okay. Does red mean he's gonna attack me? I guess so. Man, that could have been a good uh, stealth attack. <laughs> Sleeping? Oh, they're all dead. Okay. 
So if they're kind of outlined but not filled in, that means you haven't scanned them. slaughtered all animal life on this planet. <laughs> They started it. Can you not mine the material? You can. I just don't want it. Does this hurt the space? I'm sure if I took off and came back, those animals would be alive again. Or the corpses wouldn't be around anymore. Get your POV on Skyrim. Hold on a minute. Uh, but I still felt like the world was thought out well. Locations had distinct identities and lore, with the exception of the repeated caves. A lot of the side quests were fun and well-written. Story was just okay, but had some highlights. I think that's, uh... So, stories, or locations seeming distinct and having their own lore is not a radical thing for 2013. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, that's, that wasn't new. And Skyrim's implementation of it wasn't that impressive in comparison. But it was neat. Um, yeah. The the writing, I don't think was as good as you might remember. But I played a couple of side quests and I was just like, what? Okay. It was very limited by the limitations of their engine and scripting abilities. Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. So yeah, no water anywhere. I just, I landed on an island. Hold on a minute. Wait, what? Maybe I didn't land on an island. I think, may, oh, I was looking, I'm in a, okay. I was on an island of resources. I was looking at this, okay, let's go over here. Everything's fine. Todd hasn't abandoned us yet. Should be plenty of organic materials. What the hell? Cool. Is it a bug or are they actually cool space glowing plants? Does it matter? All right. Um, let me. Oops. No, I don't want that. What direction is water? I guess it's just north. Is that water? Yeah, cool. Okay. God, if it didn't even match the terrain on the globe, that would have been really disappointing. Todd wouldn't abandon us like that. So you... Do you just have to find an arbitrary number of things before it fully counts as being scanned? Or is it always like eight? Yeah, 13%. Yeah, you can get a better... Well, yeah, you can get a better scanner. There's perks and stuff for it. Oh, it says, wait, flora biome complete. How do you know what biome you're in? Cool. Look at all this water. Jump in the water. I'm going to jump in the water. Ha! Huh. Sploosh. All right, yeah. Oh, so there are. Okay, so there is like sea wildlife. You just have to click on it. You can't see it, though. Now dive. Mm. 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 
You cannot go under... Why? Unless there's a button you can hit to dive. You think? Hold on. Let's look. Sneak is control. Hitting sneak certainly doesn't make me dive. No diving. What? Having a thousand planets filled with dirt isn't enough for you? There's a fish swimming on in the air that were there. Don't rush the scan. You don't want to overlook anything valuable. Don't rush the scan. Oh, I'm dying. Yeah, it's true, I'm not wearing a helmet. Can't wait to scan this fish. Oh, I already did. It's already been scanned. It's pretty. Does this game deserve 9 out of 10? I don't know. This game will be a 9 out of 10 to someone. Which is the most, like, non-cop-out answer that's ever been said. Yeah. No, because it's a 10 out of 10. Okay, cool. Makes them all turn green. What I wanted to see with that one. There's like a high pitched chirp to the scan that kind of like sounds like a hearing test. Now we're like Vin Diesel in Arc 2. Do you see scannable poop? Yeah, uh, probably not. I'm gonna guess it was probably like a resource deposit on the ground, which I guess mean, doesn't mean it wasn't poop. Okay. The quest objective is on my ship. I thought it was like on the planet and I could actually run there. Uranium. I keep forgetting I need to sell stuff. I only have four days left to deliver these electroplated wafers to Polvo. I should get on that. Okay. Oh, it shows it when you're in scan mode. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, Imagine Dragons released a song for the game. I don't know if it's in the game. And if, if it is, though, can I set it to play at maximum volume every time my ship takes off? 
Uh oh. Yowza. All right, we're good. They heard my crack about Imagine Dragons. Does Imagine Dragons have a stomp? Does the song have a stomp clap in it? No, wait. It's about space. So it's got to have a way oh way oh somewhere. Or like a boom. Hey! Way oh way oh. They've done it again. Okay, all right. All right. Not right away, or do you need a little bit of time? So can I just hit the map and... What? Check out your ship's inventory. Huh? What does that mean? Wait, hold on. Check out your ship's inventory. How do I do that? Cargo hold. Q. I mean, there's the there's the wafers. Do I have to? Oh, I bet I have to put it in my inventory and carry it in or something. Cannot remove car. Oh, never mind. Wait, why? I don't understand. Yeah, you teleport everywhere. You, you, you don't actually, like, travel anywhere. The only traveling you do... Check out your ship's inventory. What? Yeah, there's, like, an objective there. To check out my ship's inventory. Uh, yeah, the only traveling you do is when you... Landing, running from your ship to wherever you go. Everything else is a loading screen. You can't bring up the map while scan mode is on. Surface map. Okay, now it's... Oh, it's just a bug. Okay, when you're not in your ship, it just throws... It. <sighs> okay, whatever. Alright, whatever. I mean, that's barely a bug. That, that doesn't count. That's just a weird thing. Alright. Um, map. Return. Hope Town, travel. Optional inventory reminder. You mean for selling stuff? Oh, I did it. It just delivers it as soon as you land. Okay, well, hopefully I can sell some stuff. You can free fly to the points. No, um, no, period. <laughs> Not question mark. You cannot do that. When you're in space, you're just in an infinite void, basically, with a skybox around you. You can't fly anywhere. You have to bring up the map and click where you want to go, and then it loads you there. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't want to hear any complaints. Here. This is such a long shot. Let me help, help you out. I meeting one hope once. Idealistic and perhaps a bit of a dreamer. <laughs> but you have to admire what he's accomplished. All right, Adela. Deep breath. Oh, God. You don't look like things are going... Well, oh, no, wait, that's not how... Reddit, well, you wanted to talk to me. Talk. Right. Right. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. I might be willing to help for a price. I have credits and some other stuff so yeah they have big eyes they have big expressive expressive cartoon eyes a small shipping line just started really we do bulk shipping boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face <laughs> a 
Lots of people just use people like us without giving a shit about us. A week ago, I would have said something different, but yes, absolutely. So, I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment? Slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. Tell me how I figure into this. I'm getting to that part, sorry. A tracker just landed and I just know he's hunting a bounty, me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship, but my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? Hmm. Guess I'm Captain Fahim then. You are the best. I'm going to kill that this guy. This fleet has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. He's the one who's going to have to Wrong stay hope. safe. Best thing Maybe that's me. Do you think I'm going to have to load in here? It sure looks like it. Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can, we'd be off-worlders. <laughs> Nothing ever good comes from them. Wait, is this? No, wait, that's not. Oh, <laughs> that's the door. All right. Yep. Yep. Just keep it holstered. Well, workers like to play hard here. They serve. We work hard, we play hard. Ron Hope certainly embodies the saying, a spared no expense. Okay, there's a little icon that it would be theft to take. Boom pop! Oh, it doesn't fall out onto the ground. It just puts it in your inventory. Man. I can't buy cube food? Aww. Aww. Ron Hope knows his stuff. Can I help you? Welcome to Hope Tech Sales. What? Give me your invoice. Some you me? set up already? Who do you think I am? Some middle manager type? Like 90% of everybody I deal with. <laughs> she, she from Listen, Kentucky? You may need to impress your boss and all, but I don't care. Let's just get Wait. this done as efficiently as possible and we'll do, tell everybody how amazing you Do are. the people in the western towns in Starfield really talk like they're in the old west? Oh man. If they all have corn pone western accents, I'm gonna lose it. Howdy, space partner! Oh man, I hope so. Dude. Oh. Thinking of buying something here. I'm not sure yet. Oh, a potential customer, huh? Well, what you need to know about our ships is they're from stern about built for reliability. Other star yards might got glitz or some weird crazy lines. With Hope Tech, you get people that care about you making that 300th freight run safely and on time. If you change your mind. Oh, I should have asked him about Ron Hope. Welcome to Hope Texas. Yeah, it just clicks into first Give person when you go into dialogue. You got the financing set up <clears> already? <throat> oh, a potential cut. Well, what you need to know. Other star yards might got glitch with Hope Tech. What do you what do you think about Ron Hope? Listen, this whole system was nothing until Ron Hope came here. He gave us a purpose, a, a mission. Something we could be proud of. To us, this job is life. And the quality of what we make shows it. You have a good day. All right. I thought I could maybe sell something to someone in here. Our motto is, they're trucks in space. <laughs> really, you need to hear Mr. Hope say it. <laughs> Do you need anything? I'm in the wrong place. Hello, gay Todd Howard. Ron Hope's a damn hero in my book. Hello. Excuse me. Didn't have to load in here. That's nice. 
some rules. If there's one place there's some law and order in this town, it's here. Don't even think about stealing anything. No haggling. The price is the price. And... But what if I have a barter patch on my shoulder? Yes. There's no law around here. Well, hardly any. Someone gets himself stabbed in the gutter. Security will be all over that. And grand theft, the big stuff. Maybe even a ranger will get involved. But security's got better things to do than look into every petty squabble. Good rules. I can respect that. Then we won't have any problems. If you need weapons, the best defense is the only place in town. Just buy my shit. I'm thinking this place is a dump. But the hardware isn't. I don't care. Lots of customers pass through. We got something for everyone. I want your money in exchange for my gear. Music to my ears. I haven't sold stuff yet. Vendor buy. Sell. Sort by weight. That's what we like to see. Okay, there are vendor credits. Centers and also did you run over there too covered? Oh, whatever. I wonder if there's like, uh. I wonder if there's. Like a reason to deconstruct things or if you can turn old gear into other kinds of goodies. I think that's my only helmet. It looks like Mark Zuckerberg. No, he's cooler than that. So much cooler. Oh yeah, I should see. If Ready to do some business? This guy has Hopefully some cool stabbers. Oh, man, that looks nice. I might just use that for the aesthetic. That looked like a good stabbins. Space trucker suit. Nice. Oh, he's got the stuff that I sold him. Great. Goggles, 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 goggles. Space trucker flannel. That's nice. Midnight Delight, a snack made from a smattering of available ingredients. What does it say? Multi meat? Look at how good this this like packaging and modeling is. I love it. Some good marbling going on there. Synth marbling. It's, it's playing like some Star Trek music. Like there's an alien waving his hands over glowing rocks and it's making this music. I sit in this stupid little chair. Nice. Chit-chat with my bro. 
So anyways, I said, Witch Hunter could be a whole series of films. And they said, oh, you're telling me? And I said, yeah, next Lord of the Rings. Wait, okay, how long can I wait here? Is it good day? <laughs> yes. We just spent three hours staring at each other. Oh, you done? Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you next time. I'll tell you about my idea for Witch Hunter 5. That's when things really get serious. It's when Vin Diesel has to fight himself. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I, I, uh, he just needed to change the view. <laughs> oh, my God. There was a time when every business magnet in the collective. Wow. so bright in here this, it would feel really uncomfortable to get like space drunk in here this feels like a space McDonald's what the fuck <laughs> get out Sarah it's my cake. Thank you. Sentient AI adapters. I guess that I does that icon mean it's contraband? Is my cake contraband? It is. I stole it. Oh, cake flavored chunks feud cube. Is it actually cake? Does it really matter? I don't want to get caught. Hold. Oops. Oh no, I dropped my knife. Oh, clumsy. Take. Fancy ice bucket. I do that? How did that happen? Hold on. What? What? What happened? I was only hitting E. I was only hitting E. I was trying to move the door. Oh! Wait, what? Why does it work there? Hold on, hold on. Whoa! Was I just not holding long enough? Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah. That's weird. It like snaps. Hold on. Okay. S sort. Oh, the oh, it hovers in front of you. Okay. It's weird in third person. Okay. Jeez. It just takes forever. All right, it takes way longer than it used to. Why did you sit in their chair? I mean, I guess, I guess I'm breaking everything. So. There it is, Sarah. Time to go. Come on, Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hold on, hmm. And breath of, or Tears of the Kingdom sure did get rotation down a lot better than this. Okay, uh, back into your. No, don't sit down! That's fine. Alright, Sarah, let's go. There must be like a, a script that fires things off of her head. Okay, I right, come out into the hallway. You know, we do more than booze, right? We need it. We got it. My friend got mugged this night, so looking for something. I meant I have everything except this. See Carlo 
Okay, here we go. Stop moving. Don't go sit down! Damn! God, she's lazy. Let's try this. Oops. They didn't... Wait, did I... Is it because I grabbed the... Am I holding something? Stole their sweet roll? I put it back. I guess once you pick it up. Come on, was it mad that I grabbed the trash can? I might have I might have had something in my inventory still, but like they should they no one saw me do it. So it's weird that they immediately were thieving on me. No? Okay. I must have had something in my inventory. We got just about everything here. It's your one stop shop. I'm new in town. You know, you know, you know, you know. What's your name, stranger? I buy you a drink. Hmm. Captain Fahim, pleasure to meet you. I'll take that drink now. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markup? I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. <laughs> Two ways this can go. You know the truth. You gonna shoot me here? Looks like a place that doesn't mind some color. Or you can surrender. I drank you up, deliver you, they kill you. Nobody ever picks that option. Can't we come to an arrangement? I don't deal with smugglers and no good types. Well, I do, but more violent-like. My words, my bond. You got me. I'm very surprised. Yeah. They never see me coming. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. <laughs> I want to kill him though, so I'm just gonna. I'm tired of this cat and mouse. Damn it! At least give him a chance to explain first. Sorry, nothing personal. Pleasant smile. I want his hat. Don't leave any of that behind. Well, if we're looking for somewhere to pick a fight, this would probably be the place. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh my God. Some may consider Hope Town. Backwater, but it's a very safe and rewarding hey. assignment. Huh? Oh, come on. Come on. Yep. Nope, nope, nope. Lost him. Gotta warn the other bounty hunters to not come after Rod Diddick. Rod Tiddick, excuse me. Let's just get him up there. There we go. 
Nice. So, you're with the trade authority, right? As far as you're concerned, I am the trade authority. All right. Yeah. Hey. Shout outs to Bethesda for making a game where that's possible. Can I play pool? Awesome. Mm. Oh. Ladies first. A little morose, don't you think, Barney? Thank you for the cheer, though, Digital Melancholy. I'm going to give it the windmill hit. Trying to play mini golf. Oh! Damn it! It's mine. Give it back. The trash can? I was just trying to cover up the the spill. Did you really think you could just walk off with that? What? Yo. Oh. Hmm. Step on out of here. I'm hit. Security showed up. I wonder if that's because of the murder or because I picked up the trash can. All right, let me let me just wrap up this quest and we'll get off this planet. Why did I ever take this job? Never come back here again. I heard the fighting. I'm so sorry. Take this reward. I have to go before another tracker arrives. Thank you. I don't like your odds of making it. That's... that's just great. So great. Just need a few supplies and I'm gone for good. What did you give me? Oh, a shitty gun. All right. Always something going on. Is there anything else around this landing spot? An unknown? Check out your ship's inventory. Why does it keep saying that? Wow. Ultimate Gilly. Thank you for the sub. Yeah, let's go explore Stonehenge. You got that gun from the guy you killed, not the quest. Oh. Did I just get credits and experience, I guess? It's only 50. I wonder how experience scaling works in this game. Ooh. Is there a way to... S is there like a stats screen? Not really. Missions, ships, star maps, skills. Can you see... Status. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wait a minute. Locations. Well, locations got to be different than planets. Snow globes collected. Nice. Oh, I should. I, wait, no, I don't think I found a snow globe. Ah, uh, here we go. Planets landed on. How is that different than what I have? Uh-oh. Do we already have a... Oh, because the first planet I didn't land on. I've only taken off from. I wonder if that counts. I should go back and land on it and see if the... If it comes back up. <laughs> Outsmarted by Todd. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Crimes. Good. I'm glad all that stuff is still there. It doesn't tell you your experience, though. Oh, wait. Health. No? Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. So, fi 50 experience. That quest was like one-tenth of a level when I'm level five. So, not a not a wealth of experience, but there's probably tons of just teeny tiny quests like that. What? I'm not making you do anything, okay? I'm not making you do shit. There's got to be a quest item in my inventory. I think that's what they're hinting at. The, like a start of a quest is in my ship's ship's hold.
There's nothing there. I guess I just ignore it. I'm gonna go play Sea of Stars. All right. That looks like a really cool game. I just started um, Chained Echoes, which I'm super enjoying too. I played Cross Code, which was also super fun. Man, I'm I'm overjoyed that the like 16-bit or the 16-bit plus RPG is coming back. God, how blessed we are. There's even rumors that uh that Fantasian is gonna come to Steam. Man, is that just the best? Maybe they mean there's is there like an item on the ship? Oh, I'd kill for some chunks right now. First stop when I get home. But I really need to get better about packing snacks for these long hauls. Some rhubarb boom pop. Maybe some cereal. Irvin always made the best trail mix. Added in a little marshmallows for stars. <laughs> I miss that. Yeah, if you're uh, thinking about getting well, hey there, I Game Pass for Starfield. Ah! Looks like you Jesus. My um, ship, my box, sea of Stars is also available via Game Pass. When I heard the learned astronomer, oh, Walt Whitman, when the proofs the figures were arranged in columns before me, when I was shown the charts and diagrams to add, divide, and measure them, when I, sitting, heard the astronomer where he lectured with much applause in the lecture room, how soon unaccountable I became tired and sick, till rising and gliding out I wandered off by myself in the mystical, moist night air, and from time to time looked up in perfect silence at the star. Ah. Ooh, ha. Hold on a minute. There we go. I got my, my jammies on. So let me see. Check out your ship's inventory. But that's not a... Can I click on it? It's not a... It's not an objective in any of my missions. Unless it's here. Oh! Check out your ship's inventory. Check out your ship's inventory. Check out your ship's inventory. Ch check out your ship's... Inventory! What did that even do? I didn't get any experience for that, did I? It's just checked off now. Yeah, I've checked out my ship's inventory. <laughs> it's weird that it showed up. Uh. <laughs> I got the knife in my hands. <laughs> uh. Ah, oh, stop it. It's left and right arrow keys now? Yeah, that's all zoom. There might be one in here that like... Makes it so you have to scan less. Can 
you place items from your inventory around the ship as decorations with the physics, the dragon, etc. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, because I want to put a geode. What I'm hoping I can do is, like, throw it in the cockpit, and then it'll be visible when I sit down. I think you have to drop it and then pick it up. Uh, let's see. I could put my ball clicker there, too. We've tried stealing a new spaceship. No. I'm not entirely sure how I would go about that, actually. Not a lot of places for this to go, is there? Oops. Oh, fuck, I picked it up. Oh! <laughs> Dang it, it rotates it like... Okay, hold on. I have to like... Like that, and then walk around it this way. Okay, there we go. And then just drop it in. Just drop it right in the cup holder. There we go. Oh! Oh, okay. Has to be another rotate option, so... I'm sure if you hold a button and click, it might do it on another axis, but... There we go. I got my coffee, I got my geode. Let me... Yeah, I can try Q&E. Let me see here. Q and E don't do anything. They do. They ball click. That's so sick. Oh my god. Oh my god, Bethesda. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now I know what those 20 years of game development were spent on. Now is everything gonna fly off my desk the second I sit down? Oh, I heard something hit the ground. <laughs> Right, yeah, shit, there goes my hero. Well, too late. All right, everyone! Chill! That's cool. A space battle? Oh, this consumes ship parts. Oh. Oh no. Sarah Morgan hated that. <laughs> okay, well, at least something killed me. I wonder if that encounter is still going to be there when I uh, take off again. Oh, all my goodies are not on the my ah. Oh well, they're still there.
Oops. Dang it. Oh, I should have saved. I guess it's not too late. Oh, I gotta change into my jammies, too. Hold on a minute. Where are we going? What are we doing? Well, wait, I just realized I could just warp there from the ground. Oh, also, I need to... I need to uh, up the difficulty so I can see more legendaries. Do you think the documentary about your life will be made? Might even cut off the line? Is there another... more combat? So I guess you can't just warp out of here if you wanted to. Set course. Jump. <laughs> okay. That's kind of cool. I wish it would you would could see your ship explode. Making the game harder gets you better stuff. I don't know about that. All it said is that it was more likely to see legendary monsters if the difficulty's higher. Which I haven't really messed with yet. So yeah, it's here. All difficulty levels, all difficulty levels affect damage and the chance to encounter legendary enemies. So now let me see, let me test this theory. Can I just teleport from the ship directly to my destination? Pretty sure I can. Um, also, what I'd like to do... What's... I'm in Sol right now. What system... Was it Olympus? No, I'm in Narian right now. What system had the... Mining planet in it? Uh-oh. I've already lost it. Yeah, I assume you get better stuff off of uh, legendary enemies. Oh, that's what show me means. Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me look it up. Vectera.
It is in the Narian system. Oh. 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 All right. How is it so far as expected? Kinda yeah, kinda yeah. Um, the things I expected the game to not do, it totally doesn't do. But the things it does do are pretty good. Um, it is more, so far, it's more fun for me to play than Fallout 4. That's me though, because Fallout 4 was a, a huge dud for me. I just did not, did not get it, wasn't into it. Um, it was just like real boring. So I'm excited to see more of this game. Uh, I don't know how long that's gonna last, but that's just that's how that's that's how I'm feeling. It wasn't that. Polvo. Wait. In Narian. Oh, it's a moon of the planet Ancelon in the Narian system. Crete, there we go. Vector. Set course. What the? Near, 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 near. I accepted it. Nothing happened. <laughs> Help! Help! Just make it stop! I've been spinning for three days! <laughs> oh, I can't be a part of this. What is your deal? Chill the fuck out, Sarah Morgan. I can't believe I get to stand near you, breathe the same air. I've got to have every molecule. Where, where's my twirling man? Where'd he go? Oh, there you are. Well, he's slowing down. I can't target him. I can't really interact with any anybody. Like if I wanted to board that ship or take it over, I don't know if I can. I think you have, maybe you have to disable it or something. Oh, oh, that's cool. I wonder if that exists all the time. Like a cinematic camera. Oh, all right. I hope that's, I hope that's a universal thing in this game. So if you hold down Q, you get like a, a like free look. back a grown Riddick and hopefully oh yeah let me land on the caps that sounds cool set landing target land <clears throat> yes my model is in a spacesuit would you you think I'm gonna be out here streaming in space without proper oxygen supply 
And those are already goggles on me because I am the I am the coolest character in the space. Not Todd Howard, but Riddick. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Is this... This is a cap? I guess... Yeah, I guess this is snow. Alright. Okay, now. That ought to square up. Oh, yeah, because I'm... I'm just in a jammies. I'm in my jammies. <laughs> At least it doesn't it doesn't kill you instantly uh, I that's fair it would be cooler if I just died but man I uh, I should just do this more quest to get freaking Sarah off my back All right, let me see. Now then. Status. Exploration. Uh-oh. Planets landed on. Still five. Mmm. What could explain that, I wonder? Vectera, Crete, Jemison, Mars, Anake, or Anank, and Polvo. Is it a moon? This is a... I mean, I haven't been... Hmm. I'm pretty sure if if you don't count moons, then the count would be way lower. But maybe not. Just spitballing. Yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good spitballings. It's good spitballings. Yeah, maybe, maybe moons don't count. Um, wait, hold on. What are the... So let me look at the other things I've landed. This is a silly thing to get fixated on, but... Yeah, one planet is not real. That's the only solution here. So, Vectera, Crete, Jemison... Because... Let's see here. Oh, there's two systems. Oh, that's what that's doing. Okay. There are two solar systems in this system. All right. So, yeah. So, Crete is a moon, so that wouldn't count. Um, where are the other places I've been? Well, Mars is certainly a planet. But, yeah, it would just be Jemison, Mars, Ananke, and Polvo, which would be four. Jemison, third planet. Hmm. Maybe Crete is a planet. I don't think it is. I like how there's already wiki entries for all these. Crete is a moon. Mars is a planet. Anank. Oh, no wiki entry for that one. Tis tisk. Nah, whatever. Whatever. I'll keep my count. Thank you very much, Todd. Encelon is the fifth one. The planet hosts Crete. The planet that hosts Crete and Vectera. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh. Maybe when they say planets, hmm, maybe Vectera and Crete count as the same because they're orbiting Ancelon, and that's what counts as the one planet that you landed on. So land on a moon of anything, and it counts as landing on that, and it's really just these that count as planets. Maybe. Maybe. 
Oh, I guess you can just... Wait, it says set course, set landing target. Can I just fly to the... I guess it's just the space around the gas giant. It'd be cool if you could go into the atmosphere of it. But I'm sure you can't. How's loading screens? Is it as bad as Prey Arcane? Set. Oh. There's a lot of loading, but they're really fast. That may just be because of uh, PC. I don't know. I don't know you think I am, but you're about to find out. Why is it the worst button? Halt. halt! Oh well. Watch me not care. Alright, let's go to Sidonia. I was supposed to bribe the bartender. So I've just been doing side quests just because. I really want to solve the mystery of the planet counter. What's going on, Todd? simpler keep to yourself you got those credits you pay his tab I'll tell you what I know I'm gonna have Sarah Morgan come in here no I've done this routine let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes you call me a liar oh, so it's extra awkward right when now. it's an NPC talking to another Please. NPC but they're both Too staring at you the player off -world, asking for information only you have you see an opportunity Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fan. You could need help. You shouldn't put a price on that. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You could guilt trip me. Who? To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Oh man, is this like oblivion persuasion? Just random shit? Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails, but the more points you learn when you succeed. You have a little, well, oh wow. Dears Fick. Ah, I got it. Uh, thanks for the sub. Each choice, uh, yeah, you have a limited number of choices to make. Okay, I like it. Oh, that's how this works. Ah. What matters to you more? The money or more or is life? That wasn't yeah. a very good riddick. Well, we'll dial it in. Right, right, right. What's the harm if you help me? Maybe. All right. 
need to think about it. A little too still on. All right, I give up. All right. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Just singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus. That's yeah, more grumbling, less words. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Fine. We'll make do. I want Vin to do triple X4. Where's that? Go to Venus. Is she gonna leave now? Are we done? Good. Finally. Riddick flies solo. No! God damn it. in my style. It doesn't really stick on the heads as much, does it? Ah. Open them up. Thoughts on the game thus far? It's a Bethesda game. It's a Bethesda game. It is it is far from a revelation. Um and I think some people will have fun with it for a while, but most people will probably just shrug it off. I think some people will be super into it. It's a, it's a proven game type. It's like, it's a proven game type with the wrapper that is so, it's like such a wide net with the aesthetic and the wrapper they put on it that, yeah, it'll probably work. For a lot of people. A pleasant change of scenery. What can I do for you, Captain? All right, now what? Go to Venus. Go to Uranus. Similar to how people accepted Fallout 4. Yeah, yeah. I think I think people still had kind of a glowing idea of how good Bethesda games or Fallout games... Like, there's been a weird over-perception of what Bethesda games actually do for a long time, and how open they are, and how free they are, and how complicated of RPGs they are. But people, I think, are finally, by and large, settling into the fact that they're pretty simple games for simple pleasures. I guess the thing that's a little disingenuous is, like, a lot of the advertising kind of pitches this game as a spiritual, profound space experience that really harnesses the majesty of space travel and doesn't it doesn't do that at all it's loading screens that's space like that's all of it and it's loading screens and then running around and shooting stuff and then i guess there's like crafting and base building but the space travel aspect is is essentially non-existent it's all just just uh aesthetic speak with trevor is that a what is speak with trevor maybe that's an activity speak with trevor <laughs> Okay. In the mech factory. Going to the mech factory. Deet. Set course. Travel. And there I go. There are a variety of different loading screens, so that's cool. Oh, I'm not there yet. Did we get to wear funny hats? I did get a trucker hat. You ever run into one? I'll let you guess what happens if they spot. What? Oh, why are Varun zealots out here near Venus? White howl. Or why thowl? Thank you very much for the sub. The other factions, but the zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. Sneaky, I don't know. Everyone likes to say that cyberpunk's marketing overpromised, but it didn't. Like, it's everyone's imaginations that ran away with themselves. Everyone saw you, like, they saw the fact that you could get into a car, and they were like, oh, it's GTA. And then they just kind of imagined the rest. Seriously. Everyone likes to blame the marketing, but the thing is, like, 
the marketing of Cyberpunk was pretty in line with how the game felt to play, I thought. I guess, I guess the trailer does show like a bunch of snapshots of Night City living. So if the idea is that that's what the game is, that it's a bunch of like vignettes you'll participate in in Night City. I mean, it kind of was that anyway with all the uh, side gigs and stuff, but um, I don't know. I don't know. When, when Starfield has this like vaulted music and Todd Howard is literally there saying, do whatever you want, go wherever you want, be whoever you want to be. I don't know. That sends a bit of a different message. There were, there was one or one or two times where uh, some people at CD Projekt did say some pretty leading and incorrect things, like one or two times. But I don't know. They they definitely made it sound much more uh, expansive than it is. But I think most people are kind of onto that. Like most people played Bethesda games before. One Starfield dev said Starfield made him question his religion. Yeah. Maybe they didn't before. <laughs> uh, who knows? I'm. Eh, it's a good thing to do eventually. All right. Do you see Vanguard Moara, Moara's ship anywhere? No. No other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a Did they not overmarket so Starfield way harder than CDPR did with Cyberpunk? Yet people are much more forgiving with Starfield. Oh, believe me, believe me. I'm very aware of the double standard. Bethesda is the benefit, beneficiary of a very bizarre double standard. Um, like, yeah, the now, of course, Cyberpunk had other issues. It, it wasn't nearly this stable on console at launch. But, um, yeah, I've seen people trip over themselves to explain why it doesn't matter that Starfield has certain features and gleefully, well, it's not the same people either, so of course you have to acknowledge that, but man, just a, a community of people that gleefully shit on Cyberpunk for not having the features it never said it would. Um, yeah, very, very weird double standard. But whatever. What are you going to do? They were both over-marketed? Sort of. But th uh, Starfield was way more marketed than Cyberpunk was, believe it or not. Um, influencers did a lot more marketing for Cyberpunk, I think. But they released, like, what? Two trailers and a gameplay trailer? I guess they had the Night City Wires. Those were... the That was... That was some marketing material, but that was pretty straightforward and, and like informative, I thought. Whereas I feel like the Starfield Direct, that felt pretty deceptive to me. To me, just to me. But the way they edited it and the way they cut it, they definitely cut around a lot of the limitations of the game that are now very apparent when you play it. Granted, those limitations don't matter as much, really, but it was, it was very intentional marketing. I think that Starfield Direct was much more misdirecting than anything I saw out of Cyberpunk's pre-release stuff. Aside from the fact that they just straight up buried how it ran on last-gen console. That's pretty crappy. I mean, they had that one video, I guess. But. Uh, pull STM. Thank you for the sub. Anyway, that's my rant. Sorry. Uh, all right. I doubt they know where our Vanguard is. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. Ah, they gutted many features they showed footage of. Rees, what features did they show footage of that weren't in the game? I, I, always, I always hear people say that. Please. Oh, wall running? Yeah, they did. Okay. They did show wall running, but they said they, said they were that it wasn't going to be in the game. They said we can't do wall running. They said it. They said it out loud. That wasn't a surprise. Maybe, maybe some of these other things. Then why is it in the trailer? What, the very first one? So why show that? What are you talking? Wait, oh, oh God. Which trailer? Are you talking about the trailer that came out before they realized they couldn't get it in the game? Why didn't they go back in time and take it out of a trailer? Is that what you're asking? Let's see. You need to get that beacon without being attacked. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Original gameplay reveal August 18, 2018. Okay. And jump away. It's my it's my assertion that somewhere between 2018 and when the game launched, I'm pretty sure they said, "Ah, we can't do wall running." Um But if they didn't, okay, then that's not so great. They did say that, ah. 
It's okay. There's a difference between lying and changing feature sets. <laughs> I don't know, man. Is that the only instance? The one? People like to say trains, but there, that was never a thing. I guess there was just, it was just that V was on a subway. Full third and first person mode. Hmm, okay. Well, I mean, it has first person mode. You just mean for full third person mode? Not trying to be a stick in the mud, just being honest. No, it's fine, but that's like, I don't know. That's not really a lie. But I guess, yeah, I guess you're right in one regard. Game developers are not allowed to say anything about a game unless it's 100% absolutely true forever. I don't know. That's different. I feel like that's different than a direct that is like put together to try to give you a complete idea of a game a month before it comes out. I, I can kind of see your point, though. I can kind of see it. I mean, you're, you're not wrong. Um, certainly, this is things that they have to consider. That's similar to the Fable guy. Oh, yeah, Peter Molyneux? Yeah, Molyneux would just start saying things. Five meters of the beacons you can activate. All right, maximum stealth. Ooh, I'm in my ship system power to avoid detection. Hmm. Power down all systems except one or two bars in your engine. Stay as far away from any ships as you can. That's pretty cool. I like that. Going low energy mode. I still don't know what shit is. Whoops. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh yeah, probably shields. But what's Bal? Tell me what Bal is. Dang it! Arrgh! I keep thinking Q and E is rotate. <laughs> Balance. <laughs> In space. Balance. What is balance? What does balance mean? Is there anything in this game as egregious as cops spawning behind you? Yes. Multiple times I've had NPCs just pop in behind me and start talking. Bless this communion that we may walk in Janan Verun's footsteps. That he jumped from the soul system out There's been tons of pop in on landscapes and stuff. That he learned the truth of the shrouding. The cops thing is, is to me, the most baffling thing ever. The most baffling. I don't know why suddenly having like a GTA style cop system is the only way anyone could enjoy a video game. But that seemed to be the total like... Everyone was like, ha, look at how stupid the cops are. That is utter validation that this game is a joke. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? I don't understand when that became like the critical feature that everyone hung their hats on. No one seemed to care about the cop system in Starfield, or literally any other game. Didn't buy the game for the cops? Why? What? Do oh, oh, sorry, I thought you were saying that yourself, consumable. I mean, I mean they're adding a whole cop system, because apparently it means that much to people. I think the cop thing was annoying and immersion breaking. Didn't care that much though. You had to be looking. I don't know. I played through the whole game and never noticed. Activate. Back on board. To all you see affiliated ships, I'm heading to the Nova Galactic Storyard orbiting Earth's moon. Yeah, yeah, I know. The whole place is decommissioned. And I need parts for emergency repairs. Hopefully it hasn't been picked clean yet. Oh, that's not good. Earth and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago. And the old star yards are crawling with spacers and other scavengers. I'm not terminally online, so I wasn't angry, just felt disappointed with the experience. Oh, pretty reasonable reaction. 
and noticed it and found it hilarious, made for fun experiences. The Starfield have cops. Uh, it sort of, it has like a bounty system. Um, and I guess if you have a bounty, then bounty hunters will come after you. Here's the fun thing about Starfield. Since there's so many load screens, they can just pop in whatever they want, whenever they want. <laughs> so, like a cop system is, is silly. Anywhere you load, boom, there could just be cops. And like, you can't see them pop in because you were just looking at a load screen. Anyway, uh, where do we go now? Oh, the Galactic Star Yard. Ooh. I get to go to the moon! Let me guess, you have to land in a spot where you can see the, like, Earth crest, this, the moon. Wait, what? Why is the pip, like, outside of it? Oh, that's why. Yeah, can you go to the moon and see, like, the, the flag? That'd be cool. Everything dark. Thanks for the sub. Oh, there it is. Nova Galactic Star Yard. Still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their Star Yard hasn't been running in forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see if Vanguard Moara is in that star yard. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. So you're docked with all you- oh, okay, cool. Can finally board. You'll need to select the ship and your HUD fly close to dock prompt appears. Okay, yeah, I couldn't even select those other ships. I'm curious how to dock. Release was rough, undersold on many advertised features. I think many is a bit strong. Undersold on a few advertised features, yeah. And they, I wouldn't even call them advertised features. I think, uh, I think the, uh, I think the wording is still a little strong there. But, but yeah, if you, Oops. Kind of a cool camera angle. <laughs> no, it's it. No, these are these are valid. These are valid. I, for me, the um board uh the point i was trying to make it's it's not necessarily that nobody has a right to be upset at oh geez <laughs> where to next not necessarily that nobody has a right to be upset at the way start or cyberpunk launched or anything like that Two steps in and we're all, all i was doing was and this is pointless by the way what i'm doing pointlessly uh antagonistic but just bringing up that like double standard there People could not wait to needle cyberpunk over all the features it didn't have. And people have choked themselves trying to explain why it doesn't matter that Starfield doesn't have all these things. Especially in situations where it's like a literal contradiction. Days ago, Pete Hines was like, yes, you can walk all over a planet. Straight up said it out loud. I mean, he probably, he might have thought it was true, for all I know. Just a little. Does it matter? Like, no, not to not to anyone or not to everybody. But it would have been neat. Another load. Really? I didn't walk outside. It was just actually another. Like, it was just a loading antechamber. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. There's no point. Like, that's the thing. Bringing up topics like this. It doesn't do anything. All it does is make people upset. There's no point in that. I just wish people would, would be, like, just more chill about everything. 
If people could be as chill with every game as they have been with Starfield, that would be great. Or just like abandon the expectations that people have with every other game. There's just like ridiculous standards and weird assumptions that people make. Yeah, Stealth, I do wish, uh, you know, it'd be nice if CD Projekt got more, a little more credit for that in particular. Uh, they went from making like an open world melee action game to a first person open world shooter with tons of like abilities and oh boy. And driving, like they went from horse to cars and not just cars, but many, there was one roach, but there were many, uh, many vehicles. So yeah, in terms of like, and, and the comparisons are unfair, uh, the comparisons are never kind to me. Yeah, and in terms of like new features and things that got added over the last game, they really, they really bit off a ton. Yeah! Boosh! <laughs> I love the, oh man, the hyper knockback is so good. You can never be mad when you die because you just get like kicked by a railgun into the wall. Am I ever going to be able to sneak up on anyone? And yes, I fully agree. We need the Riddick Crescent Knives. get more stealth attacks just in general. yeah definitely gotta level up that sneak I need to get stealth attacks to be able to level up my sneak though so All right. I think they can't be in combat either and it's been shockingly difficult to find enemies that aren't in combat new boot looting all right maybe this will work Yeah, sneak attack. He's like, what was that? Yeah, probably nothing. Oh, they found me. Wait, how? Oh, sneak through there? Must have been the wind. Must have been rats. Yeah, they forgot I was here. Excellent. Ah, uh, spin dash C. Again, though, incorrect narrative. A Bethesda game being meh is expected. That's not what's expected of CDPR, hence the amount of backlash. Incorrect, sir! Witcher 3 was not in a great state when it launched. But nobody played it at launch. Everybody played the Game of the Year edition that had the DLC and all the fixes. And so, like, they formed the conclusion that that's how CDPR games launch. Incorrect! I don't know. It happens. Ah! I don't understand the Switcher 3 sucked at launch thing. I played it at launch. It was so good. I mean, it was good, but it was buggy. It was very buggy. There were memes about it. CDPR made their own memes about how buggy Witcher 3 was. They, like, they had a video where they hired a dude to be a roach mocap artist. But the dude would like go on to stage and do weird movements and they were like, oh, that's why Roach is like that. <laughs> because Roach would bug out and like run on his hind legs and stuff. So they made a whole meme video about how they hired this dude who did a weird performance for Roach and that's why Roach is all messed up. Can you imagine if they if they like goofed like that for, for Cyberpunk? Oh man, they would have been lit on fire. CDPR used to be a fun company. Then the internet got mad at them. Well, that's not fair. They released an unfinished game, and then the internet got mad at them. So I'm hidden, but... Oh yeah, Dionyx, that was a million years ago. 
uh, good old games did a prank where they said they were closing down and everyone was like, no, damn it, no, good old games, aw. Oh. And then later they were like, all right, so we, it was a, we're just closing for one day and then relaunching as the new good old games or something. And they were like, everybody took that really seriously and got really upset and we're very sorry. But they were like kneeling in monk robes inside of a church. I found an article describing it, but I think the video is just gone. They were like flogging themselves. Hmm, difference between 2077 and this game is where the studios are located, European versus American. Meaning the Europeans got crucified for under-delivering, whereas American companies underperform, they get less flat. Hmm. Hmm. It's an interesting theory. Um. There are difference- there are definitely differences in how different world regions react to unfinished games. Um. I have some insight into that because my partner worked for CD Projekt when 2077 came out. And different regions of the world had uh, varying levels of disgust with the game. Some were totally cool with it. Like Japan was like, this game is awesome. They were down, like 100% down. They loved Takamura. Like it was off the charts in Japan. Uh, but South Korea was like, South Korea and the US were the worst. Um, Interesting, interesting. So, so, when it comes to, um... Ooh, that's a gun. It's got a little lens? That's cool. Oh, it's a laser pistol. I love the look of the molded plastics in this game. It looks awesome. Uh... When it comes to, uh, Starfield, my unfounded, suppositional, completely incorrect theory is that there is a specific generational nostalgic wraparound right now for people that grew up playing Skyrim. Uh, and they're excited for, like, the new Skyrim in space, basically. They want they want to go back to the womb again. Uh, and this game is theoretically going to let them do it for a little bit. Ow. And maybe after, maybe after Halo Infinite didn't, they're still hoping for that, like, Xbox 360 Gen 7 One Last Ride. Fallout 76 got a lot of flack. It did. But then, like, none of that... None of that was around, right? Nobody was like, oh, I don't know about Starfield. Remember, Fallout 76 wasn't very good. Like, some people were, but almost nobody was. Almost no one. Everyone just kind of pretended like that game doesn't exist. Or, uh, like, they just are like, oh, it's better now. And that's it. And, again, that's, that's good. I like that. That's people being chill. That's people moving on. That's people respecting the work and the hustle. But it's, it's uncommon. <laughs> I feel like it's uncommon for games for people to be... Uh, that... What's the word? Reasonable? I'm not complaining. I just wish they do it for everything. Yeah, Hate Train moved on. That's true. Everyone did kind of wallow in that for a while, didn't they? People love wallowing in a good Hate Train for a minute. Man, I wish I had a silenced weapon or something. Corrosive Coachman. Hmm. Did Mozart make only bangers? No, no. Hey, I am I am a huge proponent of accepting ambitious things that fall short. Like that, to me, that's so much better, more interesting and welcomed than a safe bet or more of the same. Uh, but most people are not tolerant of those things. Um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of developers that are willing to just like roll the dice on new ideas. Okay, let's see. Nope, there it is. Who saw me? I don't under... I don't understand how to, like, reliably get stealth attacks. Star Citizen is way too safe. Huh? Oh, Star Citizen's trying to do all kinds of new stuff. Oh. 
Star Citizen is the game that it sounds like, well, is is a strong word. Star Citizen is attempting to be the game that people described Starfield as being when they were talking about what they couldn't wait to do in YouTube comments and stuff. Star Citizen is trying to do like 10 video games at the same time. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not, it's trying to make so many systems that it's a simulation. It's trying to be a galaxy simulator. Which is not really a game. Um, I mean, you can, you can like add tasks. Which is which again? Star Citizen, Starfield. Star boy. Star star. Okay, he gave up. Oh. I don't understand. I think it's my companion. All right, sneak attack. Almost there. Wait, it's now up to eight? When did I get all my sneak attacks? That's weird. Honkai Star Rail. Honkai Star Rail is pretty unhinged. Where did he come from? <laughs> cool. Hold on, I want to get a few more sneak, uh, sneak attacks so I can level it up. I think he jumped down from a, from something above. I like all the, the little like perks on the backpacks and stuff. Oh, oh they're not gonna let me. They're not gonna let me choose it out, huh? Shotgun's pretty satisfying. The guns are good. The guns are really good. Like, there's some things that are are well above, um, that are like that are really really good. Well above Bethesda's previous like execution in terms of artistry and and, and goodness. Sneak attack. Hope you do the New Year's Cyberpunk train ride again. Yeah, that was really fun. We're gonna have some some cozy Cyberpunk streams soon. Oh, IGN gave it a seven out of ten, huh? Man, brave, brave. I'm down with like that's that's a good sign. There was a time again the Gen Seven pastiche. If like a game was hyped enough and enough people were looking forward to it, it would not get lower than an eight. It just couldn't. And not because, like, journalists would get together and be like, we have to give this lower, or we have to give this a good score. It's because they were kind of susceptible to the same energy. Uh, they would, they would get bought up into the advertising and the hype, too. Stealth Equinox. What is that? I want more stealth hits. Oh. Stealth lasers. Stealth lasers. Stealth lasers. Stealth lasers. They're lasers that are stealth. Quiet stealth lasers. We got l laser stealth. L It's never going to stop doing that. Never. Alright, 
what am I? That kind of, mm, well, you know what? If the game says stealth, it's stealth. Who am I to argue? Man, I do like the the synthy stuff going on. Good minimal 70 synth. I wish it were a little more pronounced. Eggmund? Ear grub, paper white. Uh, bug. A lot of stuffables. Miso soup omni pack. Man, that synth is great. And it brings a lot of needed bass to the soundtrack. It's not a very bassy game. The guns don't really have a lot of thump to them. Um, the shotgun's pretty good. And I don't mean to say that they sound bad. Don't mean that at all. They don't sound bad. They just they're just not very bassy. How you doing? How you doing, Sarah? Just standing there, standing there getting shot. Rose gold earring with sapphire center, synthetic, no monetary value, high sentimental value. Oh, did you see Pete Hines saying Starfield doesn't really get started till you finish the main quest? I could... Uh, I think I could buy it. I'm curious to see what kind of systems unlock. Yeah, they just see you instantly after combat. Alright. I really need Sarah to stop sitting... Like, she just sits there and keeps them aggroed. They need to reset their... Their anger status. So that I can get stealth hits. Wow, that does no damage. Why does it zoom in when I change? It like, okay, okay, now it's not. Can you not order the NPC? Maybe. I mostly just want her to not be here. She's also a, a huge stick in the mud. Right, Sarah, we murdered them. I like the drums. What's the video? What you got going on, Reese? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Deadpool has been vindicated? Oh. Pete Hines' anecdote about Todd being upset he didn't start the main quest 80 hours into the game? Awesome. Oh, Todd. Wait, how does he not know? Todd directed the game. Like, what? Aw. Todd should be the ultimate min-maxer. Beaver behavior. Thanks for the sub. Here we go. Hey, what? What? Oh, oh, they saw me in there. Okay. Yeah, fully Todd maxed. Sarah. We got a VIP here, Ban? What? Oh, man. My, uh... Sorry, my... <sighs> yeah, there it is. My bad. Motley Lou. Sorry for leaving you on the line like that. Sometimes my activity feed freezes up, so thanks in chat for letting me know. Let's spin the wheel! Flames like the fires of planet Furia. My Furian brethren know all too well. I'm so sorry, Motley Lou. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've watched the channel for so long. You spent a quarter of a million channel points just then. Only to be banned. Banned from chat for an entire hour. Oof. I'm sorry. Banned. You hate to see it. Absolutely hate to see it. I can't help but wonder if Todd could have could have helped this situation somehow. Ah, oh, silent Ocalypse. Going for the gold. Another VIP or van. Maybe this one'll maybe this one will save us from our destiny of torment. It's got to be. Oh, that's a double. There is a stretch in the middle there. We got a stretch, though. We got a stretch. Also, a third VIP or ban from David. And a fourth from Poop Dog 412 Hold on. Slow down, everyone. Slow down. We need to take a moment and, and truly savor the, uh, the tragedy of Silent Ocalypse. Banned for an hour from chat. Wonderful, wonderful uh, community member. Even joined our Final Fantasy XIV raid static. Beautiful player. Just wonderful. Banned. Completely banned. Totally banned. All right, I'm going to stretch while another VIP or, or ban runs. Another one for David. Let's see. Come on! You're gonna make me ban another per- Ugh. 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 Horrible. Terrible. David even has the artist badge. The artist badge! And now I'm here about to ban them. Terrible. Awful. Who would do this to their own artist? Me. Banned. For an hour. Oh no. Another one. Blank and chip. Alright. First, Poop Dog 412. As a redeemed VIP or ban. Let's see what happens. <laughs> ah! Another one. You're kidding me. Outrageous. Outrageous! Why do you put up with this? It's it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. I gotta uh, Poop dog 412. I'm so sorry. Thank you very much for watching the stream enough to save up all those channel points, but you're banned. You are now banned for an hour. I'm tossing people out of this chat left and right. Horrible. Just horrible. One more though. Op Jopper, thank you very much for the sub. Another one. Halo Dude has also redeemed VIP ban. Hold on, Blank and Chip has gotta to, gotta to roll the wheel. What's it gonna be?
Feed enough people into the wood chipper and eventually one of them's gonna jam it up and shut it down. Congratulations, uh, uh, congratulations, Blank and Chip. Incredible, beautiful, wonderful. Has actually been timed out once before. On, uh, what is this? December 5th, 2022? Wow. Long journey. It's been a long road. Getting from there to here. It's been a long night. But my time is finally here. Congratulations. It's your time. Except also there's another VIP or ban. The odds are published. Yeah, it's 80-20. It's, uh, ban VIP. Uh, the odds are in the... Uh, channel point redemption thing. All right, one more of the heavy here, man. Let's see what happens. <laughs> ah. Just had to take, had to take the sting out. Ah. Oh, you see your, your your noise meter. That's cool. All right, oof, oof. That's no good. So what what counts as a stealth attack? That doesn't. Maybe the meter has to be completely empty. Oh, blanket chip giving out subs now. Trying to make it look like you you just you bought it. That you bought yours. No, don't make it look like that. Thank you, blanket chip. But also, you're get, people ask questions here. You do that, okay? You know how that makes me look? Thank you. Also, I, okay, I gotta ban Halo Dudette. Halo Dudette is delightful. Um, always wonderful to have around. Utter tragedy here. Utter tragedy to do this. Oh, she, wait, what? <laughs> Utter tragedy. Just the worst. Digital Melancholy, thanks for gifting five subs. Terrible, just terrible. All right, I'm gonna, I gotta do it. Thank you for reminding me about giveaways, by the way. I need to do some more. I have some stuff to give away. Digital Melancholy, thanks for gifting subs. The people in chat banned it. Why are they coming in to check it out? Well, I guess he's gone. The people who've been banned, I'm sure appreciate that. Maybe they can hear us now. Maybe they're looking down on us, smiling. Nodding, hmm. Yes. Who won again? Blankenship did. Everyone else banned from the community for an hour. Cast out into the Badlands. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it now. If they are unalerted, the meter fills in from the left to the middle. If they are alerted, it drains out from... Or from the outside to the middle again, but it has to be... Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. It doesn't count as stealth if it's still draining out. It just can't fill up yet. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Stealth attack! Okay, I'm gonna farm this. I'm gonna farm this so hard. Uh, Black Mage, thank you for the sub. There are bad lands. Does that imply that there are good lands? Yes, you are in the good lands right now. Good lands is is Twitch chat, a cultured place for intellectuals. Thoughts on the game? Is it a buy? Mm. It's not going to be a hard game to recommend. I'll say that. You just I think have to be pretty clear about what the game does and doesn't do. Fila Yank, thanks for the thanks for gifting a sub. It's absolutely a game pass. If you have game pass, it's a no-brainer. Is it worth, no, is it worth getting game pass for? I mean, I think game pass is worth getting without this, but with this, oh man. You know what's interesting? Um, the prospect of this being on game pass or you associating playing it with game pass. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, it is the kind of game that if you get into, you would play for a very long time. YouTube chat is a cesspool. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of, of YouTube chat. I'm sure, I mean, it's probably gotten better now that a lot of the children have moved on to TikTok. Uh, 
But yeah, it's funny. I see a lot of that energy in TikTok comments now. People that just want to drive by, say something shitty, and like... It's just like drive-by shit. Shitting. A lot of that. Yeah, let me swallow a beer teeny. And a boom... No, no. I wonder if those... I wonder if those, um... Buffs overlap. I like how there's bigger food. Yeah. Superfood paste set. Mmm, num 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 num. You can have any kind of paste you want. Rice paste. Do you think it's fair to make comparisons with No Man's Sky? Uh, it's fair because they seem like they're being pitched as the same game, but they are not. Uh, it is unwise to make comparisons to No Man's Sky, but they asked you to do it <laughs> with how they pitched you the game. So, you can't fault anyone for doing it. But yeah, it is not No Man's Sky. Yeah, you can do it, but you shouldn't. They're not... <sighs> yeah, it's it's so weird. All the marketing for this, like the... the I, I kind of talked about this, and it's tough because this is it's very kind of fuzzy fuzzy stuff, subjective things, but it really does feel like they pitched the the mystery and magic of space travel as like the guiding spirit of the game, and it's it's really not. <laughs> that aspect is the least represented in the game. The guiding spirit of the game is uh, running around in space tinged environments, shooting and leveling. And You know, there's going to be like base building stuff, but I, I haven't like experience that yet. I also don't know that the space building stuff is gonna super appeal to me. But it might. That's so when you get meleeed you're like stunned. But you can't even move your you can't look around or do anything. So so bizarre. Space Skyrim is kind of a good way to describe it, yeah. Space Skyrim where you can customize your like horse drawn wagon. I'm sure it'll uh, it might get more grand than that. Space Fallout? Yeah, Space Fallout. Space Fallout. It's Space Fallout. Now, it, it'll probably have, like, way more quests than Space Fallout ever did. It has, it'll probably have, like, way more stuff going on. Is the tone closer to Elder Scrolls or Fallout? It's, it's closer to Fallout. So, what's weird is Fallout usually has, like, a, a sarcastic, sardonic, wry, self-deprecating sense of humor about it. Um, or I guess really more the, uh, the Black Isle slash Obsidian Fallouts did. And that got kind of ported over to Outer Worlds. Um, that wasn't really super present in Fallout 4. It, it was a little bit in 3, because I think they were trying to be closer to the, like, Fallout 1 and 2's tone. Um, this game doesn't have that. What's that? Oops. Ah, oh, shit. It's, it's a pretty, like, straightforward, gosh darn, Pollyanna type game so far. There's not a whole lot that's like... There's not a whole lot of dark humor in it, like, at all. I think it's meant to be very, uh, idealistic, sort of, about space and space travel. It's... it's the young adult fantasy version of, of space. But, uh, you know, maybe there's, like, seedy areas that I haven't been to. I don't expect them to have a lot of teeth. I don't expect to do any quests in this game that will make me think about really anything, but, again, maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just being way too uh, dismissive. I want the game to surprise me. But again, I don't think Bethesda is even trying to do that. I don't think that's their goal. They just want to entertain people. Solar punk. Since it's more optimistic. Yeah, solar punk, sure. Oh, yeah. That works for me. Legendary aim. It seems like once once they've been alerted, they're like way more hyper alert. Something. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some. 
UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I fetched up my ship, and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have a chance. I'm kind of surprised you can't, like, ping enemies or figure out where they are through walls or anything like that. It actually makes stealth kind of weird. Especially since enemies seem to, like, spot me right away across a room. I guess it is bright in here, but I don't think light matters. to try to min-max. Aside from the fact that I just want to do more stealth things. I want to be able to stealth melee, but it seems like you need ridiculous stealth abilities to even be able to sneak up on people. Ah. Got all these building blocks. Hehehehe. <laughs> Say that. I mean, there's just a lot to do, and I think I think it will do a pretty good job of letting you try to kind of track through these things yourself. So, like, you want to pick a research topic. You're like, I need these five things. You scan around for planets to find tungsten or whatever. You go get it, and you can kind of check the list off. List create sublists. Is the game good? Hmm. Yeah. The inflection in which I said that was important, by the way. It was in the delivery. Oh, can I... Why just that? Does it have a mod? Oh, here we go. I can't mod my knife? Bomber... Would you spend seventy dollars of your own money on it if it wasn't your job? Hmm. Hmm. Right now, with what's come out uh, in the past couple of weeks, probably not. Um, just for me and the kinds of games that I, I play and like. Um, I mean, any any other like given month of the year, probably. But I'm okay. So I'm also a huge dork for games. Uh, and. Spending 70 bucks on a game for, like, 70 bucks for this, really, for the amount of stuff that's in it. Even if it's, like, pretty surface-level stuff. Still really impressive. Can you kill the lights? No. Is it fun? Sure. You could be playing AC6 right now. I could. I could. AC6 is more my kind of game. But you know what? I was talking about baby games last time. And I was getting a little burned out, just getting like, oh god, Origin of Species is here? God. I was getting a little, a little burned out and salty at, a, at Armored Core. So, you know, uh, a game for every season. I could definitely see playing Armored Core for four hours, just getting bitterly enraged, and then sliding into Starfield for some no friction, ch like, chill times. It's a chill time simulator. Yeah. Um... I mean, their games have always been, like, you guys know. You guys know what this is. And that's what it is. Right? You said it's mostly a shooter. I was expecting a space RPG. Mmm. Well, it is, some of it is in space. It really depends what you expect when you say RPG. Uh, because it's kind of, mm, the term has gotten so vague. Uh, you get abilities that get better. Uh, meters go up. Skyrim in space, yeah. It's Skyrim in space. Skyrim with guns. Action RPG? Yeah, yeah. A little bit? A little, yeah. Let's see here. Chapter 1. Variation under domestication. Included as a rather incomprehensible list of varieties and of species. When we look to the individuals of the same variety or sub-variety of our cu older cultivated plants and animals, one of the first points which strikes us is... 
that they generally differ much more from each other than do the individuals of any one species or variety in a state of nature. When we, ref when we reflect on this vast diversity of the plants and animals which have been cultivated, and which have varied during all ages under the most different climates and treatment, I think we are driven to conclude that this greater variability is simply due to our domestication or our domestic productions having been raised under conditions of life not so uniform as, and somewhat different from, those to which the parent species have been exposed under nature. Boom. Is the dialogue interesting? No. Not for me. Uh, it's, it's basic and comprehensible. Which I think is what it's trying to be. It's dialogue for everyone. Boosted deep core space helmet. More oxygen? Okay. It's not trying to be... I should say it differently. The, the dialogue is not trying to be uh, profound. Or... Nah. Oh. Yeah. That's how that door opens? Okay. Weird. Not what I expected. Wacky doors. Okay, that was a, a dungeon. That was a Bethesda dungeon through and through, like a bunch of a bunch of building block rooms that are kind of stapled together in a kind of a logical flow. It didn't have like a story baked into it. Not that I found. Like there weren't like text logs of, uh, of like two researchers that are mad at each other. Maybe they were though. I didn't look around that much. Wait, wait. Oh, okay, that's right. I'm not on a planet. All right. Cock All docked up. The thing that's that's kind of baffling to me is you can just hit R and it'll like put you right where you need to go. Oh, we got Neptune. That's awesome. I want to go to Neptune. Cannot travel, your ship is docked. Oh. What? Okay, whatever, man. The game will do everything for me, but it really wants me to hit this button. Maybe it's because when you undock, they can like use that as a hook to spawn events, so they need you to do it. I'm sure they're sad to see you go. So, if you set course here... Set landing target. Okay, I guess you have to be there before you can go directly to the planet's surface. Otherwise, you have to warp into orbit around it first. Oh, five minutes? Five minutes until early access starts? Oh, it's almost time, everybody. Oh, I need to... Wait, you see that? There's a ship just drifting. What is Gurv? No time to take in the sights. Tell me what Gurv is. Gravity? Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. Gravity drive? Oh, like it, sp it spools up faster, maybe? Uh-oh. Ship out of the stars, he's dead, and our artifacts gone. We're going to have to board. Target the engines. Once they stall out, we'll have our chance. What the? What was that? Can't use this one combat. Ah, oh, come on. You can't take a poo. Well, hey there, irate pirates. Looks like you finally did it. Boarded my ship, scrapped my bot, ripped those beautiful brown eyes out of my adorably cherubic face. And then you discovered 
The guy you had pegged as a treasure hunter doesn't actually have any treasure. Not anymore. It's true. I may have had a pricey trinket or two when I waited you Sorry. Huh. Huh. So it just kills you in your ship. Huh, all right, all right. Wait, did you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. No, ah, uh, I don't like you doing that. If you stop shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. That's a whoopsie. Alright, now we're on our way. We blow that ship out of the stars, he's dead and our artifacts are gone. We're going to have to board. Target the engines. Once they stall out, we'll have our chance. So how do you target the engines? Is there a button to swap? Maybe it's because my engines are damaged. Are you... Yeah, this is space fighting. Whoop! Who can turn faster? Target. There's got to be a way to. Hold on. There's got to be a way to cycle sub subsystems or something. All right. Let's see here. What we got here? <laughs> Scanner repair. Select target. No? Toggle PV, flight modes, boosters. Maybe ship action? Ah, Michael, I was just lamenting descent free space because, uh, oh wait, it's a preview system? I think that's for uh, energy control. I think those are my systems. Yeah, that's for me. Um, yeah, because Volition shut down, very tragic. But yeah, descent free space was so good. Two, really. Uh, I always intended to play through two on stream because more people need to know the beauty of Free Space 2. It did so much for like the flight sim game in terms of storytelling and, and like interactive missions and stuff. Some things that even the Ace Combat series hasn't really done yet. Uh, there's like branching mission paths. You've broken their shields and likely their spirit. I mean, their GRV is broken. I just, I have to break their ENG engine? I can't like choose where to aim. Their arrow keys in The arrow keys change my systems. Maybe the one that I have is it the one that I have picked is the one that I'll target? Is that how that works? So I have my engine picked, so now is it going to shoot his engine? He's going to die. Oh. Huh? Oh. Uh. Eh? That what? Oh. Like, what? Alright, whatever. I don't know that I understood what just happened there. I thought it was going to die. Maybe the... When you have your... Uh, I'll figure that out. All right, Captain. I did it. Where are we That's the important next? thing. Do, 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 do. Alright. Stealthy. Let me bring out my stealth laser. 11 stealth laser shots. Somebody already heard me.
Now, I even figured out a way to get a uh, controller working with free space, and it was playing pretty well. as an Islam. I'm being mad stealthy. Oh, there's a door. Oh, I like that put chunky push button guy. That's a toilet. All right. Um. Is there another door out here? Oh, there is another door. Okay. Damn it. Staring right at me. Dumb. Hold on. I want to try to figure out how to do that. Maybe you're just not meant to stealth certain things. They're just staring right at the door. I mean, wouldn't you if you'd been boarded? Excellent point. Yeah, the shotgun sounds good. I like the sounds of the guns. It makes them fun to shoot. I wonder if he's gonna forget. No, this is on normal. I am thinking about upping it though. It's kind of weird that you can't see the full name of that. I don't know what that is. Deep mining space. Oh, it's a spacesuit. Yeah. Okay. All I had to do was actually read and think a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit. That's really all I had to do. Eh. Does Sarah never- oh, he's fine. Sarah never uses a suit unless you give her one. I don't know if you can. I don't know if it has like- I don't know if I can hey, reach her inventory. I need you to listen to me. Shut up. Members of Constellation are held to the highest regard, yet you persist on making poor decisions that reflect badly upon us. Because you're bending oh, she's so angry to help me right now. I'll stick by your side. But know that I don't approve of this behavior one bit. Not one bit. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Reaching a hostile ship and saving lives, and that kind of party. Now I know that kind of talk. You two marines? Constellation, actually. What? Seriously? Man, I've heard stories, but I had no idea you all were this dangerous. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. 
So, so wait, he's looking to the side, but she's staring straight at the camera. That's weird. That's even weirder than them both just staring into the camera. I don't want to say any of these things. It'll be better in our heads. Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Rock acquired. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Now kill him. Shoot him, no witnesses. You are, Captain. Sarah didn't like that. How come this yes, dude never follows me around? Immaculateness. What can I do for you? Oh, he does. He does want the thing. Something from me. He ho he holds up the knife like Riddick. Is just the if only you had two, so you could do. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. 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 He kind of does it. He, he knows. Come on, you gotta be like really up close to somebody. Do it again. Do it. Do it again. What? How can I help you? That was. Why isn't he doing it? Good talk. It'll be oh, there it is. Okay. It, but you always. I mean, mm, sort of? Yeah. It's got it. The knife has to be pointing the other direction, though. Uh, so it would be cool if you could flip it around. Modders. Modders. Mm, modders. Modders. I want to land on Venus. You can't land on an wait. You can't land on an ice giant, Bruh, It's ice. Mm. Mm. All right. Can you land on Uranus? All right. Let's find out. Wow. Set course to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Piggy, thank, thank you for the sub. I'm glad you like the VTuber avatar. Sarah Morgan is no longer angry with you. <laughs> you know, seeing Uranus, I wonder why we were fighting in the first place. Something about this beautiful view of Uranus makes me feel like we shouldn't be mad at each other anymore. Do, 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 do. You can't land on Uranus! Bullshit! I'm so mad. Boo. <sighs> so it's not just gas giants you can't land on. You can't land on ice giants either. So they have to basically be Roughly hospi like hospitable planets. They could have just made it blue. Yeah. Alright, I need to get rid of freaking Sarah. Where's my where's the next objective? Let's just get it done. Turn to the lodge. You gotta you crash into Uranus? You can't! I've scanned Uranus. That's it. That's all I can do, Starfield. Why does it say Ptolemon? What is Ptolemon? Is it like a different system? I'm gonna go there. All oh, right, grab drive is not powered. All right, 
that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Load into warp. Like it. Okay, it's a diff just a different solar system. This world is off limits. You are advised to jump to safe harbor immediately. Oh. Make me. You're not worth the paperwork. Now turn around and jump before you get yourself hurt. Okay, but only because I want to. Okay, yeah. There's like two solar systems collected together. Okay, yeah, okay, weird. Yeah, that menu took a little a little chunk to figure out, but I think I got it. This is basically Fallout Space Vegas. Uh I don't even know that I don't know that it's gonna qualify as New Vegas. It's got factions, but I, I doubt that the factions are going to have the level of, like, interconnection that they did in New Vegas. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. If anything, I expect it's going to be a lot more very isolated, independent quest lines. Um, but the writing will probably not be as quirky as New Vegas is either. Yeah, Fallout Space 4 is a little more apt, I think. It's the... well, no. The environments and the combat are already better than Fallout 4, but I care about as much about the characters and story as I did Fallout 4. Oh. Oh. Skill bonus required? Cool, I guess. We got the comic books. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. Nah. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Welcome to Constellation. I expected champagne. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? No thanks. I'm not sitting behind my desk no. for this. No, no thanks. These artifacts no. are a new chapter for Constellation, yeah. and I'm, I'm going to be out there for it. No, it's... And I want you out there as well. Sure, but you, you could... got results. We can go different... I need someone like you watching different my back. Different ships, though. I work better alone, Sarah. <laughs> so that's what it feels like. <laughs> Very good! Yes, yes, no! <laughs> But I'm not wasting you. Let's talk about more artifacts. First, there's an expedition. I love it when NPCs like burst in laughter like you just zinged them real good. And he knows it inside and out. <laughs> Jolly there's good, also yes. The eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier oh, from Argos we're actually matching eyeline to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. What? Okay. Bye. To go? Oh, love this. We've always considered ourselves explorers. This really is uncharted territory, isn't it? Sure. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. 75%. 100% more difficult. I really want to be able to just, like, crouch walk up to dudes and stab them with my Riddick blades. Oh, I need a pickpocket. There we go. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Constant.
isolation, the artifacts. That doesn't sound crazy, does it? Oh, okay, you can only get caught once? I hope you are. Satisfied. There are no crimes in the in this area too, which is nice. She needs to pick up something. Maybe if I put something in the Wait, can you not? You can't put items in them? Oh, you can't plant items? Can't pull the pin on a grenade and then tuck it in someone's pocket? Ah, oh, you can go to all their rooms? That's kind of cute. Give her items and then steal them? That's what I wanted to do, but I don't think you can uh, transfer items to NPC inventories anymore. Maybe to normal ones? Sir Livingstone's second journal. I heard tell from some of the old timers that although the Earth suffered its sad fate, that her faithful companion Luna fared much better. Apparently you can still find the remnants of one of the old Apollo missions. Ah, something of a secret rite of passage for chairs of the constellation if Banks was to be believed. During one of those rare interludes of calm while doing other research on Earth, I figured I could spare the time. I was, as they say, in the neighborhood. It took some serious scanning and a couple of false leads, but I found it. To walk in the same place as those earliest of interstellar explorers. Unbelievable what they achieved with such primitive technology. I found the whole experience moving. Inspiring. I will advise my successor to do the same. We'll make a proper tradition of it yet. Oh, that's good. I'm glad they marked it. I actually do want to go to do that. That sounds cool. Ugh. Well, I wanted to, but I hit the wrong button and then the opportunity to to follow it disappeared. All right, there we go. Ah, now that is a dorky, that is a dorky poster. Yep, just steal and cancel. Dress for the occasion, you know it. Todd Howard demands the best. Everyone here is worth learning from. Yes, even the kid. You see your hands and feet. No. Only when you go third person. Yeah. Oh, she's a party member, so you can't steal from her. Aha, uh -huh. Mamasa's diary? Seems like just yesterday it pulled into this exciting new organization, Constellation. It's 420 in Dubai. Nice job, everybody. We would push the boundaries of human knowledge and experience by exploring farther into space than anyone had before. For all into the star field. God, I was so young. We all were, but I was the youngest of us all. Now here we are, on the brink of disaster. The colony war may be over, but the settled systems seems to just be waiting for the next one. Exploration is now, at best, quaint, and at worst, irrelevant. Fortunately, and it was no small feat, I managed to put together a list of potential new members. Alright. Whiskey Alien. Thanks for the sub. Ooh, oops. Are those space goggles? I wish. I mean, they are on me, yeah. Sorry. Chronicles of Riddick. Because Riddick is cool. Oh, yeah. Face cam's off because it overheated again. The, uh... The SoCal heat wave is not completely gone. There it is. Thank you, Digital Melancholy. Maybe I need to add that. Wait, what? Bruce Green starfielded so hard he's literally speechless. What does that mean? How do you starfield the words out of your mouth? Downloaded the clip of Riddick TTS reading the copy pasta as an MP3. Now that's a good move. That's absolutely what must be done. What's tracking your face for your little avatar? Nothing! It's purely, uh, 
It's purely audio based. I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. Oh, Alex. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. You didn't ask for that. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. Well, this does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Oh, okay. Ah. He asked for permission to play on stream with minimal talking. Oh, poor Boose. Poor Boose. He's even doing a subathon. Aw. Poor Boosie. What terrible timing. Aw. Aw. I feel so bad for him. I'm sure he'd love to talk and share how much he's enjoying the game. I I guess that's what the vaudevillian aspects are. I lost my voice a couple of, Well, not really lost my voice, but yeah, I'm getting over a head cold too, so it's all messed up. Uh, let's see here. Don't overwhelm me with welcome now, I might never leave. Just a friendly jab. Small group like this, you'll learn more about everyone than you ever wanted to. Kind of all that family is, in a way. Like more than you'd ever want to know. Hello, kids are around, people. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. We got children's. No offense, but I'm not sure I feel comfortable taking a kid into danger. Too late. Been there, done that. That's enough. Oh, this kid's got sass. Look, Cora goes where I go. But it's not like I'm dragging her into every dark cave we uncover. Does he have a turquoise shark so tooth hanging from his neck? No. A Let's space tooth? This. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Jeez. Jeez. Not much. Anything that gets me out there works for me. I feel the same. You know, I always get antsy. Got belt buckle. The three and of us are heading to a straps for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. No, I haven't seen the Mario Wonder Direct. I do want to check it out. I'm excited for that thing. game. Artifact. So getting my bearings, let's head out later. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I wanted to steal. I don't think I can steal from him. Yeah, because he's not tech he's like a different class of NPC. Can't steal from the child either. Maybe, oh, I don't think the prompt shows up if you're detected, maybe. I hope you are satisfied with the court. Oh, Elephant Princess Peach? Nice. Yeah, the color grading here is weird. It's so, like, yellow and dingy. I don't know, this is like Gen 7 filter. Everything's, like, yellowy. I don't know why they made the, like, shining beacon of humanity uh, like that, but whatever. Uh, alright, let's see here. I gotta go to the moon. Has Bruce gone to Luna yet? I mean, the quests kind of take you there. They take you, takes you near there. Wow. That's pretty. Oh, you can see the Milky Way? Dog. Oh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Guess what? New celestial body. Bam. It's been a while. We've just been doing space stations and stuff. Shitting on Starfield hours? There's been mild shitting. Uh, okay. It, uh, it drops you right here. I mean, that's sick, but damn. I do kind of wish that you could like run a little bit to get it. All right. But you didn't count your anus? I didn't land on my anus. Wait a minute. It wouldn't let me le touch my anus. Your anus. Yeah. Salute, everybody. This is, this is, this is how Riddick salutes. He holds up his knife. Hmm. I like how there's cloth, cloth physics on the, on the flag. God bless you, America. Can you 
you steal the flag. It's not lootable, unfortunately. Wow. Thunder P Ball. Thanks for the sub. Hope you're having oodles of fun playing Starfield. I'm having a good time. I am. I am. What? Hey, a snow globe. Nice. Well, it's worth quite a bit of experience. Wait, what's that? There's another ship. Somebody else here? Un oh, there's a Stonehenge. Look at this. It's happening. I'm getting whisked away into the majesty of Starfield. Oh, you're starting up Starfield yourself? Nice, nice. Gotta dedicate the evening to the character creator, and then you're off to the races. Yeah, the Russians. Are there no vehicles? There are no vehicles. You cannot fly in atmosphere. There are no vehicles. You can run. You can jetpack. Whoosh. Uh, I think you get some movement abilities, too, if you level them up. There might be perks. I knew about the atmosphere, but no buggies, bikes. No. No. You got legs, don't you? <clears throat> Not even a rover. No. No. No wheels at all. Starfield is too advanced for wheels. Yeah, these boots are made for walking. You don't need all those nutrient cubes for nothing. Get to moving. didn't reload. Alright. I do like the, the synthy warbling going on. So can I take this? Can this be mine now? Do I... Oh, ramp's on the other side. I'm not on hard mode, no. Just tombstone. Yep, Thrill House. There's loading screens for everything in this game. Every ship is a loading screen. Um, every building is a loading screen. I love visual. I don't think they can see me through the little window there. Uh oh, oh! I should have let them. Should have let them uh, reset. Oh, this okay. This should be fine. I'll just close them up in there until they they get over it. I'm gonna. I have a yogurt. I'm gonna go grab a yogurt. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm glad that the AI forgets.
Uh oh. Show yourself. <laughs> no. No. Oh. All right. Oh yeah, I wanted to make a ship that was like a giant DVD case of Chronicles of Riddick. And I wonder if Todd's beautiful vision of space will let me do that. So there's just a ship, or just a room up here? Okay. Yeah, I'm on a uh, enemy ship right now, which I think I can take over. That wasn't a sneak attack? I could do that in AC6, yeah. With the emblem maker, probably. on a planet or grab jump to another star system they're becoming your home ship oh they just jump right over huh all right yeah you can steal ships i'm definitely going to come back to this or this ship nick siciliano thank you very much thank you for calling me the best streamer numero uno no contest you know, I thought so. I wanted to say something. But it doesn't sound great when you say it. Or when I say it. I meaning you. Meaning I. Do ships have stats? Yes. Kind of. Yeah, they have like weapons and engines and all those things that matter. Helium is here somewhere. Wait. Where was the Stonehenge? Ah. What? An outpost beacon. What does that do? What? Did I Hold on. I'll pose. Play. Well, e. 
I wanted you to build objects and structures. Oh, okay. Outpost objects are built from items and resources. Mmm, okay. Extractors. Powered switch. Build a moon base. With mannequins. Finally, someone to listen to me talk. Impressive view. John Madden. Oh, just FYI, I will be doing another giveaway in a second here. I want to check out this, uh, this, uh, Stonehenge. Also, I think I can turn my camera back on. I'm sure it's cooled off by now. Hmm. You regen O2 when you're floating. I guess you don't go as fast as me. No, it seems like you go about as fast. Do your real head have Riddick glasses and a helmet? Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no. My real head is just floating here. Sweaty. Eating yogurt. Any hot takes yet? Uh, not really. I think uh, my hottest take is the most predictable one, which is that I was right. <laughs> I think the uh, the trailers oversold the game and people were getting a little worked up on an experience that they weren't even remotely just promised or, or an experience that wasn't demonstrated by the gameplay video. Um, this is... They tried their hardest to like really upsell this experience, and they did. the The direct was really, really good in that regard, but not not super faithful or representative of how this game actually plays. Yeah, the direct was great, but I I was getting frustrated because it was like they weren't showing you anything, um, and it turns out because the game couldn't do all the things that it didn't show you. Does green green means they're good guys? I think. Which means I can pickpocket them. Excuse me? Hey, hey fuck it! Stop! Back. stop. <laughs> Come here. That's it? Oh, okay. It was just some people and stuff. Yeah, it was a pile of sandwiches. I mean, I, re I remain pretty, uh... Pretty unchanged from my opinion that a pile of sandwiches is cool, but not all that impressive. Uh, and also has been done before. Oh, God, chill out, bro. Yeah, space theme Fallout. That's what it is. It's a little more than that, so far. Well. doesn't play like the direct. The combat skills in spaceflight seem the same as they showed then. They are. They are the same as they showed. Yes, I agree. Except the thing that I saw and that everyone else saw seemed to be wildly different. People saw a lot in that direct that wasn't shown. 
Which to me is the really weird thing, but whatever. All right, let me, wait. I have to run back to the ship? Cause yeah, it's not my home ship yet. Oh boy, yeah I do. Okay. Well, while that's happening, let's do another giveaway, huh? I gotta turn on the overlay here. Oh, let me turn my camera back on. Let's see if it'll turn back on. Have you unlocked a jetpack? Yeah. It doesn't uh, do a ton. There it is. What are you giving away? I haven't decided yet. But I got some things. And let me tell you, there's some things. Hey, there I am. See? Let me, uh... <sighs> Goodbye, Space Riddick. For now. For now. Space Riddick will be back. <clears throat> and now, this means... Okay. Uh... This is, uh... This is a bit of an odd giveaway. But... Star... This is, uh... You'll never find another stream... Alright? On the internet that'll give you a... Cold brew infuser for free. Uh, it's really good. It's a little bit broken, but it still works. Uh, I also got a newer one, so I'm giving this one away. I've used it. You can have cold brew out of the same container that I have. Yes, I know, me. Incredible. How do I do it? How can I get away with it? So if you want to make your own cold brew, and it's really easy, I can even tell you how. Type in brew! Oh, hold on. Brew. Brew is what you want. Brew. Just put brew in chat, and it should pick it up. I don't know if it has to be the first and I don't know if it can be anywhere in the word. I think it, or in the message. I think it can. Mm-hmm. It is different from French press. Um, so cold brew, you just grind up beans, you put them in the center container or the center like infuser there, fill the rest with water. This one you can like, you should give it a little shake because it actually was like sealed to the top, I think. Yeah, give it a shake or two, get the water all infused in there and then you let it sit for 24 hours in your refrigerator. And guess what? You got cold brew. That's it. You're done. French press, um, you uh, basically mix the grounds with boiling water in a carafe. And then you push a, a mesh down on top of the, the mixture to push all the grounds to the bottom. Uh, and then you pour the coffee out the top. French press produces very strong, very flavorful coffee. You typically don't want a big volume of French press because it'll it'll jazz you up. What are we typing brew for? To win this cold brew coffee infuser, which is I used and have a, a newer one now. So. so there you go. All right, let's 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 draw it, huh? Let's draw who wins the cold brew infuser. It's Evan Almighty. Congratulations. Ba -na -dun -dun -na. Ba -da 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 -da. Just update my records. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism, a space. A space. Okay. You're about two and a half seconds away from eating a knuckle sandwich. Step off. Step off. Uh, let's do another one. All right. The next fabulous prize is this. Warhammer 40K Space Marines Adult Intercessors and paint set. I got sent this as part of uh, Warhammer Skulls, which is really cool. 
So if you want to get into Warhammer, you can make your little mans and you can paint them. Now, if you want to win this, uh, hold on. Why do they call it oven when you have in the cold food? I've not had eat the food. Duwani, thank you for the sub. All right, if you want this, you got to type in Empra. Empra. E M P R A H. Empra. And I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you guys the glory of chair cam. Actually, here, I will throw it to Media Tech for this giveaway. Uh, it'll The giveaway will still be running. Don't worry about it. But I'm going to use the restroom real quick. So please type in chat if you want to win the Warhammer 40K Adult Intercessors Space Marines and Paint Set. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Wombat, what's this giveaway for? For this, a Warhammer uh, Space Marine set. I really wish Starfield would play music when it's out of focus. Oh, crap. Oh, fuck. I clicked the wrong thing, and it ended it. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, one more time. Emperor, sorry, sorry, do it again. You gotta do it again. Benny and I watch our weddings, waiting for the time when the fire goes. Sorry, sorry, the little X was right there. Happy birthday, little. Whoa. How long is it going to argue? My daughter already told me about you, and it seems you're having difficulty in believing her. <laughs> Do it for our family, Shane. Our race is just beginning. <laughs> Rick, did, did, did. Yes, it is me. Let's get him to steal. Hey, Dungris, are you exited for Arc 1.5? Arc of Survival Send it is a new Engine 5 remake of the original Arc game introduced in the Rule and Enhancement March of the Nintendo 23 on Super Vitae Comma Bintana Dittitititana Dissidentititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititit
because then you'll have my DNA. It's also my favorite spoon. The very best, most favorite spoon. Oh yeah, I forgot I have like Call of Duty gummies. Hold on. Check this out. Call of Focus. Classics Ultra Live Rosin. With caffeine and vitamin B12 for energy and concentration. Sour limeade loadout. I gotta drop a few of those, baby. Really get into space. Mm. I thought it was a drink or a powder. Now, oh, that reminds me though. That's the other reason I wanted to turn on my webcam. Hold on, I got something to show you guys. No, I haven't seen the Mario Wonder Direct yet. I'm, I'll probably watch it after I finish streaming. I do like Nintendo's 2D Marios. I'm really glad they still make them. <laughs> That's such a good emo deckage. Oh, Nick the Professor has redeemed a new card pack and a single trading card. Excellent. Excellent. We got everything going on right now. I love it. All right, let's... Let's do it. Hold on. Get that bag money. Oh, boy. I'll fix that in a minute. Um... It's still going on. It's still there. Oh, what? Oh, 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 there we are. Okay. <clears throat> God, I just need to turn on other music. There we go. Oh, it's like upside down. Let's do that. There we go. Okay, uh, now that that's all set, I'm just gonna... We'll be back to Starfield in just a moment. But this silence is killing me. And there we go. Alright, first of all, let's draw who wins the bag. Who's got it? Ooh, drive right past left. An elegant name. Oh, I did, the, I drew during an ad, but... I mean, that's not gonna affect who won or not. Just whether or not they saw if they won. Congratulations, drive right, pass left. Okay. All right, that'll that'll handle the giveaways for now, except for the card I'm about to give away. All right, now uh, I have a lot. I have a weird stacked card drawing mechanic for the stream. It started with um, growing up, I guess, living in the 90s at all, and, and being a child at that time. I just came into possession of trading cards of all kinds, because there were just trading cards for everything. There was the Pokemon before Pokemon. Uh, and my mom, for some reason, found these in my room and decided to save them for me. So I was like, what, what, do I, what am I going to do with that? So I decided to start giving them away as channel point rewards. Now, here's the thing. Sadly, my, my card bag started running a little thin. So to beef it back up, I did what anyone would do, and I bought a bulk of random eBay card or random trading cards off of eBay. So now I have a sack of uh, random packs of cards, and there's a new point reward to open a new pack at random and get one card from it. So that's what's about to happen. 
Except I have to add the Final Fantasy 14 Dawn of Hero trading card games into the card sack. So here's the card sack. It's filled with all kinds of packs of trading cards. Uh, I'm gonna slosh my arm around in there and pull out a random pack and we're gonna open it. What's that? Boom. Oh, good draw. Mighty Morph Power Ranger Season 2 or Series 2. Premium trading cards. Excellent, excellent, excellent draw. You should be very proud. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Power, five Power Rangers cards, one trading card, or er, uh, plus one power cap. Oh, it's got a pog? Oh, no way. How do I decide what the giveaway is? Yeah, this track goes hard. Love this track. All right. Power cap. Wait, what? Ew. Globe? It's just nothing. It's nothing. You can't just make one for a globe. That's just a piece of the set. That's like having a pog for cup or shoe. 14 of 50. They got all, they got to 14 and we're already out of ideas. Like, well, we have 13 characters. What are we supposed to do? Oi. All right, anyway. Pog it. Now the deal with the cards is, you only get to see the back if it gets one. So there's an Earth, there's all these amazing scenes from Power Rangers we all remember. Billy's volcano. Uh, oh, awesome. All right, so now here's the problem. I'm gonna smoosh these all up and pick something at random for Nick the Professor to win. But that might also be the Pog, I guess? I don't know, I don't know how to do this. It's this, whatever this is. Ooh, you got the, the Elvis suit. Excellent. All right, now the rest go into the bag. That was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good one. Pretty high value card. All right, what do we got on the back here? Swivel hips. Bulk tries on an Elvis outfit for the costume party and throws his back out when he tries to swivel his hips. Power quiz. What city is the capital of Massachusetts? Secret coded answer. 12, 15, 19, 20, 15, 14. Code number equals equals letter in the alphabet. There's so much going on in the back of this card. Power Rangers word puzzle. Clue communications device. Fun stuff. Nitwit. Did you hear about the kidnapping down the street? No, what happened? Not much. After a while, his mother woke him up. <laughs> That's good stuff. All right, well, congratulations, Nick the Professor. Congratulations. Okay. All the records have been updated. There we go. <sighs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for your patience there. I think we're ready to get back to Starfield. I think. Back there. Fold away that camera. There we are.
Yes, back to the Tataverse. Did you really think you could escape the Tataverse? Yeah, camera's working for now. Let's see how long it lasts. Did you really think it would be that easy? Ooh, I keep thinking, maybe I should read. It feels like tab should be scan mode, not F. Can you tell Microsoft to let me download this game quicker? I'll try. Yeah, Microsoft download speeds are usually quite fast, but last night they were slow. And yes, chubby guy, this is max settings. Why am I looking? What's going on over there? You okay? Oh, nope, okay, he's done. What is your objective at the minute, or at the moment, excuse me? Uh, stealing this ship. I technically already stole it, I just have to go back to it and take off in it. So does that, I wonder if your entire ship inventory transfers over as well, it seems like it does. <clears throat> How's the game so far? It's fine, it's fine. They have done a good job in refining down their their shooting mechanics and and uh, other lesser interesting things. I haven't done any base building yet, but the dialogue's nothing to write home about. The exploration aspects are nothing new, truly nothing new. Um, the variety of planets you can go to and just the like the ease at which you can slip into a narrative. That is, you know, not not profound, but it's still neat, I guess. Something to do. There's space-tinged lists of things to do. And those things are pretty fun. I got a hovercraft. Yep, yeah, far less bugs than every other uh, Bethesda launch to give it credit. I don't know that it deserves credit for hitting, like, the stability marks that most games hit when they launch. But yes, it's not as bad as Bethesda launch, launches usually are. Then again, it's on way fewer platforms and also had like a full extra year. So yeah, sure. But yes. <sighs> yeah. It, uh, yeah. So your new home ship, to retrieve ships in your fleet that you've left behind, go to a ship services technician on any major city via the ships you own. From there, you can cycle through your ships in the fleet. So make your ship. Okay, that's pretty easy. Now, uh, here's what I am curious about. It's everything in the cargo hold. It looks like it, yeah. Okay, it transfers everything over. Is the cargo hold... Oh, the cargo hold is not infinite. That's really interesting. Hmm. It's just name, value, and weight. I, hmm. It would be nice if, like... I guess I can just get those things out, but, like... I guess it would be nice if the... Yeah, the resources you picked up had their own class or something, so you could just dump them in. Or just any kind of crafting resource. Damn it, did I just put... Ah, oh, whatever. Jettison? That's cool. <laughs> Oh wait, it, wait, hold on. What am I saying? Yeah, there's a, there it is. Just click on this and then store all resources. God, it's that simple, okay. The exact thing I wanted is right there. Do I have to read that? I just have it in my inventory. Mm -hmm. I have stolen bullets. Okay. 
Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put those in the ship. And then I'm gonna jettison, <laughs> jettison them into space. There. Crime removed. Just like Riddick. <clears throat> okay, got a new ship. Neat. Uh, what is EM? Par EM missile. Is there, there must be a way to see like ship stats. Ship. No. How can I see what my ship has on it? I was hoping you would like the game. Fine is sad to hear, but understandable. Eh. It's not bad, but it's not it's not profound. Uh, I have, I mean, uh, I hate, to, I've played a lot of games. And I guess expecting something like new and, and impressive from Bethesda is probably a, like unfair. Because they don't make those games. But they did kind of try to pitch this game as being that, which it's totally not. Oh yeah, there's like another resource here somewhere. But yeah, it was just a little, eh, a little tiresome to sit through all the like directs and and ads that pitch it as being way more than it, it truly is. But it's, it, what it is isn't bad. It's just not religion. <laughs> It's not a new way of, of living. And I don't know what it is about Bethesda games. But people both convince themselves that that's what it'll be, and then they convince themselves that it's totally fine, that it's not that, too. Let's see here. All right, fine. What do you want now? Artifacts on the fringes of space. So many activities. I don't know. I guess I'll do that. Yeah, it's a Bethesda RPG with space flavor. Mm -hmm. Do we have any fun NPCs? Not really. The one that I think they want to be fun is just pretty tryhard. The like the fan. Um, the British lady just scowled at everything I did. I guess uh, we got Space Cowboy. He seems like he's meant to be a, a cool one. What does that icon mean? So if the temperature is deep freeze, does that mean you can't land there? Type ice. Type rock. Maybe it has to be rock type. Let me see. Maybe I can land on Titan. What do you think makes a game like this different from New Vegas? Uh, writing, complexity of quest structure, reactivity of games and NPC, or the ability for NPCs and quest structures to react to what you do asynchronously of like the game's scripted story events. So doing things out of order and then having the game react to it. Uh, solving problems outside of, of dialogue structures or canned combat areas. Um, implicit writing. Things where like you, you read notes and and the environments around a quest to find information about how to about different ways to solve the uh, the quest itself. Okay, so you can land here. New planet. Now I'm here. Welcome to New Homestead. Please make your way to the building at the end of the path and down into the colony below. Stay safe and enjoy your visit. There's like markers for everything, which is really interesting. Yeah, I'll go back to Baldur's Gate 3. Absolutely. 
But yeah, the the prevalence of loading screens is is a lot. They're fast. Thank God they're fast. But man, what I what I said when I watched the direct is still true. That it's a bummer. There's just it really like there's no new technical boundary being overcome. Oh, that's not a load. Okay. Sounds like there's an elevator, but yeah, arriving on new planets is very anticlimactic. Yeah. The stuff that Todd Howard said about people not caring about ships taking off and landing is 100% bullshit. They just couldn't get it to work. It's an important feature, and it would have added a lot to the game. New homestead is people that say it's not, like maybe it doesn't matter to them, but like when I play No Man's Sky or Elite or Star Citizen, 100% every single time I take off or land, it's awesome. And that's a big portion of why I play. So when they started like saying that like, oh, it doesn't matter, it's not important, I was like, okay, like, what you're saying is true, but you're not saying it the way you should. You should say it doesn't matter for this game because it's not that game. And it's not, but they tried to say it was. They wanted you to think it was. My daddy says farming is really important, but I kind of want to do other things. Hello, I'm not really supposed to talk with tourists, but I kind of want to anyway. And. I don't think my papa is She's looking dead. up at m my face, him, but I'm looking at her like eye level. So the the fact that the conversation camera is locked in front of the NPC is super weird. <laughs> she got she got the tremble lip too. I don't think I will, not unless he asks. Oh. I guess that's okay. I wouldn't want to make you lie. My mama always tells me it's not good to lie. Hmm. Now what should we talk about? I just, I'm talking to a random child. There are a lot of other kids at New Homestead. Not really. There's some though. Most are around my age. We all go to school in the same room. Is the school here? Why do I care about... No, I don't. Let me know if you have any other questions. I don't. It's cool. I want, actually, let me see if I can pickpocket that child. Where did... Where did the baby go? I must steal from the baby. Talk to Joyce about these brownouts. Yes. Speak with Joyce. What? Do, oh, that was what the kid was telling me about. See, like everything gives you gives you a waypoint. It's it's like this. So this is the Elden Ring for people that like Skyrim style questing, which is like everything's tracked. Everything has a diamond on top of it. There's a million things to do, and they're all kind of like like oh okay. Zero percent on that rip shank. Hey, Jerry. How's it going? We used to get more tourists than we do these days. Yeah, I've been doing very well. I mean, it's it's hot. It is super hot today, but. Fumble, I have already tried to stab a child. They don't let you. Or rather, nothing happens. You can't hurt a kid. Look around, but don't touch. Can uck poutine. Can you start butchering folks and say, fuck it, uh, I'm a bad guy? You can start butchering folks, but there's not a ton of reactivity to it apart from that. So. When I landed in the first major city, I tried to stab a child in the face. Uh, and then just like the guards went crazy like you might expect. Um, and then I just started running around and stabbing them all to death as like a level two dude with a, with a knife. We take that so, seriously here. You do not mess with history. Um, the thing is though, NPCs or uh, civilians just kind of run out of the zone. They just like sprint to a transition area and fade away. 
and then the guards just shoot you and die. And so generic guards are just around. Every time you kill a guard, your bounty goes up. That's about it. Sarah didn't like it. That's true. She gave me she gave me an earful about how I shouldn't be mean. But um, I think it's just bounty stacks up, and that's kind of it. When I went to the next story area, all the NPCs there didn't care or react to that at all. Uh, and you can't, like, you can't attack anyone in that area either. So the, like, story critical characters are, are protected. You know, welcome to Chunks. Looks like Chunts, if you... Huns. Did you know the museum? Maybe it's just me that all Oh well. Nice. Don't bother me. I'll be in here for 24 hours. Aw, oh, you can't. Aw. Oh. Lame. Ugh. This colony is. Yeah, I haven't gone to space jail yet. Oh, I like this guy. Star Sap now we might be cooking. Sap tours. Let me tell you, this place is full of history and interesting facts. For instance, did you know that New Homestead was one of the first colonies established outside of Earth? It's been populated in some capacity for over 200 years. That's incredible. I had no idea. Yes, sirree. And that's not science fiction. It's science fact. There's a lot more history where that came from. So what do you say? I've got an opening. I could take you on a tour right now if you'd like. What are your thoughts on the Creation Engine 2 so far? It's better than Bethesda's last game. But it's like... Doesn't hold a candle to other modern games, which is how it's always been. <clears throat> Some aspects are almost as good. Like, it's, it's terrains and it's exterior landscapes and it's exterior lighting look really good. It's interiors look pretty good. Uh... Excellent! You won't regret it! My tours are one of a kind! <laughs> Now there's just the matter. The character models are better. The going rate for a genuine Star Sap tour is only 100 credits. I have... I have, like, I don't get some of the artistic decisions. There's a, there's an expressive cartooniness to all the NPCs that doesn't seem to match the, like... It tries to be this sort of, like, desaturated, as, like... The game is pretty sterile. <clears throat> it's trying to be astronaut sterile. But then the characters are kind of, like... Kind of goof goofified in the way they look, but not the way they act. This is, I mean, this guy is the goofiest person I think we've run into. Sure. Great. Let's get this show on the road, eh? Yeah, tone is kind of, the tone is consistent in that it's, it's, it tries to be universally reverent of space. But. Oh, here's the brochure. Visit historical new homestead and take a comprehensive genuine star sap tour. Learn about the early days of humanity's ventures into space. See how people lived in the colonies of yore. Speak and interact with the traditional Titan citizens experiencing early colony life. Explore the frozen surface of Titan. I want to do that. Base was finished in 2130. Follow me. We'll come back here by the end of the tour and talk about the museum collection. Excellent. But first, let's go see where people live. Now remember, these people aren't actors. They actually live here, so try to be respectful of that. While the original inhabitants of the Titan Astro Base lived in pods like you saw up above, they transitioned down here when this section of the base was finished in 2144. Space is extremely limited, so you'll notice some overflow here, but more residences also exist on lower levels, which are inaccessible to tours. I'll and stop at around. each of our destinations and we'll walk around. Or if you have any questions for me. <laughs> Make that noise again, child. Bah, 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 bah. I want to pickpocket Bill Starsat, but this high energy child is staring directly at me. 
there he goes. Oh. Oh. Damn it. My freaking. Oh, he's coming back. My cough drops were on my mouse. I couldn't get there in time. Ugh. <clears throat> Do you have a spaceship? I want to get a spaceship, but I'm older. They're so cool. I kind of want... I can't wait to go with... Ah! It's a torch. Energy. I want to run around. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, yeah, finally, finally finding the weird stuff. Another tourist. Just do me a favor and stay out of trouble. It's hard enough dealing with our own. Pickpocket! Stop! You're making things harder for your- Great! Another tourist. <sighs> Let me guess. You slipped on the ice and need a doctor to wrap your sprained ankle? <laughs> uh. Uh. -huh. Mm. As long as I don't exit this dialogue, everything's fine. I love them all running in the background. Uh. Is it difficult being a doctor in such an old-fashioned community? Even though we don't have shiny new medical facilities, I imagine it's easier than wherever you're from. We have fewer people here, and we're very responsible when it comes to our personal health and welfare. No worry, I'll wait. Much I can't handle. For anything else, we can get access to off-world specialists. Contrary to popular belief, we're not primitive. Are there any dangerous hazards to worry about on Titan? harsh world, but as long as you're inside or wear a suit when going out... What is this going to do for my tour? Here. There's no breathable air on the surface and you'll quickly freeze to death outside without protective gear, but otherwise the hazards are minimal. New Homestead was an early colony research base and has stood the test of time. It's safe and it's proof that people can live pretty much anywhere. Halt! You violated the law. I need help, Doc. Okay. I'll take a look at you. Well, it doesn't look too bad. This should be nice and easy. Everything okay? Heal my wounds. You see security. Uh oh. You're under arrest. Why am I on the ground? Special orders. You're coming with me. Prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. Okay. Well, if there's one thing Riddick is excellent at doing, it's escaping from jail, and he knows that. You gonna tell me what's going on here? I've been authorized to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Uh -huh. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. What about my ship? We have orders to transport you and your vessel to your final destination, the UC Vigilance. Any deviation from those orders on your part will be considered an act of hostility and will be met with aggressive force. All I did was... Never mind. Smart Take me. Decision. I kind of want to see where this goes. Transferred. Yeah, I don't know if this is crime based. Deep cover. Undergo the interrogation. I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts the criminal. Seems like the character is not voice acted, no. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. But like, there wasn't a sequence of you getting transported on a ship or getting dragged to this ship, getting handcuffed. Maybe you just load into the chair. <clears throat> this is the most Bethesda thing so far. Random quest grabbing you out of nowhere. I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. 
There's nothing to discuss. Or no, wait. This doesn't look like the local jail. Hmm. Highly perceptive. Let me add that to your list. He knows of what skills. jails are. Speaking of which, you feel this game is worth hundred dollars for me to play it tonight. I, I can't tell you what a hundred dollars is worth to you. Um, because it's all down to how much this tickles your fancy and how much disposable uh, money you have. Now, like, with all the games that are out, and all the cheap games that are out, and all the games that have come out this year, it seems unlikely, just compared to the value that other games offer. Uh, but, you know what? If, if you want to... <laughs> is this quest based on background? Oh, was it? I wasn't paying attention. I should have been. Let's just get to the point. I will. Is this is about when my background being a Ronin. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what It is not on PC Game Pass right now. If you have Game Pass, you have to buy the $35 premium upgrade that allows you early access. <clears throat> I honestly don't care. Yes, well, this is your only opportunity to keep yourself out of jail. So I suggest you change your attitude. UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they mm. handle the big picture stuff. You want it to be cross-platform. a very particular problem. In what way? Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you and the There's no multiplayer. It can't- it is on PC Game Pass if you buy the upgrade. I'm playing it on PC. Through- through the Xbox app, which is how Game Pass would distribute it. Oh, and then I can play it on my PS5 way. Ah, yes. It, it does not do that. It is not that kind of cross-platform. Let's see here. I don't like where this is going. I don't remember asking how you felt about anything. That's a good response. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. We barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, <laughs> we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. This sounds personal. It doesn't matter how I feel. I'm simply doing what's best for the security of the United Colonies. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sistev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Doesn't sound like much of a choice. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? Riddick's got to go undercover to get from to keep from getting thrown in the cooler again. Can you can you put this off? I wonder. You aren't leaving until I have oh, okay. An Any other autumn games you're looking forward to? Oh yeah, I mean Phantom Liberty's coming out soon. Um, Alan Wake Two. I'm looking forward to Modern Warfare 3 just because I want to play through every Call of Duty campaign before it comes out. That's my goal. That's my next stream project. Uh, there's a couple other games that are coming out soon. Sea of Stars just hit, and that looks really cool. It'll be a while before I think I can get around to it. You got me looking at releases now. Baton Kaitos 1 and 2, of course, of course, of course. Of course, of course. Assassin's Creed Mirage looks interesting. I'm willing to give it a shot. Um, oh, World of Horrors. Oh, PS5. Okay. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 could be really cool. The Metal Gear Solid Remaster looks cool. Another Like a Dragon. <laughs> like a Dragon Guidance coming out. And yeah, Mario. Yeah, there's still a, a handful of really interesting games coming out the rest of this year. No dual blades yet. I'm in. Smart choice. 
I assume Phantom Liberty is free? Strongly what? That you don't give him any the the update, the 2.0 update is free. I think you'll find but it's an expansion. Area is fully you have to buy it. It's paid. Arcane, what the fuck? Do you th what do you think you should get for free? All right. It's an expansion. What are you? There, there is an update that is free. You are getting free stuff. Gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? There's a 2.0 update that adds a lot of stuff, and yes, it's free. But the expansion, <laughs> the new video game content, you have to pay for. <clears throat> Yeah, Phantom Liberty is 30 bucks. Also, I think uh, this is worth mentioning because I also have an affiliation with, or I have a, what is the word? I'm a good old games affiliate uh, and they're doing their autumn sale right now. Right. So if you're curious about it, I think they're selling a bundle of Cyberpunk and the expansion for $50, $60. Uh, they're doing, yeah, so that and a lot of other. Ah, thank you. Uh, just FYI. That that link right there is an affiliate link, so it'll it'll basically like track that I referred you there, and then I get six percent of uh, of everything you buy. It doesn't make anything more expensive. I'm just trying to be ho wholly above board about how that works. Yeah, I get a kickback, but honestly, like I said, I like to send people the good old games to buy games that are like five dollars. So it doesn't really matter. I just want I want people to play good video games. And I kind of philosophically support good old games. The GOG ad track site is down. Wait, what? Like it doesn't link through? Oh, come on, you. All right. Well, just GOG.com. Wait, no, it loaded for me. Oh, okay. So 2077 by itself is is 30. And yeah, that'll that'll get the 2.0 update soon, which will add a lot more stuff. I guess proper police chases and a bunch of other, like reworked uh, skill trees, I think. Oh, 404, I got linked through. Hmm. Bummer. Might just be my phone's DNS pop, or, hmm. Yeah, maybe. Right, it was tracking my other quest. All right, this is as far as I go. Kind of looks like Junk Lot. Up to Ops, Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Oh, Outer Worlds and its expansion pass are on Humble Bundle right now. If anyone cares, fantastic game, incredible expansion, absolutely worth buying. How Bethesda is this game? Hundred percent. Howdy. Do what Commander Ikande says, and you'll go far. It's not as janky, so maybe more like 70%. Look at that splay. Due to spread. Authoritative sp sprawl. Let's see. Can't pick bucket. All right, fine. Hello. <clears throat> ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level Sweaty, of cooperation, you can't really see it. I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center, dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. <laughs> impressive ship, but I don't see where I fit in. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. It takes more than finesse to catch the attention of a pirate. It certainly does. So listen up. 
Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Do you feel the mechanics were carried over from Skyrim to Starfield have been improved or upgraded? Well, it's more like Fallout 4 to this game. Ooh. Morrissey, thanks for the sub. Um, the gunplay feels better. I, I think they think they're making as close to the perfect game as they can. Faces look more human? Uh, I don't I wouldn't say more human. They're more expressive. They animate a little bit better. The the lighting and, and You were saying you have permission to speak. And visuals look better. Again, yeah, mm, maybe I don't quite remember what like Fallout 4 NPCs looked like. Yeah, they do look better. <clears throat> yeah. Doesn't sound like an ironclad plan to me. Well, it's hey, what's the up, best Ferret King? Point. Once you block your way into the Crimson Fleet, oh no, the AI is not good. Evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Point the way, I'll get it done. Eager to get going. Good. Remember. This entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I'm just doing this for the money. Fine. Whatever gets the job done. Is the Look, game at least Liddy? Before you begin, no. I want to make something perfectly This game clear. is not Liddy. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. I can't make any promises. Oh no, wait, that's- this is the more Riddick line. I don't exactly do well following rules and regulations. Well, you better learn quick. Otherwise, I'll start looking for someone to take your place. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. Dismissed. Yes? Yes, yes. what? What? I miss the sun, Janice. Lieutenant Tom. Once I get time off, you have your that's the first place I'm jumping. Operations does good work. If any fleet are setting up Lieutenant outposts Tops is out as there, organized as they come. it's only a matter of time. You can be sure she'll keep our T's crossed and guns loaded. Okay. Hello. I think they, they locked the camera to prevent you from doing stuff like this. All right. <laughs> Never mind. We have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? So basically, you want me to steal from thieves. Rationalize it however you like. But that evidence is critical to the success of Commander Akande's operation. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. <clears throat> Sounds like I touched a nerve. It's not you. It's the Crimson Fleet. That I'll see you, Luke. Thanks for watching. What with them on Bacterra was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. I've seen my fair share of violence. Oh, wait, no. This is even better. I'm no hero. I'm just here because I had no choice. I was hoping that you'd be inspired into thinking this is more than a punishment. It appears that I was wrong. I suppose we'll simply have to motivate you in a different way. 
Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. Credits. Now you're speaking my language. Commander Akande came up with the idea. He was concerned you might not help us simply because it was the right thing to do. All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. Oh, you get to do a drug deal? For launch, That's fun. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Let me know if you need anything else. <clears throat> Hello. Back in basic training, I had the record for fleet kills. You're playing Vin Diesel again? If so, which one? Uh, Riddick. <laughs> A combination of Riddick and Todd Howard. Hold on. Take that off. Oh, he's got a hat on right now. Let's take that chunks cap off. There we go. <laughs> so bad. Excuse me. Hey. He looks like the Zuck. Yeah. A couple of other people said Mark Zuckerberg. Will these will this be people's new forever game? It'll be some people's new forever game. Yes. It's got the like, it's got it's got a stickier loot combat thing going on than Fallout 4 did, and it's way less like bland and re repetitious. God damn it! Wow, getting to getting to the cockpit in this thing sucks. Yeah, these <laughs> these movie ass lines kill me. Yeah, that's the thing. At some point. I re- I re- wait. Oh, the dead people are still in here. I guess they never got flushed out. How do you get rid of the bodies? I guess you can land and like drag them off. No, you can't. Wait. You can't. How do you get them off the ship? I guess I just dump them in the bottom there. Let them rot. I guess that'll work eventually. Maybe I can like drop an explosive canister on them. <laughs> Eat them? I don't have that perk. Your clothes clean, your boots polished, your mirrors shine. Gotta clean up a little bit. Can you get rid of these bodies, man? You haven't taken the bodies out of the ship. How do you do that? You you load in and out of the ship. You can't carry things. Woo! About Dragon Age Origins through your link. You're welcome for the 60 cents or whatever that math comes to. Thank you! Ka-ching! Great game, though. I'm just glad somebody else is going to try to play Dragon Age Origins. Yeah, if, if you liked uh, Baldur's Gate 3, Dragon Age Origins is your thing. Airlock? Not a thing. No such thing. Like, that, there's that. It just loads to the next ship. You can jettison things into space, but you can only do it from your inventory. So you have to be able to put it into your inventory and then transfer it to the ship. And you cannot store a body in your inventory. Alas. <clears throat> Yeah, you can have a body room in your ship. Why not? Just rolled credits in AC6. Hey, congratulations. That is not easy to do. I'm still chipping away at it myself. I bet this feels more fun minute to minute than Elite Dangerous or No Man's Sky. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's a fair way of putting it. Minute to minute, better, but 
No Man's Sky LA Dangerous both offer more profound and immersive experiences. So it's a trade-off. Okay, this is the screen that I wanted a long time ago, where I could actually see all the stats and stuff. Okay. Oh, it's the three weapons. How do you shoot two weapons? Also, how do I... Wait, what does registering do? Back to register. Hmm. Yeah, Void Cat. I agree. It was pitched as Fallout No Man's Sky. It's not that. It's Fallout. With a with a space aesthetic. But it being in space doesn't really affect the gameplay at all. It just affects the loading screens. I guess there is there is space combat. There is flying around in space shooting at spaceships. That's space. But that's it. I want to go to Phobos. That's where Doom is. This location cannot be landed on. Why not? Is it too small? How cool would it be to land on a .01G rock? And like jump and not hit the ground again for another 10 minutes. Uh. Like, eh, that's the bummer about Starfield. Anything that's an edge case, you just can't do. Instead of trying to make it work and it maybe being a little funky, they just said no. They're just like, no, we just won't support it. That way the game will finally be stable. And they, they did it, but it was like, it's because everything got... Yeah, see that rock can't go there. Remember when Todd said, go wherever you want? Not to Phobos though. Or any of the, any of the ice giants. Can't go to Uranus. <sighs> like, people are being so snarky about not landing on gas giants. Fine. But you can't land on terrestrial planets either. So, whatever. Alright, let me go back to... Let me go back to my tour. Can you go to Titan? Yeah, I was just on Titan. I'm actually going to go back to Titan right now. Yeah, I love Uranus. Me too. Thank you. Thank you for complimenting my long johns. Except now I'm dying. This is like on Chronicles of Riddick when the sun was really hot and they had to run really fast so that they wouldn't run, uh, get burned alive by the, uh, by the sun. How cool would it be if there was a, a planet like that in this game where you could like you could like stand without armor in the shade but if the sun hits you you would take damage and maybe there'd be like a story mission where like you're fighting people but the sun is like crossing the battleground and then all the dudes you're fighting like explode into fire when they get hit with the and then you gotta you gotta outrun the sun Seriously, you don't mess with history. wouldn't that be cool there is a, I think there is a day-night cycle on the planets, so you should be able to see, like, a sunset. Yeah, Butcher Bay rules. I started playing it last October, because it's kind of like a spooky game. I'm going to pick it up again uh, this October. We got to finish Splatterhouse. We got to finish Escape from Butch Butcher Bay. Ah, there. Just not seeing a new face. Who said that? You're about to get robbed. Oh, I already robbed him. Damn it. Same guy. That weird kid still around? Did you yeah. know that Earth had all sorts of cool animals? Actually, lots of planets do. But not this one. Sad, huh? Dang it, I can't. 
can't steal from the child. Still can't steal from the child. Did we fuck the earth in this timeline? Oh yes. Uh, the earth is a desolate wasteland. Careful. There are some dangerous areas around here that are not part of any tour. Oh, so cool. I kind of want to try to go through that. Ah! And it's a torch. Energy. I want to run around. What am I? Lots of history here. If you're into that sort of thing. I do love thinking about the day they had that kid in the voice booth. And they were like, just go nuts. Just go crazy. Just start screaming. <laughs> Have any questions so far? Ooh, made it back. <laughs> Brother, I just got conscripted to be uh, like a drug mule. It's an undercover sting operation. It's been four days. But no, let's continue this tour. Alrighty. We'll be taking the residential elevator to the farms area on the surface level. This way, please. Let's leave these good people alone for now. Go check out the farms. Follow me up the elevator. <laughs> Bill Starsap rules. I will die for Bill Starsap. Enjoy your visit here. Buckfutter, I cannot give you my loudest scream because my windows are open. And I have neighbors on both sides. And they might think something's amiss if I holler. New Homestead's farms are the But like same old Bethesda stuff, right? Like you can see the NPCs walking to the to their scripted node that they hit, and then they go rest, and then the next script fires and they start walking to the next node. Without them, the original outpost would have shriveled and died. These pods are sealed and climate controlled. The perfect environment for growing the hydroponic vegetation needed for survival in the early days of the colony. Offworlders always ask how I can live here. I wonder how they can live anywhere else. Any questions about the farms? I was as different than anywhere else in the galaxy. Good question. It's largely the same, because this was the colony that pioneered the techniques you see elsewhere. Mm. But you'll notice that the farms here are smaller and staffed by humans, not robots. Things here are a little more old-fashioned. Oh yeah, ham sandwich. It reminds me of community theater. A little stiff and everyone is focused on hitting their marks. So yes, absolutely. That is the quality that unintentionally gave Bethesda games their charm. It's camp. They're campy games. They're good because they're a little bad. Um, that's what makes this game a little weird. It's like if you gave a campy community theater production six years and $80 billion to make the 80 million, whatever. It will say 8 million. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the budget was. It, it's immaterial. It's, it's a number that's too big to conceptualize, but yeah. They're like, well, maybe it had more charm when everything was made out of cardboard and bad paint. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, I zoned out too. Yeah, that's fine. I, yeah, I'm ready to move on. Onward it is. <laughs> we'll be stopping by the Brown Horse Tavern later in the tour, which uses many of these locally sourced ingredients in their cooking. But for now, this voice acting is top tier, though. To our next stop, follow me. So the old Star Sap is the best character in the game the other so far. Side of this building, believe it or not. We'll step on through the hallway there. They're not in use anymore, but the colony so has faithfully recreated them as a historical exhibit, true to the original purpose of the Titan Astro Base. Sadly, they're undergoing some light renovation. Otherwise, there'd be interactive activities for kids to learn about how they used to search for microbial life here. People here live a simple life. Try not to complicate it. Here we go. Yeah. Bill Starsap would understand. He always understands. Yeah, the music stings are a little, sometimes a little misplaced. Oh, uh, 30, 50. 
you now pickpocket holstered weapons. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. Oh, tracked resources get highlighted. That's nice. I was wondering if there would be a way to tag resources that would make them easier to find. Pardon the dust, but I can still answer some questions about the old Titan Astrobase Biolabs. It's okay, we can keep moving. You got it! On to our next stop! Next, we'll be heading outside, so make sure to check those seals on your suit because it's a bit chilly out there. <laughs> is he going to put on a suit? Or is he just going to load outside and then suddenly be wearing a suit? This planet. Watch your step outside, by the way. The ice can be slippery if you're not careful. The goal is to keep people out of Dr. Lakota's infirmary. Did you know the museum here is full of is old Earth artifacts? Science. Cool, huh? Uh, I should go check that out. Big Hust. Oh, he just popped into a suit. That's cute. Uh, thanks for the sub. My entire Twitch app is playing Starfield. Yeah, it's Starfield Day. Where were we? Oh, yes. Powering new homestead. As you might imagine, generating energy was a real challenge back in the day because the technology was much more crude then. Yeah, this is a vibe game, and there's a place for that. This game does, like, on a on a fundamental level, I think it does hit a really good combo of being very easy to walk up to and start playing, having a broad list of seemingly varied activities to do. Like, you'll never run out of something to do, I don't think. They're already stacking up lists and lists and lists of activities, even if they're not quests. But those activities are there to design to, like, yank you into the open world so you can run into NPCs who throw a million more quests at you. <clears throat> You're a few hours in. Do you remember or care about any of those characters they showed during that trailer slash demo? I mean, the only one I really remember is the cowboy man because he says, I, th I think I'm in love with you during the, uh, during the direct, which is the most baffling thing. Like, it was the most emotionally devoid line I think I've ever heard. So, I'm excited for that. Um, no. The answer to the rest of it is no, though. Uh, Bethesda games have never been very good about making charming characters. For me. I keep I keep rem reminding myself to like make it subjective personal statements. This spot was chosen for the colony in part because of its constant winds. Like, I don't remember anyone from Skyrim. Um... Turbines have been integral to the colony's function since its establishment as a There's like the Yarl. mostly reliable source of electricity. Maybe I'll remember Bill Starsap. So, let's talk about wind power, shall we? What's so interesting about wind power? Why is it part of the tour? You're looking at a piece of history. Sure, wind power is. Oh well, yeah, there's Lydia. The sure. Galaxy, but these She's memorable just because she was there. With it for hundreds of years. Cicero, it's yeah, Cicero's cool. That was all they had back then, and still make it work to this day. All right, I think I'd like to move on. You're the boss. Let's go. Moving right along. Yeah, one of them looks broken. About Titan's great I wonder if I can fix it. Resources. You have like super precise air control. Oh. Oh, goofy legs. <laughs> Give him, give him a glance of the old wacky legs. Keep moving in a trance. Can't let him know your next move. <laughs> Riddick's base is stable. You can't knock him down. I 
it's a it's not a ladder you can climb. The IK is trying its best. It is. And the the inverse kinematics are not bad most of the time. It's actually pretty impressive. Like that. Just the legs kind of settling naturally on the ground. Really important for a game like this. And and it's good. Most of most of it is really good. I've only seen it go wacky one other time. Check Riddick TTS. You got it. Do the stang leg. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Life in plastic, it's fantastic. You can brush my hair and dress me everywhere. Imagination, life is your creation. Yes, who's back and back again? He said, This back and tell a friend. Every morning I wake up and open palm slam and listen to the slap. It's Chronicles of Riddick and Red, and in there I start doing the moves alongside with the main character. But I can do every move, and I do every move hard. And I can whistling sounds when I slam down some necro bastards, or even when I mess up technique. Now many can't say they escaped the galas. Most dangerous prison I can. I say it and I say it. I put every day to people in my college class, and all they do is prove people in college class can still be image checkers. Then I lift. Such a good... Man, I wish... I need to make that my ringtone. Every time somebody calls, I'll be scrambling for my phone. So this is kind of cool. This is a rare example of an interior that is part of the exterior zone. So you don't have to load to go in. Which means... They can have windows! Oh, Come on, I'll get up there. Oh, what? Oh, I'm out of- I have to wait for my boost to come back. Silly me. Okay. See that window? You can look through it. Is there a door? Or is there a door on the roof? Climb that? No. Fake ladder. There's just a guy inside. Imagine what he sees. All your favorite boys are streaming at the same time. That's okay. You can make your choice. Or there's like multi Twitch. If you want an entire grid, a three by three panel. Of every hey, can you believe it? Back in the on Earth, of everyone exploring space. Over natural resources like this and petroleum. They have this whole moon here basically made of hydrocarbons in their own backyard. They just couldn't get to it. Incredible how far we've come. New Homestead is home to one of the oldest and largest methane processing plants in the settled system. Every year, UC engineers go through a painstaking, month-long maintenance process. That's how this place has remained operational as long as it has. I'm not going to take you too close to the machinery, liability and all, but I can still answer questions. Questions? Fire away! I feel like if Jacob were in Starfield, he'd be this guy. Just giving the most pleasant, wonderful tours to everybody. Excited to talk about methane and wind farms. No more questions right now. Okie dokie, artichokey. There will be time for more later anyway. Is that not the most Jacob thing you've ever heard? This next stop. Okie dokie, artichokey. I only recently made it part of the tour. Fun fact, it's also the only natural landmark on the tour. What we're about to see is a glacial... It's like a... It's a chirp. What is that? Ow! I don't like it. 
the fuck is that? It was changed a couple hundred years ago. Ah! Stop it! Oh wait, no, that's my fan. I keep forgetting my my swamp cooler fan starts making this like high pitched high pitched chirp. Can you guys hear that through the mic? It's like making my teeth hurt. Jesus. Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that, everybody. Why does it do that? <laughs> uh, every time, like, it starts it starts happening, like, super, super quietly, and then it builds and builds and builds until I'm like, what is going on? Uh, oh, wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, wait. That's, uh, fuck. That's the console. I was like, the sun's setting. You can see the shadow. Nope. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, there it goes. Okay. He is still talking, huh? Hey, P Pixel, how's Fallout in space? It's it's Fallout in space, yeah. Which, hey, if you like Fallout, that's great. It's more of that. I have enjoyed my first 10 hours with Starfield far more than I enjoyed the only 10 hours I spent with Fallout 4. So, take that for what you will. And I still want to keep playing it. Um... Basically, I want to keep playing this game until I feel like I've experienced the breadth of what it has to show me. And I don't know how long that's going to take. It'll basically be like, I'll have to have a, a gameplay session where I don't see anything interesting new. Like, nothing. And landing on a cool looking planet counts as something interesting. So we'll see. If there's like, if I can play for like three hours and just have dull fetch quests and, and nothing else going on, we'll see. So here it is. Emir's horn. You're free to take a closer look if you like. How did this call us form? I've heard this particular formation was caused by an ancient volcano. Something about steam and wind, then worn down over time. <laughs> but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I for people who played a ton of Skyrim, I think this game will be will be good for them. Unless they were expecting more. I mean, it is more than Skyrim. It's more than Fallout. But not, like, generationally, transformatively more. Um, like, if you, could fl if you could fly around planets. If it were this game, but you could fly through space. If you could do a, an unbroken space flight from, like, the atmosphere of one planet to landing on another. That would be it. It would be next-gen transformative Skyrim, but it's not that. It's the opposite of that. It's, it, it is chopped down on that experience so much it may as well not be in the game. You literally fast travel load from being on the ground in one place to Maybe being on the ground in the time other. To think about it? So the space travel is not even a factor, really. It's just kind of shoehorned into the game at, at occasional points. All right, who's Emir? According to ancient Norse mythology, Emir was the first Jotun, a frost giant. In the legend, they were both male and female and gave birth to the progenitors of all giants from their armpits. Ymir even predated the Norse gods, who, as it turns out, killed Ymir to fashion the earth and all of humanity from the corpse. It's a fascinating story, and the horn here is a fitting tribute to it. Yeah, No Man's Sky has that. Other games have that. So I don't fault this game for not, but I, it would be better with it. Uh, because I get it, I still get juice out of that if I do it in those games. Um, so to do it, to do that, and then also have pretty fun, satisfying looter shooter stuff would be great. Excellent. On to the next stop then. So we're going to head back inside through the methane processing plant. Try not to touch anything on your way. We want to make sure to respect Dr. Lakota's wishes to be safer around here. 
That brings me to another point. You'll notice the people around here have last names related to where their families originated from on Earth as a way to remember the past. The museum curator, Maurice Leon, has more information about that if you're interested. You can find him inside the main concourse. Loves talking about it. You'll find most of the locals here are very friendly to tourists like yourself. Yeah. Tourism is a if you pitch the voice down, yeah, exactly. Planet, Planet Maynard. Most of them are happy to talk and make that voice a little deeper. Oh, God, some Jake. Whenever Jacob brings out his rumbly voice, it, it gives me the tickles. I love it. Jacob's an inc Jacob's got an incredible voice. I'm kind of surprised, like, incidentally, people haven't tried to get him into voice acting. Maybe he just doesn't want to, but... Really go for some onions cooking over at the Brown Horse. Jacob does rule, in general. Fantastic human. That's not yours! turning around oh sorry curious about who Jacob is Jacob Fullerton currently works with Funhouse on Twitch at Jacob F-U-L Jacob Full you get used to the methane processing smell after a while there's a big bucket Where'd he go? Need you, Bruce, and Lon and Jacob to play Helldivers too? That sounds cool. Do a shout out? I could. I will. Hold on. Alright, uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I'm curious if... Does it count towards the next rank? Complete the previous... Oh, so you have to buy this. I wonder if it counts towards the next one until you buy the previous one. So, like, if I pickpocket now, will it count towards unlocking the next rank? Stream starts in three minutes for Jacob. Beautiful. Went there and followed Jacob. Excellent. Yeah, if you like that, if you like that tour, if you like Bill Starsap, you owe Jacob your follow. Also, Jacob's a huge nut for like space. So is Bruce. What else can I tell you about the ice mines? <sighs> Let's see here. I'm thirsty. Can I drink straight from the source? I wouldn't recommend it. First, it's an active work site. Second, it still needs to be filtered and checked for contaminants. But don't worry, we'll stop somewhere for refreshments before the tour is over. Hmm. Why not heat this area like the rest of the colony? Good question. I believe it has something to do with not wanting to contaminate the water with methane and other chemicals. The ice helps prevent impurities in the water. At least this is what I've been told. <laughs> this is where all new homesteads water comes from. Not all. Some water is created as a byproduct of methane processing. Yeah, slash. But that's usually saved in the emergency reserves. The next, the next games cast is going to be fun. I think we're going to be recording it this weekend or next week sometime. So Armored Core Six and Starfield will be top of mind, I'm sure. Uh, it's funny because like I usually don't well. The internet, being on the internet long enough has, has made it so I know you're not allowed to try to cash in on when you were right. Because no one respects that. They just get mad about it. But Bruce likes to be like, we were right. So I hope that Bruce says we were right about Starfield a million times. I want to, but I've learned you can't. I'm not allowed to. I don't need to know any more about the ice right. mines. I'm good, I'm good, good, I'm good. Let's keep going then. Yeah. Bruce can get away with we told you. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't work for me. It sounds shittier when I say it. 
Number Ginger, thanks for the sub. To the longest running establishment still in existence, the Brown Horse Tavern. Yes, Teton. I want a local text to speech tuned to like Riddick that I can use to read my responses. The pro oh, that's cool. The problem is I'd have to tab out to use it, and the game won't let me tab in and out seamlessly yet. Unless there's a mod. Before space travel was even a dream for the folks of Earth, even before antique machines like automobiles were possible, horses could be found everywhere. Oh, so automobiles exist? In what the? animals the tavern's original oh no it it does borderless borderless window does all it can do and named the place in their honor the can't use it on the second pc i would still have to tab out to use the second pc or get a second keyboard which would be a lot was established That delicious smell is making me hungry. <laughs> Can I answer anything about the brown horse? Any menu recommendations? Ooh, that's a tough one. I honestly love everything Anya serves Yeah, here. Google Glass is the way to go. to recommend one dish over another. You want the real answer? Order one of everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yeah, very good. Very good. What can you tell me about the owner? Anya Seattle is the current owner of the brown horse. It's been in the Seattle family for generations. But Anya will be able to tell you more herself. Feel free to ask her. It doesn't feel right coming from me when she's standing right over there. Could this possibly be the oldest restaurant in the settled systems? Easy. All the other ones fell to ruin when we abandoned Earth. There were technically older ones on Mars, but those have long since shuttered or been replaced. Hmm. I think I'm good to go here. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah. By all means, stop in for a moment. I gotta get some grub. Welcome to the Brown Horse. Welcome. I'm Anya. Is this your first time with us at the Brown Horse Tavern? I'm a regular. I can't believe you don't recognize me. Okay. Really? I know all my regulars, and I'm pretty sure you're not one of them. It's okay. There's nothing to be embarrassed about if you've never been here before. Oh, Riddick's embarrassed. We've got an assortment Digging his toe of into the dirt. Some of which follow homemade recipes that have been passed down over hundreds I'm of years. I'm a wheel man. I'm Arc so, 2. what can I do for you? I saw the Chunks restaurant out there. Does it hurt your business? <laughs> oh, hardly. <laughs> I need to get some water. Stay away from chunks, so oh, whenever they don't I've feel been like so much today. and want a fresh meal, they come to me. Only the tourists eat that junk, but, but don't tell that to my husband. He manages the chunks. I love him, but what? They're he's married a bit of and they about run it. competing restaurants. What is this place? You mean I'm gonna get the some brown water horse? while we learn about the brown it's horse. Only the longest continuous running restaurant since humans started settling outside of Earth. There's a lot of history within these walls. Man, some damn fine food and drink, if I say so myself. This place has been in my family for generations. My great great, the however many great grandmother opened it when the first colony started on Titan. Back then. It was a simple mess hall that she chose to put a little extra love and flavor into. And now, it's the pride of Mew Homestead. Great. Let me show you what we have. I gotta refill my water filter now. So, I will be right back also in like one minute. Be right back. Thanks for watching. All right, folks, I'm back. Sorry, Steph got home. And I got my space beverage. Hold on. I got this at the Kobe space suit. A uh, little spacesuit koozie. Oh, sorry. I got a, I have a way to like turn that off in every scene. I just haven't converted that. But yes, behold, he's all cozy in there.
Do 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 do. It may not look like it, but trust me, it's home cooked. Hmm. <laughs> Chunks, cocoa. Oh, here we go. Yeah, all right. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Now that is a good home cooked meal. Hamburger patty smothered in cheese and grilled toast. Usually served with a side of chipped potatoes. Good stuff. We're going to take one of the patty melts. Is that the only like food item? Toast. Oh, a veggie grinder. Hmm. Hoagie of roasted vegetables and mushrooms. Imagine how good that would taste if all you've eaten is like space gel for months. Fried pickles. Oh, that doesn't look like fried pickles though. Oh, you found your Kermie? Your dark Kermie? Hello, Sith Kermit. Have we attracted you because of our space adventures? I like space. <laughs> yes. Yeah. More space. Is it because it's cold and dark there? Oh. What's that? What's that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, like, you, you say Starfield is a 9 out of 10 game, huh? <laughs> you want people to buy it right now? Interesting. Yes. Wow. Like, Good Hope you'll be back sometime. Yeah, I don't like I don't like bald. Good. Well, that's not so bad from the front. Good. Bad. Good. Bad. Good. I'm in the middle of getting a tour from Bill Starsap. That delicious smell is making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Can I answer anything about the brown horse? All right, I'm gonna keep him more available. Okay. Evil Kermit might return. Okay then. We're headed to the last stop, right back where we began. Feel free to check out the museum exhibit in the main concourse here. These displays are full of rare earth trinkets salvaged from before humanity left. It's been a while and Maurice since I last is happy to yes, talk about the collection. The, same charm. the museum's curator oh. will be happy to talk to you if you want to. That looks like a uh Didn't Nuka-Cola bottles look like that? Prototype rocket. Oh, I guess they look like rockets. Oh, there's a snow globe in there. I need that. Okay, wait. I need a. I need to do a heist. Oh no! I did not mean to leave that out. Oh well. Yeah. Can half and half. Can half and half get to room temperature and still be fine? Uh, let's let Twitch chat decide. Evil Kermit wants me to drink it. <clears throat> as long as it's not chunky. That seems, that seems fair to me. Uh, it was also really hot today. 50-50 chance. Okay. I'll take a big swig of it later and see how it sloshes around in the mouth. Scanning Earth was astonishing. There's just nothing. Ah, uh, check in on Bruce. He's having his wife talk for him because his throat hurts so much. Poor Bruce. I feel so bad for Bruce. He pushes himself so hard. He took like... It was weird. He took like a couple days off and then he's just like, I just have to keep... And I was like, you could just take more time off. I don't know. He doesn't want to. He just... He works. He's born to work. That guy was born to game. None of us can make him stop. Uh, but yeah, I hope he does okay. What I worry about is that, like, he'll end up having to spend more time away from working, and he'll hate that more, but he's, he's a, a grown man with an unbeatable spirit, an iron will. I did a scan, or I did scan after scan of the major population centers and returned nothing. I did get a glimmer on the ancient site of Hong Kong. It was faint, I wasn't sure, but... Or I wasn't sure, I just imagined it, but I landed there. And there amidst the unrecognizable sands was something. What was this edifice? This monument of a now-dead civilization. It was humbling 
and deeply depressing. To me, it's just oh, there's a okay, cool. I kind of like that. A lore item will put a marker on your map, kind of like the uh, the Apollo landing. And I guess that just, you, with the way that the terrain generation works, you will never find it unless you get the marker, which is kind of interesting. But make no mistake, it's fulfilling. I kind of like that system. Look at him. Clear of the doctor here. Look at that look. They have a problem with tourists or something. Could it be that you're craving my nuggies? Hmm. Like what you see back there? New Homestead is a living history exhibit. But these are real. So now here's the problem. Here's the moral quandary I'm in. Bruce was kind enough to raid me during my subathon last week. I was gonna raid him. I'm probably still going to. Well, that's that. I hope you enjoyed Star Sap Tours. As much as but I am I only contributing to Bruce's uh, going through the ringer? Oh, I got to tip this guy. Oh, I need to. Okay, so hold on. This we need. We need Riddick to say. Oh, crap. There are 53 line or 53. 53 lines. Right to dick. In queue. That can't be accurate, right? My coochie pink, my butthole brown. You tell him, Riddick. You tell him. Are you scared of me? <sighs> Lesson then, no such word ass friend. Okay, well. Let's hope that that voice comes through at, at some point. Yeah, he's gonna do it anyway, Donna. I agree, I agree. I agree. All right, well, we'll get there eventually. Oh, I, I really appreciate it. You know, I rely on tips from good people like you, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. Enjoy the rest of your see here. stay in New Hope. says, I'm trying to watch your stream, but you're not making it easy. Uh, I can't see Starfield because I'm a cheap fuck that had Xbox Pass and I wait for the real launch. You're... I'm trying to think of how to describe this. I understand the the pressure, the not wanting to wait, but this this there's not quite uh, a universe of wonders waiting for you to explore. There's a lot of variations on like a solid time. It's it's a solid way to spend an evening if you're also watching something on another screen, like that's. And there's a there's a total place in the world for that game. It's I just worked a hard day. I don't want to think about stuff too hard. But that it's not quite the kind of game that you gotta like jump in at the first second and just really like oh just say like Tears of the Kingdom would have been a game was a game like that I think Baldur's Gate maybe. Well, I mean it had early access so it's not quite the same. I guess more than any more than a lot of other games, Starfield will be exactly the same game five days from now. There's not a whole lot of like playing it while other people are hyped up about it. Yeah, Bomb Rush is like a game that's worth diving into right away and experiencing fully, because it hits hard. Um, Starfield is like a game that's designed to be played for 500 hours, which means no one hour is, is super impactful in whether or not you experience hour one right now or five days from now. In the long run, it's not gonna matter much if you are gonna play it like it seems like it wants to be played, which is a couple of hours every other day. According to the USDA, if you left it out half, if you left out half and half for more than two hours, you should toss it. It's if it's hot, over ninety degrees Fahrenheit or thirty-two degrees Celsius day, that period shrinks to an hour. Okay, I will toss it. That's a bummer because I just had a batch of cold brew that ripened. However, I have oat milk in the fridge. That's fine. So it's still okay. Oh, somebody was asking the Bev. This is a weed seltzer, thanks to the great state of California. It's a it's a freaking uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon weed seltzer. God bless America. Strawberry kiwi. Ten cows. Chill grooves. I took one of the Call of Focus 
gamer gummies too, so we'll see what happens there. Big Hust, thanks for gifting two subs. Appreciate that. Okay, so like, yeah, you know, I had a fun time here. I took a tour, I bought a patty melt. Like these are, they're not exciting, revolutionary, or amazing things. You're not, you're probably not gonna tell your friend the story about, well, maybe you might be like the tour guide on Titan is fun. Like go check out the tour guide on Titan, but that's it, you know? Or Armored Core 6, like it doesn't, it doesn't kick like a mule like that. I guess I don't, I don't need to klepto so hard. I'm excited to play more Armored Core 6. Man, that one mission... That, Armored Core 6 is starting to have real classic Armored Core vibe. Um, which is weird. And fun. And nostalgic. But the mission types where it's just like... Like an arena with just ass loads of enemies. They haven't done that in a long time. Like, to the extent where it, it it burns your ammo out. Speak with Luther. Uh, wait, what am I... It's so weird that it tracks all the activities. I just need to get used to that. Or not let it distract me. Why do they track it all like that? Is is maybe the implication that if you do it, it'll lead to some? No. I wonder what warrants something being an activity. Maybe this is how they breadcrumb um, more substantive game content, like quests and things. But there's no way every activity leads to. Some, I don't know, we'll find out. I'll, I'll I'll figure out the pattern eventually. I'm sure. Oh yeah, that's right. Thanks. Okay. Don't tell my wife, Which but I actually you prefer like chunks to her cooking. Don't get me wrong, her cooking is great. Hello, this is a fun little narrative to stumble into. To New Homestead Chunks. We've got all your chunks favorites. Well, almost all of them. Sadly, we're out of the special sauce. I know, I know. But everything else is still that great chunks food you know and love. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Hello, bloody god slayer. How's the game been? Once, once you accept all the things the game isn't even trying to be, it's fine. It just takes a readjustment and also like, they, the marketing really does pitch a different experience than what this game is. This game is a good experience. It's just, it's baffling they, they sold it the way they did. I guess I get it. Like what else are you gonna sell it as? To, to, to be utterly practical about it. <laughs> it's not a very good sales pitch. Herod getting platinum for AC6 requires S ranking all missions. Yeah. You think you'll try that in the long run? Mm. Probably not. Don't let me rush you. That's a Steam achievement, and those are worthless. So your wife owns the Brown Horse Tavern. How could you work for the competition? Oh, it's all good. Chunks pays me pretty well. What's the difference between pitch and play? Space travel is non existent in this game. Plus, we got this plan, you know. And we want to see if we travel can is load screens cooking to the chunks and running like Imagine running over a, a chunk of terrain to get to a waypoint. Every chunk's restaurant across the settled systems, and people are buying. So when they pitch the like majesty and, and excitement of space there. travel and exploration, it's really not a thing. It's it's loading into areas and just kind of having having pleasant adventures. What's your favorite chunk? Oh, 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 you had to go and ask the hard questions, huh? <laughs> oh, how can I pick just one? Any comparisons to Outer Worlds yet? Chicken no. chunks. It's chunks, not that kind of game. Potato chunks, cheesesteak chunks, cheesecake chunks. I, mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to cheat if you don't mind. And it has no... Just say, I love them all equally. It has no sardonic sense of humor at all. It's very genuine and smarmy. 
uh, it's it worked like this guy listing all his favorite chunks. That's that's funny. It got a chuckle out of me. I like it. Tell me more about chunks. Um, but that's like that's where it caps out. There's no like ironic uh, uh, satire of capitalism or anything like that. It's not. Don't worry. I you're not in danger of thinking too. too much yet. Maybe I'll hit some real trippy head spin at some point. But Bethesda Game Studios have never really been that. They've just been very kind of direct and smarmy. Um, theatric. Or compared to Mass Effect 1? Ew, yeah, but Mass Effect 1 had a Mako. Yeah, yeah, Mass Effect 1 had the Mako. And it was awesome. People, it's funny because even at the time people were like, the Mako's pointless. And I was like, no, it's not. Because you get to drive around on a planet. That's the point. So yeah. Uh, when people are like, oh, it doesn't matter if you could take off. I mean, who needs vehicles? I'm like, if you have to ask, you don't get it. Damn. Anyway. Thinking about those. Yeah, it had jumps. Things. Boing. Like the, the jumps, silly. So. And the physics would change based on the planet you were on. Uh, I have a lot of good memories of trying to wiggle out the physics and like wiggle up mountains and stuff. I've done that like once or twice in this game, but there's not a whole lot of reason to. Uh, anyway, let's see here. You seem to love chunks, huh? <laughs> you know I do. And what's not to love? It's delicious, nutritious, easy, fast, inexpensive. It sure makes my hungry belly sing for joy. <laughs> my wife thinks I eat too much chunks food, but I just can't help myself. It's so good. This is some better... Okay, this, this guy and... Bill Star Starsap have been uh, adorably written and super well performed but these like I'm starting to get to some good characters it's been pretty bland beyond that but maybe I was just in the bland part of the game <sighs> running out of chunk sauce sounds like a problem if I'm completely honest it is <clears throat> people are always saying how this chunks can't compare to the real deal and I just know it's because we never had that mouth-watering sauce. I mean, that's house. I contact with some of the other restaurants out there, and they'll give me some. But they say they can't afford to send it, and I don't have a ship, so what am I to do? Well, that's too bad. Anyway, I'm going to get that sauce. Is the sauce really that important? You bet it is. You may not hear people talk about it. That bow sauce. It's the secret ingredient. It's like... The glue that holds it all together. I mean, not literally. I'm not saying it's glue or, or that our food falls apart. It's delightful. Tangy, savory, it's a little sweet, but not too sweet. And I've noticed that once people find out we don't have it, sometimes they don't return. It's the reason business isn't as good as other chunks. Mmm. So reason chunks doesn't send you the sauce. For real? Good question. They haven't said. But I think it has something to do with them prioritizing other chunks over mine. Hmm. I guess it's made at a different facility than our other food. And they don't even want to pay the shipping cost to ship from another store to ours. Yeah, sometimes I get lucky and a cargo hauler passes through with a route that takes them near other chunks and back again. But there's no guarantee. So, a quest to get chunk sauce, I'm 100% down with. That's great. And actually kind of the level of like whimsy and, and kind of fun that I didn't expect to be in this game. Was that a Santa mug? Uh, only the kind of Santa that flies real high in his sleigh. It's a... It's a spacesuit koozie for my weed beverage. Wait. <clears throat> for real? You do that. All right. You're not pulling my Here's leg. the thing though. There might be unintended consequences here. What if this restaurant gets so uh, popular because of the chunk sauce that the brown horse closes down and then I can't get my patty melts when I come in anymore? My fried pickles. I'll do it if you pay me. Oh, of course. Between what I've got personally and the petty cash, I'm sure I can get you what you deserve. Yeah, time for some sauce stranding. So, Here's the problem, though. Another chunk that has a case of sauce ready to go for. There's going to be a marker where I go. I can hit one button from the quest list to highlight it. One more button to warp exactly there. Thanks. Ooh, I can't 
can't wait until this time. Mission updated deep cover. I'm gonna use our discount to get a bunch of different chunks and mix them all up. Try some new flavor profiles, as they say in the biz. What biz? What are you talking about? You know, the foodie biz. Chefs and all that. It's a thing they... We do. We get cases of refrigerated chunks and we just heat them up. We don't, like, make anything. You are really into chunks, huh? Yeah, it's the greatest. Can't believe you're so oh, down on like it. We have the chunks. best job on time. Whatever. I'm just doing this job to help my family pay the bills and save up so I can pay for my education. And I am out of here. This man loves his chunks. Why was the undercover mission updated? What? It's this... Okay. Weird. Okay, so yeah. Uh, it says, set course. To hit R. Then it does this. Oh, unexplored route. Okay. Try jumping to a closer system. Okay, that's interesting. I guess they... F okay, this is maybe how they gate you in. Because when you land in a new system, then you're like... That's when they can hit you with, like, pirates jumping on you or something. But yeah. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. So yeah, now I'm here. And then I just hit... I guess I hit... Bounty Hunter Captain. Eh, let's just ignore that guy. Is it force again? Okay, so I just have to jump one system at a time. Why am I looking down there? So okay. I, I, may, I am having to do a little more to get to this place, and there's more chances for things to interrupt. But yeah, if there's ever any quests in areas you've been to, you basically can just drop right at the front door and then walk right up to where you need to go. Oh, Neon is the cy like cyber city, though. I didn't know I was here. Let's land on Neon real quick. You gotta buy fuel? I guess so. I've never bought fuel yet. And maybe I've accidentally mined it? Or maybe it just refills automatically when you land? I, I, I don't know how fuel works, but it hasn't been an issue. Whoa! Sometimes you get to land in first person. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, I can't go back into first person now. The loads are a bummer. They they really are. It would be way cooler if those weren't there. And it's kind of... I kind of don't understand why they're not. Or why they are, rather. But I don't have to. It doesn't ruin the game. Now, I'm on a solid state. So, the loads are, are crazy fast. And that's another thing that, that really reduces the impact. Oh yeah, I think I have Aurora in my right. cargo hold. But I passed Light Scan. Because, yeah, they loaded me up with Aurora to to be a drug mule. I guess that's the space drug. That's Skuma. I don't know why I don't know why I didn't connect that until just now. So, what was it like? Smuggled the Aurora into Kira City or oh, whatever by. I just want to see what this city looks like. All right. All right. Okay. The best and brightest of today for our future Submit your application now at the nearest kiosk. Jeez, oh, sorry. Not bad. It's like getting close to Night City a little bit. Look at this interior. Oh, ooh, nice. Okay. Yeah, there are specific situations where the environment artists really went overboard. And just like the interior architecture looks great. Ah. Some rooms are just good to walk through. Man. But 
that sculpture up there? Wait, can I just walk in here? Tranquility. What the hell is that? Yeah, oh. and the kids are going to love it. Keep out of my way, and I'll keep out of yours. I'm I'm not a fan of the the. I hope Tranquility has some job openings. Color grading they put on everything. I don't know. It washes out the colors real bad. You must be very relaxing. I got to meet Tranquility's blend master during my last visit here. Enjoy your visit. Blend master. Hello, my name's Christine. I'm the office manager here. She what got guns. Damn. Damn, Christine. I'm interested in your products. I can't blame you. I'm an avid tea drinker myself. There's nothing like a cup of our sunray tea to put a spring in your step on a rainy neon day. Yeah, it's if so like it's it's Fallout 3 green tint a lot. The tint does change, but the tint always kind of like and makes everything a little washed by. out. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make your visit more comfortable. I feel like it's the kind of thing where if they do an anniversary edition, they'll they'll rest easier. turn that off. Kind of like how they they finally got rid of that that gross filter for Skyrim. Skyrim looks so much better now. I can't get over how much better it looks. It's weird to me that they kind of did it again. The it, to my eyes, at least, fundamentally improved how Skyrim looked by adjusting the color temperature back to something a little more, like, clear and bright. I think the tint is an artistic decision to make things feel grounded and realistic. I guess. Nothing else in the game is designed to make anything feel grounded or realistic, though. Some elements of the aesthetic... Um... Some of the, some of the supposed NASA punk stylings do help with that. But the characters... Even the facial animations are, are like, the dial's turned up. They're kind of squishy and expressive, and their eyes are like very big and cartoony. So, that's what's weird, is like, to me, the way that the characters act and behave and are animated speaks to a little more cartoony and expressive and vibrant version of the universe. But the one you see is not that. It, uh, maybe, maybe here and there. It is, but... This is Unreal 5? No. This is Creation 2. Bethesda's in-house engine. Uh, what is it? Um, Immortals of Avium is Unreal 5. I don't know if there are any other... Was... Was Callisto Protocol on Unreal 5? There aren't a whole lot of games out right now that are on 5. Oh, maybe I can get some cool cyber clothes. Maybe I can finally get my goggles. Oh, was it for? It was for, yeah. The Callisto was. You want to head to Euphorica after work tonight? No. Euphorica? I'm feeling a little burnt out. I think I need a break. How about hitting up the rooftops? Watching lightning hit the sky. Yeah, I don't mind the. No. There's like film grain, but like. Sounds like it. There, I, I've said this like a couple times, but there's no pure black in this game. The closest it gets is this kind of like washed out gray, and even this is green. I feel like in the in the black tints, you can you can see easily the color, the color overlay, the color correction, because that's where the like the base color is. It's like they just added color to the whole scene, which yanks the brightness up a little bit. Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Everything you need to explore. I think it, I think it's meant to look like dingy seventies film. Don't you don't need it. I think it's just like a a post process to make it look like kind of desaturated seventies cinema. Yeah, the Mexico filter kind of. What exactly do you sell? The question should really be, what don't we sell? We carry a wide assortment of equipment perfectly suitable. I didn't turn film grain off. I don't mind film grain. Extraplanetary excursions. Best selection in neon. And I guess in that regard it is pretty similar to Mass Effect 1. That that game also very much wanted to look like a 70s science fiction movie. 
So I thought I thought it was perfectly fine in Mass One. I really liked it. I guess the difference is I don't know. This game doesn't use that camera, you know? Some of the loading screens do, but that's kind of it. The conversation scenes don't, because it's just a locked off camera shot on whoever's talking. Um, like space combat, like it's all just trailing camera. So there's no cinematography that invokes the look, really, unlike Mass 1. Um, anyway, I'll take every artifact you have in stock. An artifact? Are you making this up? Well, like I said, if I don't have it, you don't need it. But I have a lot of other things you need. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time, look around, ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. I'm actually kind of curious. I wonder what film grain looks like through Twitch compression. I would expect it's something that wouldn't even really be visible, but I don't know. Pretty hard sell you're pushing. Am I? Forgive me. I tend to forget. Oh yeah, Chaim, I agree. Alien Isolation. I have a three thousand percent nailed just Ridley Scott's vision of of the future through Alien. This is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills the, are astronomical. Like that was such a really cool extension of aesthetic that I don't think really got matched until 2077. The way that that game took all the schmaltzy 80s stuff that happened in 2020 and aged it up 50 years. So it's still there, but it's like the cool wraparound version of that. Oh man, I can't get over how, how cool that was. Let's see. Choice business locations aren't cheap. Sure, and going in, I expected it to be expensive. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. I am. So why don't you help? I out want to buy like myself and Riddick buy goggles. Let me see. If you don't see it, you don't need it. They had a hard rule during isolation's development. If it, if we couldn't have been. Rah. If we couldn't have made the prop in 1979, then it can't be in the game. That's cool. Because then I guess you'd just be looking at all the all the physical materials available in 79. Buttons, knobs, housings. Alright, apparel. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Oh. I can get a hat. Hmm. Well, they wiggle. Man, why would I wear anything else? Still no glasses though. That's a bummer. Let's see. Ooh, you can sell from ship inventory. That's really cool. Oh, survey data just sits in your inventory. Interesting. Can you recolor or modify apparel in this game at all? Uh, let me see. It might be part of like crafting? I haven't really looked at crafting all that much. There you go. Mm, 
by. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Inspect. Inspect just does that. Favorite drop sort. Hmm. No, I don't see anything like right here. <clears throat> it would have to be. It would have to be at like a crafting bench, maybe. Yeah. Prop design in this game is actually probably the best thing about it. All the guns and food items, etc., look awesome. I agree. It's definitely been one of my favorite parts of the game, the world, everything. Is uh, the products, the items, um, a lot of the some of the interiors and spaces look really cool. Fit, right? Oh, I should get the cowboy hat. We're not done yet. Put your broom away. Welcome to Sick Hearts Out. Sure. Oh boy, that's everything Bethesda. you need to explore the settled systems. Riddick's ready for adventure. God. <sighs> this is always where it goes, isn't it? It's always got to be like this. I'm walking out a new man. Security's got its eyes on Saburo. I feel less cool for some reason. Ooh, Terra Brew coffee. Welcome to Terra Brew. How may I serve you? Oh, that's cool. Is it going to ask me to tip? I'll take a classic. Up. Right now. <laughs> what if your companion watches you not tip the automated kiosk that makes your coffee? Sarah didn't like that. Hi there. Welcome to Terra Brew. How can I help you? What's your favorite thing on the menu? Corporate policy requires me to state that everything Terra Brew offers is my favorite. Okay, there's actually some like, haha, -ha, corporate overlord goofing. Maybe I'm, I don't know. I might have judged this game a little too quick. Fun line to just have from a random unnamed NPC. Ooh, the Astral Lounge. Yeah, we gotta go there. That's where the real money's at. There's gotta be sick nightclub music, right? I'm already ready, I'm already dressed. Oh, of course it's load screen. All right, now we're talking. See, like, the color grading changed. Now, now what would be pitch black is like kind of light blue but that raises the, like, washes out the color values of everything else. It makes interiors seem unique, but it's like the cheapest way to do it. <clears throat> I shouldn't be so dismissive of a process I don't fully understand. All right, there's gotta be a place where you can just like activate to dance, right? You wanna dance? Come on, dance. Get some, it's party time. How do I get one of those hats? Try Aurora yet? No, but I want to. The music is amazing. Yeah, it's all right. Is it? I have Aurora in my ship. Maybe I can find a dealer here. Hell yeah! This is awesome! 
is it? You're just sitting on a couch. Take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. Oops. Uh oh. Okay. It's not a problem until you're detected. Well, let me let me try it out. Let me see how cool this is. Yeah. It's like being at the club. She's high. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. She looks pretty sober to me. What? What's your deal? Stop looking at me. Ugh. Okay, this is awkward. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Have room for one more on your crew? Defensive systems. Basically, I can fine tune your shields to keep the enemy from damaging anything you can't afford to lose. Hey, I'm a level one shield systems analyst. Mind if I go home with you, bro? How much will it cost me? I'm only looking to earn the going rate. Right? I don't think I should pay you that much. Why is that? Here we go. Let's work the system. Who knows how long it'll be before you get another offer. Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. Can't let the groove don't stop. I'm in. You're hired. Where do you want me? Confirm. Yeah. Heading there now. I just slipped him the equivalent of like 30 bucks. Are you? Heading there now. See you soon, Captain. I'm away, boss. Any minute now. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. Astral sliders. Oh. Look at how cheesy they are. There's a little pickle in there, too. Now, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting... We have plenty of Aurora for sale. I am, yeah. I'm definitely here to try the Aurora. And what are we waiting for? Let's set you up. This is a sting, here, isn't it? Take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? You can't. <clears throat> Anything on that menu you recommend? That depends on if you're hungry or thirsty. Thirsty. All right, well, I've got a couple of specialties of the house you might be interested in. First, there's our best seller, Sangria Astral, which is a curiously refreshing, fruit-infused red wine served in a commemorative... Oh, I thought I was... Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought I was fun, asking for the drugs. Our Bayou Private Reserve, a painstakingly distilled cognac stored in the purest Arcturan crystal. I love Arcturan Enough? crystals! Or are you hungry as well? Actually, you know what? Give me the rundown. Ah, a bit of a foodie, are we? I can't say I blame you. We're just as renowned for our cuisine. I do like the attention to, to like food and drink so First, far. Let me tempt you with our melon caviar. Delicate, salty spheres of melon, hydroponically grown in our private aqua garden. And to finish, our lounge special strip. Mm. A grilled soy-based steak served with a steaming side of chipped potatoes. <laughs> it's delicious. Mwah. Anything there sound appetizing? I mean, kind of, yeah, those... Let else. me try the melon balls. Of course, of course. Are they on the... Oh, hold on. Look at the menu. Sure. Also, I saw I that purchase of penthouse. So I gotta check that out. Perhaps. 
Adrenochrome. Oh, adichrone. <laughs> Fight the symptoms of withdrawal. Awesome. Whoa. But yeah, the background, like the menu, it's, it's almost like blue. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, ooh. Reminds me of the tonics from uh, Bioshock Infinite. Oh, look at them Borg. The, the HD food does buy a lot of credit with me, for real. I mean, power funnel addictive hallucinogen. Oh, it slows time, okay. Legal only in neon, interesting. Picked up a contraband. Okay, so the yellow. Okay, so red means theft. Yellow means contraband. All right. Baguette. I haven't seen a space dog yet. The only animals have been like weird little aliens that that got shot. Oh, crawler bisque. Creamy tomato bisque served with alien crawlers. Mmm. This is so good. This is so good. Oh. I mean, it's not quite Final Fantasy 15 level, but yeah. Look at this stuff. Gazpacho. They like modeled all the little chunks in there. So good. This is the kind of thing that, like, I think buys the game a lot of credit. This is where its value is. This is where all the effort is. Look at these grapes. Spin those grapes. Man, look at that soy beef. You get a free plate, too? Yeah, I paid that guy like three stakes worth of, of money. Oh, is it actually caviar? Oh, local caviar. Weird. I thought it was like melon balls that were salted to, to kind of be like caviar because it didn't exist anymore. Orange. Plum. It's got a butt. Nice. Taking the ass. Ooh. Cool. I'd like, I'd like some details on purchasing a penthouse. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. 235k? Not interesting. How unfortunate. How much but money I will do I have? be here should you change your mind. Hope to see you again. Oh, I have 33k. All right, something to look forward to. Just eat, eat a steak off the table. Mickey caviar. Say, kid. How'd you like to hitch your wagon to a celebrity star? Hmm? That's right. The Mickey this guy's going to eat me. Market for you look like someone who could use a great ship. Shaggy the Fox. Thanks Wait. for the sub. Oh. Just spent a been a bit in the hospital and your streams helped me feel normal. Thanks, babe. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to take a run in the hospital. I uh, hope you're feeling better and I'm glad I could do anything to, to make the time pass a little better. I'm in the... I'm on a medical journey myself. I'm trying to get my brain scanned because of all... or because of the migraines. They've started getting look like different. So... Gotta get blood work done. I think I have an appointment for that to next week? Yeah. Let's see here. I don't recognize you. Where would I know you from? Oh, you're breaking my heart. Ah, uh, people these days. I'm a food critic. I had a widely renowned column in the New Atlantean called Mickey Caviar's Taste of Space. Ring a bell? No. Well, there's no accounting for taste. 
I'm retiring to call him in. I have open space in my crew, but I don't really need to cook. Bama. Who knew cooking was such an unmarketable skill? I was hoping he could cook. Hmm. Maybe I could help out somewhere else. I got plenty of other skills. And I'm not afraid to use them. Oh, I'm sure it's fine, Shaggy. What kind of skills are we talking about? Well, I'm hard to kill, I'll tell you <laughs> that much. I'm all right. No, I like his work. face. He kind of talks out of the side of his Through mouth. Some unfortunate circumstances, I've had to get good at roughing it. There's a nuance to his facial like animation much, that. Though. You gotta know how to do that. It's a bit different. Make it long in journalism. Oh. Fine. Look at Welcome you. aboard. Making my day. There's just one more thing I'd like to discuss uh, myself. The New Atlantean paid their top talent well. I'm used to a certain lifestyle. <sighs> How about a discount for your biggest fan? Hmm. I'm not usually one to bargain. Let's see here. Who knows how long it'll be before you get another offer. This worked before. Oh, there we go. That was easy. Anything, but you do have a point. It's the same line. But you seem like a good kid. And I'm getting sick of the food here. I'll work for you, lonely. Don't worry. I pay well, too. Then it sounds <laughs> like not we now. have a deal, boss. Ha! You'll love having me around. His lips are transfixing for some reason. All right, Mickey Caviar, welcome aboard. I'm gonna take a lap. Gotta sober up a little before I get to work. <laughs> so long, boss. Good heaven, man. Man, Mickey Caviar has been around the block a few times, though. Take it easy. The music is amazing. Hi, having fun? That last drink was stronger than I thought. That's what you said two drinks ago. Maybe you should slow down. Why is there caviar yeah, in the bathroom? Probably time to officially switch to water. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated, right? You said it. Plus, I have to meet up with my parents tomorrow. I'm right. gonna present them. Can I do it off the floor? Ah, uh, you just pick it up. All right. <clears throat> Dang it. I have, I have contraband bullets still there. All right. Oh, it's all what man weak shit I barely got out of the restroom look at the colors you can really just go wherever you want huh oh man of course you get the sliders for free if you get the VIP room you're gonna be chin deep in sliders. Do you get in trouble for being in the wrong area? Seem like it. Cool. Man, they 
don't ever have anything cool. Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. I wonder if you uh, stole somebody's ammo and then they shot all their ammo out of their gun if they'd be able to reload. I feel like they would. I guess the... Uh, oh yeah, you can steal sidearms. You can't steal people's weapons. Ooh. I should just do this while I'm here, right? What if there's an adventure? Hmm. Now I think I messed it up. I did. Yes, that is the hacking minigame. Or that's the lock picking minigame. Oh, there's nothing in here. Oh, something in here. Benjamin Bayou. Detected. Oh. Somebody, maybe somebody's seeing me through the floor. Well, by all means, feel free to disturb me. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Does that mean you own this entire city? I wouldn't normally bother with idle chatter. Look at this dude's. That's such a this dude's shirt. Question. I'm going to gift you with a response. Beck. I don't own. Thanks for the me. sub. Ooh. Neon is the property of Xeno Fresh Fisheries, of which I just happen to be the CEO. And I'm the only person you would watch play Starfield, huh? Now, if you care to take a moment to dissect that statement in your tiny little mind, I'm confident you'll discover the answer to your question. All right. I am exploring. Not that it's any of your business, but yes. I'm the administrator of Neon. Well, that's very humbling, Beck. There are Thank a lot you. Of perks that come with the job. But very flattering, you know I should say. Favorite? One snap of my finger and people who ask too many questions get thrown off of the upper platform. <laughs> I love that one. Are we done? Good. This dude rules. Like your style, Benjamin. Bayou. That's why I'm gonna steal more of your shit. Hey, give that back! He's fine. Um. Well, I got his pen. Uh oh. Up, 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 up. Brace! Neon security! <sighs> oh, it's just. It's just a fine. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen property you have on you. Hello. <laughs> oh, they took the bullets. Can I leave? Yeah, I guess. All right. Hmm? Hmm? Wait. Oh, does that mean I lost the key? I think it does. Oh, no. It didn't count as being stolen. I still have it. So you're Sick. telling me I have to take my entire... Can you riz up the guards? I don't know what rizzing up a guard is. Last thing I, I thought rizzing up would mean, like, looking stylish. Which I've already done. Our beds are comfortable and affordable. I try not to treat any physical illness. Seduce. Ah. No. Well, no. You can't seduce anybody. Oh, wait. No, I need to go back and figure out how to get into this penthouse. I have a, I have a new penthouse. <clears throat> you can't seduce just, like, any NPC. There are romances in the game. 
but it's with the uh, um like crew members i think so maybe uh jimmy valentine timmy caviar whatever his name was maybe we can get something going As a verb, it becomes uh, a stand-in for seducing or having game. Okay. Never heard it used as a verb before. Now I'm up to date. Thank you. This game looks insane. Uh, it's. I wouldn't say it's insane. Some parts of it are are pretty cool, pretty outrageous. Well, never mind. Seems like Todd Howard had something else to say about that. Jeez. What's up? You got my five sag letters. Who did? You did. What? In the mail? This is these were shoved in the mailbox. Are they addressed to me? Yes. Okay. What the fuck? What? No, I'm not going to. Interesting. They feel thick. Is yeah. SAG coming after me? Yeah, I don't know. You got you got your new PC gamer and then like yes. five SAG. I was like, what? At first I thought, is this a mistake? Who knew? Um, maybe all my uh, royalty payments finally came in. Maybe I'll have an opinion about maybe, the strikes. Maybe we're rich. Maybe... Maybe they saw me, uh, they saw me reading Turbid's book and they were like, Hey, motherfucker. We saw that shit you did. We saw that screen acting you did. You bottle it up right now. Where, how can I use this key? Or can I? showing up maybe I can go talk to the the dude and be like hey I have a key uh, I forgot where my room is but I still have my key could you take me there ever wonder how the crimson fleet seems to be oh. Oh, that's right there's another elevator for the penthouse I can ask the, the guy. Is it outside? Hey, Whoa! Hey, Mickey. How they feel like getting zoned? I got what you need. Oh, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. He cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. This is 100 times bigger than any other building in a Bethesda game. No, it's not. It's not that big. Come on now. Come on now. Let, come on, let's not be silly. That's just silly. It's not that big. <laughs> I mean, there were like the giant halls in Skyrim and stuff. Big old dilapidated buildings in Fallout 4. If you could go through this entire area without loads or elevators, then yeah. Sell me a quintessential gamer shirt? Eh, I don't really have any. I have some, like, designs I uploaded a long time ago, but that's about it. Here we go. Uh-oh. What if he shoots me? Okay. Here we- Oh, they actually tell you when you're trespassing. Great.
Luckily, I'm inconspicuous. Even if he sees me, he won't notice. Yeah, I won't seem like I'm out of place, you know? Oh, sweet. Definitely need that. Is there a way to clear the, like, stolenness off of an item? There's little slippies. Alien critter display. This is a really classy, uh, classy office he's got. Oh. Zero wire. That doesn't seem like it's that important. The price of destiny. When the ink dried, Napoleon indeed got the funds he desperately needed, but a dark chapter of American history started. The Louisiana Purchase would be the most, or would open most of the North American continent to rampant, unchecked expansion as brutal as anything that took place in the colonial era. What would in time be called Manifest Destiny was for centuries looked at as a positive movement. It was spreading the virtues of democracy and capitalism to vast new territories. But for all too many indigenous, indigenous Americans, it was at best forced relocation and all too often a death sentence. But this willful blindness to the cost of Manifest Destiny would take over a century to be fully acknowledged. One might argue it is still glossed over to this day in too many circles. St. Louis dubbed the gate or St. Louis, excuse me, dubbed the gateway to the west, so venerated the concept that they built a monument to it in the mid 20th century. Ah. Let's see if this works. It does. Thanks for the cheer. Oh, we got a real history lesson there. Yeah, it's uh it's a little sad to think about that dynamic and how like European colonists were basically able to overpower because they had no qualms about burning resources as fast as possible to uh to develop technologies of war, technologies of civilization and expansion. Bethesda's need to be played in first person? You think so? Then I wouldn't see my cool outfit. I kind of expected there to be something here, unless I'm just not cluing in on it. Oh, light switches? Ah. No functioning light switches. What do you have to say to that, Todd? Okay, well. This was fun, I guess. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's like no music in here either. Wait. I, it won't let me go. Huh? Floor access restricted. Um. Yeah, I'm trapped. Mm. Also, where did my where did my lights come from? Oh, I guess, I guess that's a flashlight? Okay. Maybe the doors need to close? Restricted. What are you... Is it bugged? for room service I want to maybe if I sleep in the bed Goldilocks this guy cannot sleep while trespassing <clears throat> I 
need to get that chunk sauce. Can't use the PC. No. Mmm. Contemplative roads. I'm on one myself right now. Hmm. Well. Okay, yeah, I'm really just stuck here. Um, okay, this is probably, this is probably safe. I think this was me leaving the club, so. Alright, we're done here. Let me go get that sauce, that boss sauce. Yeah, Todd really did us dirty, huh? Oh wait, I don't need to. I don't need to go anywhere. What game do I think this is? Ugh, dang it. R, X. All right, I was almost there. I only had one more jump. I apologize for coming over this emergency channel, but we are in need of assistance concerning the large ship in orbit, and we value discretion in this matter. Mm. If you are willing and able, please see me as soon as possible at the main security office in Paradiso. Over now. Oh, whatever. So there's no point in walking around. Um, you have to walk to your your mission objectives, and when you land at points of interest, um, there are they will spawn random things around you to walk to. And also, like you'll just find quests and stuff if you walk around and talk to NPCs. Time to get that sauce. I'm not going to go through security. Paradiso looks cool. The uh, the cities have have been pretty big. Well, they've been dense. They've been dense and, and fairly large. Like, they're not mega huge. It's like maybe two or three areas, but the areas themselves have a lot, have a fair amount going on. So. Uh, nothing like the smell of a new Chunks after a long journey. Hello, hello. Welcome to Chunks. If this is your first time dining with us at this location, you'll find our cuisine and service is a step above what you're used to. Please, don't hesitate to ask if there's anything I can do to make your Chunks experience as enjoyable as possible. Chunks experience. So this is an upscale chunks. Yeah, I know. It seems ridiculous, especially since most of the food is the same old chunks as anywhere else. But people here really seem to like it. Honestly, what else do you want me to say? This is my employer and they treat me well enough. So please, enjoy some gourmet chunks. Mmm. I'm here to pick up some special sauce. Huh. I thought it was a joke at first, but yet, here you are. Let me get that for you. Hey, and let me know if I can get you some chunks for the road. Special sauce. I'm not- Can wait, I interest you in some gourmet chunks? I'd like to buy some gourmet chunks. Sure. What can I get for you? I like that this game is getting weirder. Please get weird. Cabernet chunking yawn. Please keep getting weird. Oh my gosh. It's happening. I like the chunks apple. <laughs> it looks so 
<laughs> Dom. Uh, wine cube. Yeah. <laughs> uh, chunks beef. Chunks cheese steak. I thought I had one of those already. Yeah, the imprint on the bottom. I love it. The embossed chunks logo on every food chunk. Ooh, a cola chunk. The egg is really cute. Pie. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Potato chunk. Chunks wine. So wait, they have chunking yawn, but also just chunk wine. We'll crush the shit out of some chunks. It's working at a gourmet chunks any different from a regular chunks. I used to work at a chunks in neon before my transfer was approved, and while I much prefer working here, I can say that it's not a lot different. It looks a lot nicer, the food is supposedly higher quality, and we treat the customers with greater care. But that's really about it. Alright. It was a pleasure serving you. Yeah, that is nice. Why did I think three days was going to be enough? It's lovely here. If I could just stay here forever, I would. Not to be a downer, but this place is almost too perfect, right? Yeah, well, they're having a great time on Paradiso. Ooh, it is pretty. So I guess this is a resort. Oh, I didn't uh, didn't add this to the planet list. Tisk tisk. Porima two. All right. Na, 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 na. Seems like they're regretting their chunks. Nah, they love their chunks. Nah. Nah. Okay, so I wonder, will it let me go all the way back? Because that was a number of systems away. That's how that works. Be advised, you have been identified as a known criminal. Respond immediately or we will be forced to open fire. You're on the wanted list. Halt and prepare to be boarded or we will be forced to open fire. Copy that. Well, Stay on course while we escort you in. Oh, I was holding E because I wanted to get up. Oh, well, whatever. This takes place not in our solar system. No, it takes place across several solar systems. It is the hey, galaxy. Pretty quiet around here lately. Usually means someone's up to something. All right, well, whatever. You guys are nerds anyway. Pshh. Take my thousand credits. I'm made of money. I got Riddick money. What do you guys have? Nothing. Are any of these celestial bodies particularly sexy? There's been a couple of good views. But I wouldn't say anything that's just like kicked me over the face with the majesty of outer space. Oh, it's cold. Is the protag actually called Starborn, or is that made up? No, not yet anyway. Uh. Where am I? I don't know which... Okay, I'm right. I'm basically there. Why 
did it say I was looking in the other direction? Um, I hope they they do eventually call me the starboard. Why is the why is the waypoint like always 50 meters in front of me? Ugh, hold on. Speak with Trevor. What? Speak with Trevor. So yeah, there's like there's other things you can go to. I don't think I'm in the right spot, but I kind of can't tell where I am. Oh, I'm on Mars. I'm on the wrong planet. Because, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's... That's the uh, that's the marker for a um, an activity. Oi. Okay. Gosh, that's confusing. Yeah, they, they took me to another planet. Oi. All right. Okay, back here. Yeah, Hooper dropped me off in the wrong spot. Just because I pickpocketed it a little bit. And cops have a problem with that. Okay, I'm gonna deliver this boss sauce. I'm gonna go check out this place in Hong Kong on Earth. That's what I'm gonna do. This game have transmog for armor. Not that I found yet. Or I don't I don't know if it has dying or anything like that either. <clears throat> you might be able to do something with crafting, but I don't know if you can craft weapons and armor. Yeah, you can go to Earth. It's just super messed up. It's all bombed out. All right, good time for a gamer stretch. Yeah, let's do that. I'll stretch up my shoulders. Good to see you again. About that sauce. Got that sauce. All right, lay it on me. Let's take a look. Mm-hmm. That's the stuff, all right. Enough for the customers with a little left over for yours truly. Mm, thanks. Welcome to Chunks. We got lots of chunks to choose from. Good chunks. Ah, oh, okay. Kind of hope there would be a little more fanfare about Thanks the chunks. For choosing chunks. Which chunks can I get for you? Have a great day. We've got the best chunks. Thanks for visiting chunks. He loves those chunks. I have to ask him the question about history while I'm here. <laughs> well, people gotta eat, you know. Uh, but seriously, I think we're just starting to get with the times. And I can't think of a better restaurant than chunks to usher that in. I think corporate just saw New Homestead as an untapped market. And the locals may not eat it, but the tourists love having a taste of home. Have a great day. Have a chunky day. Boy, am I glad they have chunks here. Okay. So I should be able to... Oh, it's in Seoul. Oh, right. Little sax blast. A little do 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 do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's Earth. My God, what have we done? Thanks for streaming Starfield for real, though. Really didn't want to join the Xbox ecosystem. The stream is enough. All right. Ooh, tall building. I'm glad that uh, me fiddling around in this game is, is of use to you. Or gives you close to the experience. Yeah, it looks like oceans are all dried up. Oh, 
Oh, it looks like the atmosphere is gone. Yeah, I wonder. Hold on, let's see what it says about Earth. Let's see here. Temperature cold, atmosphere thin CO2. Water safe. Let me see. I mean, it's nighttime, so... Let's see if I take off my helmet if everything's okay. How do you get to your inventory from here? Oh, there it is. Gosh, okay. Doesn't sound like he's okay with that. Yeah. Not great. Looks like a cowboy hat ain't gonna do the trick. Big ruinated building? Is that that's the thing, I guess? Ah yeah, signal select. It says I was a little worried that as a pleb and not being able to play Starfield early there would be spoilers, but this indeed seems open world enough to watch people play through. Yeah, it's so broad. It's it's like it's the it's like mile wide wide inch deep. It's like a, a thousand miles wide, but still an inch deep. Maybe maybe like two inches deep. But yeah, it's so broad and all of the little. There's so many like little things in it, but they're all little. That seeing a stream of it doesn't really rob its majesty. Uh, and it's not like anything is particularly well hidden or fantastically spontaneous I mean I could be wrong but like so I'm coming up on and playing this for 12 hours now uh, it's been a pleasant experience and I've enjoyed it and I have good memories of it but all those hours are interchangeable and I could have seen somebody else like it would have been 90% as good I guess seeing those things happen uh, through somebody else's activity so yeah, I, it's one of those things where like, you could watch five different people play it, they'll go in five different directions, do five different things, and they'll all be unique, but probably none of them will be like, incredible. None of them will make you sad you didn't do that thing. They'll be like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Neat. So you beat the tutorial? I don't know if I did actually. Did I, yeah, I must have. Ooh. We got some chlorosilanes, chlorosilanes, chlorosilanes. Good stuff. Love that. Love those. Big fan. Load me up, I say, with the chlorosilanes every time they're around. Water? Oh, oh. Gross. That looks weird. What even is the end game? Are human di humans dying or something? No, humans are fine. Earth is just fucked. What is that sound? I guess it's that. Um. You you found a space relic and you saw the universe. So now this this tribe of altruistic explorers and academics has adopted you and together you're trying to solve the mystery of the relics trying to find the soul of space or whatever so that's the idea I guess that's what you're dealing with chlorosilanes seep mm. I love me some seepage it looks pretty cool with the light hitting it. See, that's what's odd though. Is like I landed here, I spawned there, and this thing is just kind of floating. Oh yeah, all the bodies. Just gotta kick those out of the way. Uh, it's 
it's funny because I was watching from the start and I don't remember anything about what you said happened. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Uh, this game is non-stop, extremely low stakes, pleasant noise. Which has kind of always been the Bethesda magic, you know? There's something on your mind? And is it hero work? It is fundamentally a game that's really good to get baked to, because nothing you do is wrong. Uh, nothing you do, you really get punished for. And just by picking a direction and going, you'll find something. But not enough to stress you out. Mickey Caviar really made himself at home, huh? What's up? Mind if I ask you some personal questions? Normally I charge for interviews, but I'll make an exception. I'd like to talk about your career. Get ready to have your mind blown, boss. Boss? How did you get your start at the New Atlantean? I started out as a copywriter there in my 20s. Writing for the New Atlantean was my dream job, so I took the first open position there that I could get. Sometimes I brought homemade food for the office. <laughs> a junior editor on my floor found out I knew my way around the spatula and asked to publish some of my recipes. I told her no dice, unless the offer came with a full-time writing gig. Turns out, she was looking for a big break too. So she took a chance on me. We pitched the idea for a regular column to management together. And a few months later, Mickey Caviar's Taste of Space was born. Try not to miss me too much, huh? All right, Mickey Caviar, you're winning me over. You're winning me over. Between Mickey Caviar, uh, what is it, John Space Sap? Damn it, I already lost his name. The tour guide. There's been, there's been some fun characters now. The Chunks guy. Robert Atlanta. Damn it, I'm so bad with names. I'm so bad with names. Just call him Jacob. Yeah. Jacob. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, he was being apprehended for Aurora. I don't care about that. Let me try the deep cover thing. Make contact with Sarise Bowden at Trade Authority. Assist after providing the creative Aurora to sell his buy-in. I don't understand why I still have the Aurora. Maybe I don't. Yeah, garbage can head. That was fun. Oh yeah, killing that dude in the bar and then stuffing him in the lights. Good times. Good times. You know what it is? I think they like they take all the friction out of getting started with a new thing since you can just warp right there most of the time. Into a load. I guess it, it it would be too silly to load here. But uh. My buddy Pedge keeps asking if I can help him out with something, but I don't have the time. Hi. <laughs> this place looks like total recall. Yeah. Is there any joystick space battles? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's space fighting. It's not very, like, uh, it's not very, like, unique. Well, there's, they try to make it exciting, I guess. I don't know. I've only had a couple space battles. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. <clears throat> I'm looking to unload a sensitive shipment. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Let's talk price first. I'm not talking price until I know what the hell I'm buying. Take a look at this sample. Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? Oh, you don't want to... Oh! 
Guess the people that told me you were the best were wrong. No, they're right. What they didn't tell you is that I have a self-preservation streak a kilometer wide. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. Is it time to persuade? What if I just blow your brains out and ask someone else? Sure, go ahead. You shoot me and the TA will have bounty hunters on your ass before you even get back to the spaceport. Listen, love, I've heard it all. Threats bounce right off. So either cough up the finder's fee or try and sell that shipment on your own. I refuse to pay. Well then, we have nothing left to discuss, do we, love? Be seeing you soon. Yeah, nothing. I was curious if the quest was going to update. Hey, you looking for anything in particular? Maybe he'll help hey, me out. What's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Now here the Trade Authority sometimes deals in illicit goods. Is that true? Man, <clears throat> sorry, I can't really say that. Really, they told me not to say anything like that because rumors, you know? You know? All I know is that we're running a business here. And I was told to take in all trades and sell whatever we've got. <laughs> and listen, I'm not going to worry about anything other than that. Yeah, real narc question. Yo, stay good out there. He does have a kind face, though. All right. You bring me that finder's fee? Or are you here to waste my time again? Damn, she's putting me in my place hard. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Man. How's it going? She needled me pretty hard there. Really gave me the business. Commerce never rests. So if you wouldn't mind... <laughs> Wait, where's the storeroom? It's gonna be back here, right? <laughs> Maybe I won't get locked in here. Another locked door. Tisk tisk. I wonder if that's another way that you could find a connection. You came up here and read some stuff. It doesn't seem like it. I didn't see any reference to the other guy. Oh, the, adap the adaptive frames are really tiny. I thought they were bigger than that for some reason. I thought they were like giant uh, building struts. Do you know the amount of money it is to unlock early access? Yeah, it's $35. Is it for the digital deluxe upgrade? I told you everything. But if you have Game Pass, you get 10% off. So, why are you so it's like 32. Um, although if you don't have Game Pass, I think it's like $100. Because then it's 70 for the game and then 30 for the digital upgrade. From the beginning. Man, you would think something like that would have been changed by now. That's in US dollar. Obviously. 
Hopefully, obviously. Met the annoying fan yet? Yep. He's on my crew. There goes. The face of Mars. Oh yeah, I've seen this photo. On July 25th, 1976, the Viking 1 orbiter spacecraft took its first photos of the Cydonia region of Mars. Among them was an image of what appeared to be a humanoid face on the surface of Mars. The image inspired the imaginations of millions, cementing humanity's passion for space exploration, once again begging the question, are we alone out there? Later photography would reveal that the face was no more than a mountain, shadows, and perhaps humanity's greatest case of paraidolia, a tendency to perceive specific meaningful imagery in an otherwise ambiguous or random visual pattern. Nevertheless, the legend of the face on Mars remains an important inspiration for many to this day. Yeah, it's a real thing. It's a, it's kind of a spooky looking photo. Eh. That's neat, right? Huh. That's interesting. They fade out when they leave a zone, but I guess they just pop in when they, when they enter. Yeah, debunked. Jonathan Frakes said no deal. Oh, look. He's got a knife stabbed. I'm taking this knife. Can you look the other way for a sec, bud? Look, just look the other way. This knife is better than mine. I think it's fine. Uh oh, I hear people yelling. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Oh, I like this guy. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Uh. Hold it right there. Damn it. Smart move. Fuck. Come along with us. We'll take any contraband and stolen property and you'll be free to go. They took the knife. Thank and all the bullets I just took. All the, like, healing items and stuff. God damn it. I wanted the knife. It was a nice knife. A good Riddick knife. Who's around the corner, man? Back, huh? Like I was saying, if you want to sell that shipment of Aurora, you come you crawling back. First. All right, what? Who's we and us? I thought I was dealing with you. You're a clever one, aren't you? Let's just say I have a certain influential affiliation, and leave it at that. Basically, you want that Aurora moved? I'm your guy. Forget it. I'll just take the shipment to someone else. <laughs> yeah, sure. If the trade authority won't even deal with the shipment of that crap, where else you gonna go? Just cool your thrusters for a minute before you wreck this deal for the both of us. Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. I'll just kill him and take the money off his corpse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. Hey, Ozzy Maniac. No one said anything about killing. All I said was, I want my money. How you handle that is up to you. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss oh, him. Deimos? Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. I get to go to Deimos? Deimos? 
No, it's just called Deimos. Okay. What is satisfaction? It's interesting that they have they actually have a straight up glowing trail. Yeah, this this game makes sure that no matter how baked you are, you can still play it. I feel like that was the that was maybe the single biggest thing about Skyrim is its its manner of like waypointing people through zone transitions and just the compass really. Oh, how are you? Hello, Waylon. Hope nothing bad happens today. <laughs> Hope nothing bad happens. Stay, uh, stay safe. All right, buddy. I have a pen pal. Take, Take it easy. I wanna. I need to. Whoa! I wanna pick pick pickpocket him. I'm gonna take the money. What was the name of that guy? He has 842 oh, credits. Something I can help you with? Yeah, Alder Kim sent me to teach you a lesson. Hey, slow down. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't have time to play games. Uh, what? Uh, play what games? You're obviously confusing me with someone else. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Well, it's been nice knowing you. I'm sure your funeral will be lovely. Uh, hey, hey now. <laughs> Take it easy there. This is a weird conversation. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adla, was it? Hmm? Oh, wait. You mean that Adla? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. I need to. I didn't play the right intimidation line. Uh, I almost forgot my Superman beanie. Uh, it's in there somewhere. I can't find it though. Wait, hold on. Uh, Wow, I, I searched for Afraid of the Dark, and uh, why are some of these marked not work safe? Cristialdo Ronaldo? When you walk through a storm, keep your chin up and be afraid of the dark at the end of a storm is the golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark walking through the wind, walk on through the rain though. Your dreams be tossed and blown, walk on, walk on with the hope in your heart and never walk alone, you'll never walk alone. Thank you. Wow. Why was the hell afraid of radioactivity? Because it was made of plutonium. <laughs> that was a pretty good critical. That was a good crit. Do it for a family, Paul. Okay, we will. Sorry, I thought you were talking about someone else. I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? That's not good enough. Pay now, or Deimos will be sending your corpse home in a casket. Come on. Give me a break. What the... Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Oh, I'm tired of playing games. Oh, Here we go. What games? Time to give him the business. Why are you doing this to me? Give him the swerve. I don't have the money. Pay him now, get your revenge later. Oh, family! Pay up! 
If not for you, do it for the sake of your family. How oh. dare you try and, and, and threaten my family? Oh. This is really worth the risk. You can always make the money back later. No. Oh. I'm already working my fingers to the bone. Not good. Pay him now. Get your revenge later. <laughs> Ooh, close one. I hadn't thought of that. Oh, oh I've slashed. I played that one before, but I'll do it again. My kitchen oh, bang, my butthole brown. There you go. That's a good one. Maybe if I round it's it clear. My There's body, a lot of clarity to that one. Could hit him when he wasn't expecting it. Huh? Yeah. Please tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. Oh, 3,000 credits. Okay, he didn't even have that much in his inventory, so... It's not like 100% M-Sim. All NPCs carry all their items on them. They just manufacture it for quests, but whatever. It's not that kind of game. Wait, that's a. I can't. I'll get warped away if I try. Don't want to catch yourself with a loose grip on your equipment when one of those particle detonations goes off. You said it. I'm still annoyed. I'm still annoyed that the knife is gone. They took it. They took my knife. Had such a brief run with that knife. Love that knife. Have something for me? It's all here. There, would you look at that. I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? He got the message. Nice. Nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. Grilling down punks. Handle running with my uh, associates. If you think they can handle me, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. I like your style. You try stealing that knife back right. from cop. I'll call ahead. And I'll we'll, go. I'll go look. Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh. And I've taken care of I don't want to watch the video of Vid flirting with that reporter. That's going to make me cringe too hard. I can imagine it and it's bad. Like me imagining it is bad. So seeing it happen live. I used to think I was Vanguard material. Until I discovered this okay. There was like that chest, I think this, Just maybe? because the governor's office is right there on the main level doesn't mean it's not secure. Quick save. Oops. Uh oh, they might be mad about this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh oh. Maybe it's fine? I don't think it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Oh no, my stuff isn't in there. You see security, don't make any sudden moves. I'll go quietly. You see security always gets you in the end. Remember that. I don't know if they take keys back, though. I might have that for good. No, they took it. Okay. Do your part to keep Sidonia graffiti free. The locals tend to stay out of trouble. Visitors? That's another story. Yeah, they don't, they don't have the thing. It's still unlocked, though. But the things that I... Where does it go when they take it? I wonder. The Lux condos aren't anything special, but plenty of people... Oh, there it is. Stolen items locker. Ah, okay. Yep, 
You only lose XP? Did I lose XP? You don't really lose anything, I don't think. Oh, you can just take it all back. All right. Thanks, pal. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. 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 Bye. Oh, it said minus 740 XP from seven days in jail. Really? Oh, man. I wasn't paying attention then. That's interesting. That's an. Eh, that's kind of fun. There it is. Look at that knife. status oh yeah huh huh yeah i am under level i have to get i have negative 103 experience how interesting that's a fun that is a really fun and interesting way to, to punish players for uh for breaking break. the law i guess there's always more experience to get i wonder what actually gives you the most experience Doing some quests seems to give you... Like, 500 was quite a bit. You, used, you lost levels in Oblivion? Really? I remember that. Man, that was a long time ago, though. Crafting iron daggers. <laughs> I hope it's not something stupid like that. I mean, that's not the point. <clears throat> I guess perks are nice, but they're definitely meant to be gotten over the course of playing, and it's not like perks prevent you from doing anything. Yeah, main story quests. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Huh. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm gonna call it a night there. What a star day. Incredible. This, this game's actually pretty fun. I don't mind it. It is a really good stream game. For the same reasons I kind of mentioned the way that most people will probably play it is like, it's after a day of work. You don't feel like a game that is gonna piss you off or ask you to exam or like keep in mind five different interconnected systems or whatever. You just want to run around, shoot stuff, level up, have a fun little adventure, and call it a day. That's exactly what this game's crafted for, and I think it delivers it well enough. There's some obvious things left on the table, but whatever. That's true of every game that's ever shipped. Uh, well, not all, but most of them. Uh, I'll probably be back playing again tomorrow. Actually, I think tomorrow I'm gonna be sponsored by Starfield. So be prepared for me to do a, a few calls to action to remind everybody that the game is available in early access. Uh, just saying this in advance, just because I'm cashing the check doesn't mean uh, my ad reads will all be making it known that it is available. I'll say that. I am making a product known to you, and you can decide whether or not it's worth it to pay the money for it. Uh, and I will represent it in a positive and responsible way. Starfield. I've had a good time. I can be 100% uh, honest about that. I've had a good time, I'm enjoying it, and I'm looking forward to playing it more. And I will tomorrow, but I'm gonna take a rest until then. Giveaways, yeah, let me... Uh I have a couple more things, but I'm going to save them for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be spicy boy and save them for tomorrow. So more giveaways tomorrow. Also, Friday is when I normally run my MediaTek blocks. So uh, if you liked all the weird little clips I showed while I was away from stream, I'm just going to run that by itself for uh, usually around like four hours. Actually, on Fridays, sometimes I do a subathon to extend the time. But since it's sponsored, well, we'll see. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll just do it anyway. But anyway, that'll happen tomorrow night. So if you want some background noise to start your weekend, look forward to that. All right, thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. Really did enjoy this. Uh, enjoy sharing gaming experiences with people. Hope to see you next time, and goodbye. Goodbye.